Hello everybody, good morning. Welcome. It's good to see you all. How are we all doing today? It's crazy to see everybody back. We haven't live streamed in forever. So really great to see you all. How are you doing? All right, welcome to Alan Lewis, Ash, The Silent Shadow, Halo, Raspberry T-Man, The Halo Hive, Mercury Halo, Bruno. How you doing, everybody? Good to see you. <laughs> TFS Remy Simon late to his own live streams. <laughs> Bro, it's been a crazy morning and I'm setting up like a brand new live stream. I've never uh, live streamed in the USA before. So this is a brand new thing for me. It's uh, definitely taken some uh, some setting up, that's for sure. I just noticed we need to move that chat box a little bit. Let's just have that over here. All right. So, it's tradition for Simon to be late now. <laughs> Let's not make it a tradition, Chunky Chief. We'll just say, uh, while I'm getting set up. I'll try and break the tradition after a while. Like, we'll try, we'll try and break new ground. <laughs> All right, welcome everybody. Uh, thank you for tuning in. This is gonna be a rather live. This is gonna be a rather large live stream. I'm gonna live stream for as long as I can go for today. Uh, if anybody knew, or if I, I think most people know, um, I'm on the recovery from COVID, so I'm gonna gonna live stream for 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 as long as I feel comfortable. But I think it'll be quite a while. But we're building quite a large thing today, so it's gonna take a while. If you guys knew, um, about 10 minutes before this live stream went up, I revealed what this was. Mega themselves have sent me this, which is, it's, it's absolutely wild. Mega Constructs got in contact with me, they said they wanted help promoting this new product. It's not Halo! But hey, we're gonna have a really great time building this today, and it's gonna be a way to like get back with the community. And you guys are gonna see just how crazy this is. Wow. All right, gonna pull it out. Come on. There we go. Upside down reveal. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah, the Tesla Cybertruck. The Tesla Cybertruck. I, I just, I cannot believe I have this Cybertruck. It's, it's absolutely enormous. It's absolutely enormous. Wow. All right. Um, I'm just gonna tweak one of those. Hola. Hello, Bruno. Yeah. Okay. It's awesome. It is nice. I, I, I'm still in disbelief that Mega sent this to me. It's an absolutely crazy size. Let's just bring some of those down. Yeah, so we're gonna build as much of it as we can in one day, to be honest with you. It's gonna take a long, long time. This is probably gonna take a whole day. Yeah, uh, oh, and then some. Uh, so this thing is 3,283 pieces, and the packaging is absolutely outstanding. It's uh, literally a signature build. It's like a Halo signature build, and the, 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 uh, the sides fold out. There's beautiful printing all the way around. Um, and yeah, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, oh gosh. All right, I opened this upside down. So as you can see, there are three boxes here. Let's move them to the side. Okay, and the chunkiest of instruction manuals. It's absolutely massive. Here's the inside of the box. <laughs> Crazy, dude. Crazy. Simon, it's gonna take forever. Yeah, but the, the great thing about this is, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how long this takes, because Mega have created a crazy amount of numbered bags, and I think this one is gonna be very well designed. So, hopefully, the building will take uh, shorter than it usually would. We've got three big boxes here, and inside... <laughs> oh, look at this manual. Look at the absolute thickness of this manual. Whoa! 
Oh my goodness. So we're gonna build it uh, as much as we can today, and I hope some of you guys will stick with me for as long as you can. Um, don't worry if you need to dip in and out. I'll be here. <laughs> All right. A little uh, building tip. All right. I guess there's. Watch out for similar colors. Oh, yeah. No, no, <laughs> no way. Look at that. Watch out for similar colors. Yeah, that is a that is definitely a building tip. So that's what Mega must have done. I was confused because when I opened uh, this little small bag, there were these two pieces, and I was like, well, why are they just randomly there? It turns out, yeah, because Mega is basically making a PSA saying, watch out for similar colors. You don't want to make mistakes. All right. Wow. Chunky Chief. Chunky Chief, uh, you can see some people that you need to to remove there. Oh man, Simon, it's gonna take forever. <laughs> Finally got a Carter, now have Noble Team back up to full strength. Hell yeah, Clifton, that's awesome. All right, so good to see you all here. I found the Razorback on clearance at my local Walmart, dope. Yeah, and um, I would love you guys to keep the conversation going. Like, I will answer any questions you have throughout the day. Uh, I'd love this to be like as interactive as possible. So yeah, we can definitely have a good time with this The first thing I need to figure out is what box to go to Because we have three of these big boxes Sharp angles sharper ideas That's what you get when mega and Tesla connect because when two brands share the same passion for innovation for self-expression for mindful design practices it just clicks Wow, cool. Height adjustable suspension, folding tailgate, retractable tonneau cover. Tonneau cover. Oh, hey, here we go. Okay. So, we have, yeah, different steps. Bags 1 to 16, bags 17 to 37, bags 38 to 60. 60 bags. All right, and these are all different boxes. Oh yeah, they have numbers on the side. Okay. That's what I wanted to know. This one is number two. That means this one must be number one. So, check that out. What a crazy cool uh, design. You enjoying infinite so far, setting aside the customization and progression issues. The progression issues are kind of getting sorted, uh, but the customization issues are a shame, and so is the monetization. What? But yeah, I'm in love with the game, in absolute love with the game. I mean, the game's flawless, man. The actual game design is flawless. We also have all these windshields. It's really funny, we've got the two cracked windshields from when uh, a rock was thrown against it during the demo and it cracked the, uh, or cracked the uh, windows. Okay. All of these bags. And yes, they are biodegradable bags, which is just so dope. Right, I'll start by stacking them in the box. One, two, three. It's always better to get organized at the beginning. Oh, this bag's ripped. Hope that's okay. Okay. All of these bags. Five, six, seven, eight. Thirteen, fourteen. 14. Okay. That's our bags organized. Really good to get your bags organized at the beginning of the build, folks. Then you can just easily grab them. Just makes it so much quicker. Love the earth with these bags. Hell yeah, dude. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> see you soon, Chunky Chief. Take it easy. All right, so the first thing we're building is the inside of the car. The interior. 
sort of the floor of the car and some of the, the well, we'd call it the boot, you'd call it the trunk in America. So we're building that first. Okay. Watch. Uh, which Halo Universe blind bag figs are you wanting the most? I have uh, two full sets coming in the mail right now. And I'm really looking forward to uh, the Brute, obviously, most of all. I mean, that Brute just looks exceptional. Whoa, that's a lot of little pieces. That is a lot of little pieces. <clears throat> Let's bring this camera down a little bit so you guys can see a bit better. <laughs> this camera, this tripod is currently uh, tacked together, blue tacked together because uh, a, lot of my, a lot of my equipment is failing. I've got to, got to upgrade it all at Christmas. Okay, there we go. I also just have a montage of just all the different Halo trailers playing in the left side. Hope you enjoy. Right, so bag number one. Loads of little bits and elastic bands and things you really don't want to lose. Oh, some green bits. Okay. Oh. <laughs> bags inside bags. All right. That's it. Give me, give me organization above all else. Like, if we stay organized with this build, we can churn through it. So, first step of opening any bags, you sort out the pieces. And while I do that, I can answer whatever questions you guys have. <clears throat> I'd love you guys to keep the conversation going. That's why I'm live streaming, because I'm like, hey... I don't want to build this on my own. <laughs> I want my boys here. I want the gang. We got to squad up to take down this Tesla. All right. All these green pieces. When there's like neon colors, you can really just jumble them all together because there's no way they'll get confused. But definitely any like grays and blacks, we need to sort them all even just by length. Like we want to be particular at first. We don't want to waste any time. We definitely don't want to go back a stage. Because uh, <laughs> time is going to be of the essence with this build. <clears throat> we want to get it done. We want to get this build finished. Conversations. Okay, gotcha. What's your favorite type of cheese? <laughs> um, well, I, you know, I'm a pretty lactose intolerant. So I lived in China for... Um, well, I lived in Asia for five years. And while I was there, it bred lactose intolerance. Um, basically, basically everybody is really lactose intolerant. It just depends how much dairy you have in your diet. So you 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 build sort of uh, tolerance to lactose, right? Um, lactose intolerance just means you you can't tolerate it because you haven't built it up. And um, I I didn't build it up in China, so now I can't really have dairy very much. I like vegan cheese. <laughs> But it's a little tasteless. The The Halo Universe Brutes are going to look great with the Halo Heroes Tartarus. That's very true, my friend. That's very true. Okay. Step number one. Oh, we've got one. We've got this brown bag to go to. Aha, uh -huh, I'd love to see my 4x2 bricks. They're the classics. Throw them over there. We're nice and organized now, guys. It'll, we'll, we'll glide through this first step. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Oh, so no cheese. You know, I, um, I, do, I do like a strong cheddar. Um, now, Peggy is... Uh, Peggy loves cheese. What's your favorite cheese, Peggy? Old Amsterdam. Old Amsterdam is Peggy's favorite cheese. I've never heard of that before. Alright, so we, we need these long pieces. I assume these were just like open in the back in the box because they weren't uh, with a particular bag. Alright, so step one, we need these three. Yeah, there's definitely a difference between grey and black here that could be uh, a little detrimental if you uh, detrimental if you if you made the mistake. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Ah, oh, so do you need both kinds? No, you need a longer one. Aha! 
hiding there. Wait, so this is the gray? What the hell? So this is actually... That's why they give you that color guide. Look at that. I really thought that was black. Wow. Don't want to fall on the first hurdle, do we? Okay. No black. No thank you. We don't want black. We want gray. Okay, so... Let's pop that in. And then, we finish the first step. <laughs> Round of applause, everybody. First step. We've, we've completed step number one of... Step number one of 775. <laughs> so we're, we're one 775th of the way done already. Look at that. Hey Simon, I wanted to know your opinion on when the next when the next Halo weapon Mega Constructs will come. Um, good question. When will Halo? Well, when will Mega Constructs make the next weapon? Because there's a lot of weapons they can build now. Um, it's a good question. So they just made the Commando. They're also not going to be in a rush because see that's the difference, black and grey. You got to know your difference. They're not going to be in a rush because once they've made um, once they've made all the molds, then they've got nothing else to make. And they've been waiting for a new Halo game for forever. I mean, Mega Constructs has been desperate for new content. So, in my opinion, they'll get, they're going to slowly drip feed us those new weapons because they don't want to just do them all in one go. But I think a uh, a Logical next one would definitely be the um, plasma. Plasma, uh, the. What's it called? Plasma repeater? No, that's Halo Reach. Um, pulse carbine. I think the pulse carbine would be a logical next step because we haven't. Like, that, they, they love making their covenant weapons. We haven't seen that yet, so I think that's that's a solid guess. This does not look right. Hmm. <laughs> That's odd. Do we need a longer one? Oh yeah, we need a longer one than that. Okay. Back on track. Alright. <laughs> that is step three complete. Easy peasy, guys. Easy peasy. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Honestly, the difference between black and gray is kind of so minimal that uh, I'm going to have to watch my back. I'm going to have to be careful here. And I cannot thank you guys enough for all of uh, the well wishes that I received. Um, once I uh, got COVID, it was a real blessing to see you all rally behind me. And your support of my content right now has been really wild. So can't thank you enough for that. You really kept my, uh, kept my head up when, uh, when things were looking a bit rough. So you know, you know I'll remember that. Man never forgets those kind of things. Okay, that's step five. Easy peasy. I assume we're going to do something similar on the other side. It's very difficult to imagine that this is actually going to make a, a Tesla Cybertruck. I just feel like... I just feel like um, the Tesla on the picture doesn't look big enough to be 3,200 pieces. It just doesn't look big enough. So we're, I'm going to be very interested to see how that works out, you know. Very interested to see. Okay. Yep. There'll be a lot of mirroring going on in this build. There'll be a lot of identical steps on both sides, which is uh, it's pretty satisfying. And I, I imagine there'll be a lot of stages where we can just make two or three of the exact same thing uh, at the same time, which also saves time. Uh, 
Oh, it's still, no, we're still working on this side. I was gonna say, I didn't use that piece on the other side. Okay. Nice. Nice. We're definitely laying the foundations. Do you get an Elon Musk figure in the set? Yeah, they really should have, though. They really should have. Maybe I'll get my 20th anniversary Mr. Chief to drive it. <laughs> Maybe that would work. Uh, so these uh, luminous, these neon figures are temporary, which makes sense. Uh, there's some... You really... So this is an interesting build. Unlike most Halo, I think with Halo sets, maybe because it's for a uh, maybe a less mature audience than this Tesla, they never place a brick down without directly showing you that it's going down. In this one, you have to specifically look at what is being placed. And also, the difference between black and gray here is not clear. It's just not clear at all. Like... That, that could be either, man. That... Unless it's all grey on this car. <laughs> Yo, I'm already really confused by these blacks. The difference between black and grey. I, I don't actually know. It's like just visible the difference between black and gray. It's so difficult to tell. Damn. It's like once the brick is set down, it, they all become the same color. <laughs> A flashlight. Do you have one? Yeah. I don't have a spare phone. That's honestly so confusing. And uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm not happy with that. <laughs> Maybe they should outline them to differentiate better. Yeah, they should do something, man, because this is not... It's its genuinely not clear. Like, I'm... I'm concerned at how unclear this is. It's like they didn't even try and, like, make it, like, a lighter gray, even just on the instruction manual. The only thing I can do is just assume because I don't have any more black pieces. So that can just tell me that I'm only using gray for this section, but damn, this, <laughs> this is not clear enough at all. But let's see, let's see how we progress with the build. Yeah, so those temporary pieces just hold all this together. And even more. There's only one set of these temporary pieces, so I assume you finish one side and then you switch the temporary pieces over to the other side to build, build the other side. That's the only way I can see it. Okay. Oh, no, there we go. We're switching to the other side. Bizarre. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly gonna start tripping out by the end of this <laughs> with the difference between black and gray. Okay. Uh, while I answer a question, I'll just bring up a, a uh, picture of this Tesla so we all know what I'm building. They should come out with Tesla vehicle blind bags. <laughs> there aren't enough Tesla vehicles out there. Tesla, so there's Tesla Cybertruck, Mega, can't, Mega Blocks. Go on then, we'll go Mega Blocks. That's what it suggests. 
Okay, let's get that. Ah, it's a PNG. Lovely. That's what I want. Just what I needed. Let's add in that PNG. Tesla! With all the A's. Hey, welcome to the new subscriber, Creo Spree. How are you doing today? Seems our little sub box is in the wrong place. Thank you very much for the subscription, Creo Spree. Hope you're having a wonderful day. There we go, the alert box should come through now. Yes, and our new Facebook follower, Tevin Salem. Our new Twitch followers, Arc Breakout, High Neck 223 lucky 848839 thank you very much for the follows everybody thank you very much okay <laughs> i'm I'm, on, I'm honestly tripping out with this black and this grace business hmm <clears throat> Alright, just have to go with probably that one, <laughs> probably, stick all grey for this one. Greetings from Germany, what's up Doom Mink? Everybody let me know if you, what state in America or what country you are from. I'd love to know. Welcome from Germany. That's awesome, bro. Okay. It's looking good. Looking symmetrical. That's what we want. Symmetry is the key. The only explanation for how this vehicle is so massive is it, or so many pieces, is it must just be incredibly dense. It must just be so dense. And it's going to be such a journey building the whole thing. Such a journey. There we go. Very nice. Satan's Satan's front porch, aka Florida. Utah, baby! New Orleans, Joe Napot. Hungary. Wow, Hungary. Awesome. That truck is thick. Yes. Hold it up to a lamp. Yeah, I, I guess so. I guess so. Joe Nepal. I don't know where that is, but cool. Where is Joe Nepal? I am from a little town close to Manchester, England, originally. Okay. Now... We need a piece, which I can't see. But it might be somewhere inside this box. Hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, I'm tripping. The reason I couldn't see it is because I've already put it in. Oh, we've got blue. I see. We've got blue temporary pieces for the other side of the truck. That's cool. As well as these pieces that may be black. Maybe. Uh, no. Yes. One of them needs to be black. There is no difference in that color on the picture. There's no difference. What? If I can't tell the difference, just go with it. 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just shocked that there's just no visible difference. There really should be. You know what, yeah, maybe, maybe that's the reason, maybe there hasn't been any black yet, because later on it looks a little bit better. Let's just sub out all the black, let's just replace all the black that we've put in so far, and assume that, unless some of this really was black. Yeah. I'm gonna replace <laughs> unless it unless I can't. Ah Well Bear with me folks once once we get a ahead of this I just need to really figure out what's going on with these black pieces. So there's definitely a black piece there. And there's definitely a black piece there. There are definitely two black pieces. That one is not a black piece. The good thing is, once we've figured out this, <laughs> the rest is just black and grey. So once we've figured out this problem, we'll never face this problem again. <laughs> because um, that'll be the end of the problem. <laughs> once we've figured out the difference between the black and the greys. That's the only problem. And then we'll be in the clear. Damn. Okay. And then I guess we... So, there's, there's definitely black there. Definitely black there. Then... Maybe not black. No, they're not black. <laughs> hmm. Well, I've got to say, folks, I'm not impressed with this Aquila problem. The organization of the rest of the bags and the general set seems fantastic, but these bricks are quite ridiculous. They are quite ridiculous. Because, like, I'm straining my eyes even figuring out the difference between these. And it just goes down to process of elimination. They're all fine, but then there's this one that, like, is an upside-down brick and is not clear. But we're just gonna go for it and say it's black, because why not? I'm not wasting any more time. And... We assume that these are not black. Because we would be able to tell if they were black.
Alright. <laughs> Back with me, folks. Right. <laughs> How is everybody? What's up, uh, you four relax? How you doing? Hey, bro, what's up? Been waiting on streams for a while. Thankfully, I got to check out of school to go on a road trip, so I'm here. What's up, the gaming bricks? Hell yeah, dude. Happy to have you here. Uh, I rented a car in Budapest and drove through Hungary in it for three days. Oh, wow. Jason Roberts, that sounds dope, man. Sounds really dope. Hungarian. <laughs> He's not Hungarian, but he drove through Hungary. <laughs> awesome. Okay, let me know in the chat, guys. What new Mega Construct sets have you picked up recently? What have you managed to score? I have a very large amount of sets that I'm, I've got to unbox, uh, just stacked up really, because uh, you know I've been in lockdown for a little while, so I haven't had the chance to like film any unboxings. So I've got loads of stuff ready to go. I secured an NMPD Pelican. Been waiting years to buy one. Damn, Jason, you got all the cool plays. That's awesome. The NMPD Pelican is still something that's eluded me thus far. I hope I can get it one day. I really do. But I'm not willing to pay a crazy price for it. Hopefully it will come my way. Alright, so these are definitely black. These are definitely black. I feel like Mega needed to put in a little more effort differentiating those black and grey bits. Even at the beginning, even like instructing you properly, saying, hey, this is your first black piece. Take a look at the difference. Okay, now we're good. But yeah, now now there is a clear difference that I can see between black and gray. We shouldn't have too many more problems. We should be good to go. So let's start blazing through some steps. Because we wasted some time there. Wow. That was uh, a little crazy. Alright, now we got some some techie bits going. We've got to attach this black rod through here. Ooh, I'm wanting a spirit dropship. That's even rarer than the NMPD Pelican, my friend. That's like, gosh, almost nobody has a spirit dropship. It's so wild that they made such a cool set and it just did not get distributed at all. So we have this little piece hanging through here. It swivels back and forth. I assume we're going to do the exact same on the other side. Welcome to our new YouTube follower, Ben Dover. <laughs> Definitely not saying those the full name too fast. Okay, we're gonna do that. Cool, okay. We're gonna make a couple of these now, but some of them are different. So this one, one goes in the fourth hole and one in the third hole so they're slightly apart like so hey everyone what's up what's up nick good to see you here long time no see how you doing okay that one goes just here yes nick we are building the tesla cyber truck something that Mega sent me, and it's an unbelievable 3,200 pieces. So I don't know how much we're gonna build in this live stream particularly, we're gonna see how it goes. 
What I am surprised is it doesn't seem like Mega Constructs has included a piece separator in this build, which you'd think of all builds, they definitely would. You get them in almost every build. Um, it's funny as well because I moved, or well, I've arrived in America. I'm staying in America for a while. So it's funny because I don't have a piece separator. Though I do have a sealed Razorback, so maybe I would have to break open that Razorback just for the piece separator. Okay. It is now, I am happy to report, now we've got past that initial confusing stage. It's not going to be a problem finding out which... Uh, is black and which is gray anymore because we have so much visible the problem before was even on the instruction manual I couldn't see where the blacks and the grays were so I couldn't even cross-reference, but now uh, We're not gonna have that problem anymore We're gonna be just fine I have like a hundred Lego piece separators there everywhere. Yeah, um, when I was living in Hong Kong, we had a donation bin in our apartment building and I used to take uh, piece separators down there and just put them there saying, used for separating Lego pieces and they would always disappear within like a minute. Like people, people must be very happy with them uh, for their children. Okay, now, they're both black. Okay, there, there we go, we still got a gray. There will be, I'm sure there will be at some point, a frustrating part of the build where I realize that we don't have any more uh, gray pieces left. And I realize that, like, or any black pieces left, and I realize that we have to, like, um, we have to just, like, go without at some step of the build. I'm sure it'll happen. Okay, what have we got here? Yeah, I may have to go and uh, get a piece separator if we come into an issue. But I do have one inside the Razorback, so it won't be the, the largest problem. And uh, now we're just, we're burning through steps, folks. We're absolutely burning through them. It's in front of you, or is it the same? I don't know what this is. Is this a piece separator? It's only one piece. Um, I don't know. Maybe this is just a piece separator. Maybe that's just what they included with this one. Maybe. Okay, I'm seeing now that I need... Yeah, so, oh no, okay, so I, I do need a black coin for this, yeah. Is this a, uh, hmm, I wonder, I wonder what part, I mean, I know this is the base of the truck, I just wonder what exact thing we're building. Pretty exciting. Um, I'm one of the fir the very first people in the world to get this set. It's still just on pre-order. 
So really exciting that Mega Construct sent me this and um, it retails for 250 US dollars. So um, very, very grateful for such an awesome contribution to the channel. And I hope I can uh, help promote it with these live streams. 100%. That is the aim. I really hope you guys have been enjoying my content recently. There has just been a absolute like explosion of content on my channel. It's um it's been massive. I mean, I've been uploading every single day, every single day um for the past um for the past uh gosh, how long? 30 32 days, something like that. So let me know, please. I would love to know in the comments, what has been your favorite video of the last month? What video have you really enjoyed? Because I put one out every single day. Which ones have you watched? Which ones have you enjoyed? I would love to know. Okay, and now we need a piece that I cannot see. Hmm. Hmm. How peculiar. We haven't opened any more bags, have we? Just bags one, two, and three. Hmm. Aha! I found one. But do I need two? Did I accidentally use a four piece when I should have used a five piece? Hmm. All right, we'll deal with that problem when we get to it, I guess. Interesting. I really enjoyed you talking about the progression system. Hey, that's really great to hear, uh, Game of Fox. That's really great to hear because that is a video that uh, has is branching out from my usual content, right? And usually when you branch out from your original content, people might not be as uh, sort of um, supportive of it. Like, usually when I was uh, in Hong Kong, the last year when I was living in Hong Kong, Anytime I would make a video that was outside of like normal Halo Mega Constructs, it would perform very poorly, which was not very motivating. But it's great to hear that you enjoyed that video in particular because that is branching out from my usual content. Hey, look at that. $5 from Jason Roberts. Well, thank you very much, sir. Really appreciate that. Um, really appreciate that. It's the gray long piece by your arm. The orange piece goes in it. Uh, what the? <laughs> it was right in front of me. What the heck? Whoa, Jason. How did? <laughs> how did I not see that? Yeah, that's that's wild, man. That's wild. It was right there. That's crazy. Wow. Wow, now we need a five long piece. Interesting. Okay. So, these are really cool. <laughs> he got it, celebration. <laughs> the separator is complete. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. Um, Jason, hell yeah, dude. Wow. Madman donated just to get his piece separator built. That's so funny, dude. <laughs> oh my god. One of the highlights from my day is when the notification comes up for a new vid. Oh man, that's so nice to hear, dude. Um, this, 
Yeah, that, the sightless blood. Thank you so much. I'm taking two chiefs and my PFP Spartan with me on my trip. Hell yeah, enjoy your trip. The separated separator is ready to be unseparated. Yo, Domain, I might enter the Toymation Fest. Hell yeah, dude, you really need to. Um, the, toy, the Christmas Toymation Fest is uh, really going to pop off. I'm very excited about it. The video did really well last night. Like, people are clearly uh, hyped. So, yeah, you should enter, man. It's going to be a really cool competition. If you guys uh, didn't know, the Christmas Toymation Fest is our yearly animation competition celebrating Halo Mega Constructs and young animators. And to enter, all you need to do is create a stop motion animation between 20 seconds and five minutes long, and then submit it before the end of uh, December, pre preferably, and you'll be in. Now, why the heck did I put that there? I just like attached uh, a two before brick for no reason. That is not where it goes. Okay, there is one brick that I seem to be missing right now, which I'm a little concerned about, but hopefully it turns up. Let's put these in first. And then we'll see. These are really nice, these little uh, these little dotted pieces here. They run really nicely across. Hmm. And then one, two, and a little flat black brick. <laughs> flat bra flat black brick. Wow, that's a mouthful. Okay. And then one, two. Nice. Nice. This is gonna be just like, I know this is gonna be a super satisfying build. Just, just how much goes into it. Just like, how, like I said before, how dense it is. Um, it's going to be really satisfying when this all comes together. So that is a, that is officially 32 steps done. Round of applause. 32 steps. 32 out of 775. I'd say we're like basically half in it. It's good to see you, Hatoa. I don't think so. I think it's only going to be able to fit the passenger in. My hope is that it fits a Jazzware Master Chief inside. That would be really great. I don't know yet. We shall see. Let's bring that down a bit. There we go. Okay. Hey Simon, what's your favorite accessory from a Mega Constructs Halo figure? Mine's either the Halo Hero Series 13 Elite's Energy Sword or the Halo Heroes Carter's DMR. Ooh, the Halo Hero Carter DMR is really nice. Um, good question. I love the assault. I love the Halo 5 Guardians green assault rifle that comes with the Master Chief from the SDCC 3 pack. There's, there was an SDCC 3-pack that came with the Master Chief, Spartan Lock, and the Arbiter. And that one is really nice. That is really nice. Okay. Yeah, nice. We're smoothing off the sides here. Really cool. Decent, decent. Welcome to our new YouTube subscriber, Stop Motion Maniac. <laughs> Stop Motion Maniac. That's a dope name. Welcome to the team, fella. How you doing today? Okay, flip it over. We're doing the other side now. And this is where my uh, concerns will arise because I think there's a four by one piece that I cannot see anywhere. So hopefully it's somewhere close by. It is 3,200 pieces. I'm really hoping the uh, Mega <laughs> has all the pieces in this. 
And uh, usually I would like, usually because these pieces are like so normal, these are like such ordinary pieces, usually I would have no problem replacing them. But because I just got to America, I don't have any of my pieces with me. So it would be a problem. Cross your fingers, everybody. Cross your fingers, cross your toes. some of these pieces at oh aha uh -huh. so that's a great piece though we want a black one oh yeah okay must be this one Okay, so that is a missing piece. We still have one more missing piece. But I think I know which one it is. There it is. Okay, back on track, back on track, like nothing ever happened. How do you think the fest will go? Um, don't know what you mean by the fest. For me, it's the copper SOCOM pistol from the copper cat. Oh, interesting choice, Nick. What are your thoughts on the new weapon mods in Halo Infinite? Which is your favorite? Some of them are downright ridiculous. If anybody didn't know, you can um, go into a custom game on Fiesta Slayer, and you can add in weapon variants, which are um, weapons that behave slightly different to the normal weapon in the game, and some of them are just nuts. There's a needler that the second it locks onto the enemy, you can turn around 180 degrees, shoot the needles, and they'll right into the guy. Even if you're not, you're not even looking at him, and the needles will go into him. It's ridiculous. So there is a lot of that. Um, I really enjoy uh, the modded bulldog shotgun. The breacher shotgun because it's it packs more of a punch the bulldog shotgun i just don't really enjoy that much i don't really enjoy one of the things i find with infinite like it's it's a it's a pretty flawless game but it's very hard to get uh multi kills because the second like you, you have such a small amount of health the second <coughs> you've complete like if you finish an engagement with someone and um you won but he took your shields down, there'll always be someone else around the corner to just pop a little headshot off and kill you. Or if you if you, if you you find two people in a corridor, it's very rare that you win the engagement, unless you spam grenades. And then grenades are also a huge problem in the game. <laughs> like, grenades are one of the big problems. Let me know, guys, would you like to listen to some ODST music, Halo Wars music, or Halo 5 music? You guys can choose. Let me know. ODST, Halo Wars, Halo 5. Which one is it gonna be? tracks are awesome but i'm feeling some odst hell yeah i would love to see enigma and zen uh, zed without attachments mm. all right let me know if the volume needs to be higher or lower all tracks are awesome but odst is is quite something ODST is just so nice.
Okay, we're we're moving towards the end of this whole stage. We're moving towards the end of these bags, which is pretty dope. I feel like the uh, the pace is accelerating quite a lot, which is great. It's great. <clears throat> the only thing that would stand in our way is if there's actually a missing piece, because I do not have my pieces with me. So that would be a problem. Could you elaborate on why nades are a problem? Also, what do the dynamo nades do? Uh, the dynamo nades sort of like uh, crackle electricity around and they can arc to multiple people. They kind of just like slowly drain your health. They're like um, an energy drain from Halo 3, but less effective. Um, they're fine. Uh, I don't have any issue with those. The, the problem with nades in the game is they're just so powerful. They're just so powerful. Look at that, guys. Whoa. That is officially step 43, and that's the end of bag 1, 2, and 3. Congratulations. Congratulations to me. Congratulations to you guys. That's now it's bag four and five. Yeah, the nades are a problem just because they're so dang powerful. And when you're in a situation, you you like you win an engagement or you're hiding around a corner and then you just hear that little chink 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 and you know you're dead every time. Like, and, and that's kind of cool because it, it flushes people out. Like, it keeps, it keeps the pace high on the game. But other than that, I don't know. I don't, I don't like it so much. I get why it's there to keep, to keep, uh, stop people from, it's to keep people moving around the map. Like, they want to keep that Halo 5 Guardians, like, fast-paced action in the game. But, I don't know, man. I just don't vibe with it as much. As, uh, as other things. I just think, uh, I just think they're too powerful. I think they give people cheap kills, which is a shame. Like, I want to win every engagement tactically. I don't just want to be grenaded out, you know. Like, the, the strat now is if you see someone on your radar, you knock a grenade to bounce off the floor so it hits them. And then you just like a quick little pulse of your assault rifle and they're down. Which again, it, I mean, it can, it can be cool, but I know I'm not alone. I know there's like big conversations going on in the community right now about the grenades. So we'll see. We'll see if 343 nerfs them a bit. What I am really enjoying is a return to form with the assault rifle. The assault rifle is so powerful in this game and I absolutely love it because like... From Halo, from Halo 3, I'm an assault assault rifle main. Like, I absolutely love the assault rifle. So, it's really great to see that as, like, the primary weapon. Like, it's so powerful. So, I love that. I think everybody loves that, really. It's just so good. Uh, I, I could definitely, like, I would just like the Bulldog Shotgun to be more powerful. 343's, like, rough explanation, I believe, was that they didn't want... The bull, uh, they didn't want the bulldog to be a power weapon. They wanted it to be like just a, a normal tactical shotgun. Which, like, I get it, but like, I, I love the satisfaction of the shotgun being an instant kill. So you can clear out a room of like four guys with a shotgun. It's cool. Elia Haynes, yes, younger me agrees. I'm so glad the assault rifle is cool. Hell yeah. Heck to the yeah. Okay. Let me know, guys, what is your favorite weapon from Halo Infinite so far? Which have you got the most kills with? Mine, ha mine has to be the assault rifle, man. Like, it, it has to be the assault rifle. So much fun. And the assault rifle has such range as well. So cool. 
Do you feel like the sidekick is too OP? I like how it is now, but I'm scared 343 will nerf it. If they nerf it, I, it's useless. I, I think the three. I think the sidekick is good right now. It's not amazing for me. I don't like. I don't use it as much as other weapons. But if three four three nerf it, yeah, then yeah, it'll be useless, and that would be a shame. And uh, the side, the 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 uh, the upgraded sidekick pistol is like so crazy. <clears throat> so now we're just laying down the base of this thing. <laughs> lay down a I lay down a tablecloth for Peggy's mum's kitchen table. Cannot be scratching this thing. My favorite is the sidekick. Perfect, in my opinion. Nice. The AR. My favorite. Yeah. At school right now, just want to stop by and say hello. What's up, McDonald Fork? Good to see you here. Hello. Welcome to the Tesla build. Sorry you have school, but I'll see you later on on Xbox. Look at that. We've just laid down those bricks. Whoa. <laughs> Come on, camera, focus. There we go. What is the map you'd love to see in Infinite? There is no question. Guardian. Halo 3 Guardian remade. It's got to happen. I want to 1v1 people on Guardian so badly. Guardian is my absolute jam. I've played so much Guardian. And there are some rumors, there are some leaks that Guardian is being remade in Halo Infinite, which I would just die. Like, I would be so happy. Because <clears throat> Halo Infinite is a 10-year game. It's, it's, a very, it's a very big possibility that they'll just remake everything. Like... I could definitely see them remaking Sand Trap. That wouldn't even be that difficult. God, can you imagine Sand Trap remade on Infinite? Oh, that'd be so great. That'd be so cool. They'll just keep on bringing people back. Halo Infinite, like, I truly think the foundations are there for it to be a 10 year game. And in 10 years, we'll look back at it and we'll be like, oh my God, this is the greatest game ever made. And also, guys, it's like five days until the campaign or something crazy like that. It's been like five days until we can play the Halo Infinite campaign. Oh, I want it so badly. Can't stay for long, but saw you were streaming, so I decided to check in. What's up, Bomba... 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 Bomba, my kid. <laughs> I'm doing very well, Bomba, my kid. Thank you for asking. I'd love to see Lockout. Oh yeah, Lockout. Yeah, I could see Lockout being remade. Um, definitely. Uh, are we back to Grey Bricks now? I think we are. Yeah, we're back to Grey Bricks. Hmm, gotta keep on my toes. That could have easily been a, a Black Brick mistake. Just smoothing everything off right now. Really nice. Awesome. Smooth as a baby's bottom. Are you gonna stream any campaign play? I will. I I don't know what yet. Um, I like the campaign just means so much to me that I'm definitely not gonna stream my first playthrough. I might stream a legendary playthrough i'm not sure i most definitely will be streaming the whole thing campaign co-op uh co-op campaign will definitely do that um i've heard that the campaign is at least 10 hours long so yeah very excited i mean just insanely excited Grey 
everyone. <clears throat> Let me know, guys, uh, what are your big hopes for the campaign? And please be respectful. Please do not even speak of any footage you've seen on any forums, on any of the YouTuber reviews. But what are your hopes for the campaign? I'm really hoping more than anything for biomes. I'm really hoping that there'll be desert and um, desert biomes and winter biomes and all that kind of stuff. But not sure yet. We're gonna have to see. Smoothed all that off really nicely. The Spirit of Fire is all I want. Yeah, people people really hope for the Spirit of Fire. I hope we see older characters make a return. Yep, me too. Why did this set get the okay for 3,000 pieces? Imagine the Halo set we could have gotten. Well, that's, that's not how it works. Uh, it's a completely different design team that made this. Uh, this is not in substitution for a Halo set. That's definitely not true. But I think it's dope, man. And uh, this is... This is the future of technology, man. This is this is raw innovation. Like, um, it's really cool. Like, really, really cool that I'm building something that was given the green light by the people that are going to Mars. Like, really, it's really cool, man. Really cool. But yeah, three thousand pieces does seem excessive. <laughs> It does seem really excessive. Okay, mirrored that section nicely. Oh, interesting. So we're just popping these into these uh, these white studs. You can see here. Whoa! Just letting them sort of dangle. Yeah, very interesting. And over there as well. Cool. Same goes for this. Yeah, it's cool how people are dropping in and out of this stream because they're, they're in school right now. Like a lot of people have said, hey, just in school wanted to say hi. <laughs> I know everyone's in school. But I mean, hey, if I stream for long enough, people will be out of school. That's a, that's a big brain move. And now this is gonna be satisfying because we're gonna layer the heck out of this floor. Like so, don't wanna make a mistake here because getting these, getting these flat bricks, like pulling them up is really difficult. I think everyone would like to see Jerome and Isabel replace Chief if he dies. Don't want Chief to die, but if he does, I'm fine with Jerome. I don't think he'll die. I definitely don't. But, yeah, Jerome would be a cool replacement. Um, 343 just would not make that decision. There's just no point at all. The funny thing that you realize um, about Halo is not much time has passed since, like, in Chief's timeline. Like, in in the context of Halo Infinite, Chief has only been, like, he got trained about nine years ago. Like, he's only been in service for a small amount of time, comparatively to, like, like what you think it would be. He's, uh, he's only been there for a little while. Oh, did I, oh, I, I did put the wrong piece in. Oh, mate, that's gonna be difficult to get out. I didn't realize there were rectangles and squares for this flooring. Okay. See that piece separator, man. Hey, so useful. Whoa. Oh, it's flying. Okay, put the squares there and the rectangles there. That's better. Nice. Hello, focus. These flat ones all the way across. Oh, 
Also, I don't know if you guys have listened to the soundtrack for Halo Infinite yet. I'm taking it slowly. When a new soundtrack comes out, I like to listen to like one track every couple of days. Just slowly introduce myself to it. Like I don't want to spoil the whole thing all in one go. <clears throat> and the soundtrack so far is like unbelievable. Like I'm so blown away by it. Uh, there's one that there's one track that I actually used to open this live stream today to start the live stream and it's called um, the uh, Bells of abolition the horn of abolition the horn of Abol the horn of abolition and it's unbelievable I can't believe like they've gone that direction with the soundtrack just so hopeful so upbeat so spiritual like it's amazing It's amazing so big shout out to that. I would love to do a video. I would love to record a video soon. Just talking about the soundtrack. Just like how much admiration I have for it. For it. That'd be a really nice video. Let me know if you would like to see that kind of video. Are you off out? Are you going to the post office? Nice. I put the wrong flat piece in again. It's uh, there's so many different ones. Oh wait, no, I didn't. No, that's right. <clears throat> and then another five. There. Sweet. Just literally just uh, flattening out this entire base. Really exciting. Halo 5 screwed Locke over? A little bit, yeah. Uh, Halo 5 didn't didn't really give Locke uh, much justice, no. It, it was a bit of a, a bit of a waste of a character, I would agree. Um, he definitely had more potential than uh, than he was than he was given. Halo 5 was just a rush story, man. I don't know if people have heard the rumors before that Halo 5 was originally only meant to be a Locke story, a, a story solely following Spartan Locke, and it wasn't going to be called Halo 5. It was going to be just like a Halo spin-off. And then Microsoft got involved at the last minute and said, no, you have to put the Chief in this. It has to be a Master Chief story. And then suddenly they adapted it to uh, have Locke, uh, to, to have the Master Chief in it. And it all became like this jumbled, rushed mess and then when it came out the door, it was just like, not what anybody wanted. Shame. Look at this, this is so crazy. We've literally just flattened out the whole thing. And we are on stage 63, like this is not bad. This is not bad at all. Just thanks for sticking with me, fellas. Thanks for the support. Since I quit my job in Hong Kong and arrived in the USA to solely focus on making YouTube videos, it's been really rewarding. I'm so happy I did it. It's definitely, definitely feels like the right move, the right decision. Hell yeah, man, we're knocking these steps off. I'm uh, kind of intrigued to see how far I'll go today. My energy levels seem pretty high, like the last few days, because I've been recovering from COVID, my energy levels have been like really bad. But today, I'm feeling really motivated. I got the guys here <laughs> egging me on <laughs> through this crazy long build. It's going to be interesting to see just how far I take it today, how far I go. I 
love it. It's always uh, it always gets me really excited. The last few steps of uh, some bags, like you open them in bags, right? And the last few steps of a certain bag are always so fast. You just pop, 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 pop. You just pop it all in. Dun, 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 dun. Step 69 done. Step, step 69 done. We're on to page 70. Or oh, not page 70. Step 70. And yeah. So if we get to step 75, that's officially a tenth of the way. And we're on an hour 20. So eh, eh, could be worse. Could be worse. Right. I wonder what he's building. Uh, Spindler Bow, you can see what I'm building in the in the bottom of the video. Oh, it's the Tesla Cybertruck. <laughs> the Tesla Cybertruck. Mega Construct sent me this set, and I'm building it today. It is probably time that I update the uh, the name of this, but maybe maybe I'll just keep it as the the mystery for now. Keep it as a mystery. <laughs> All right. It's bag six, seven, and eight. Okay. Bag number six. Nice. There's a lot of uh, temporary pieces here, these neon pieces. Side. What do we do when we start a section? When we open some bags, the first thing we do is sort them. Let's sort them all out. Let's get hyped for the sorting. Sorting means we build faster. Building faster means I don't have to sit in front of a camera for 10 hours. <laughs> Though even if I build fast, it'll probably be... 10 hours. <laughs> oh dear. Ah, we got some uh, some lights there. Nice. Definitely going to be the, the tail lights. <coughs> awesome. A couple of... Couple of Kind of interesting ones here. I thought he was building... I thought it was a new building for Halo Infinite that hasn't come out yet. <laughs> no, sir. But this set has not come out yet. This is a pre-order. You can pre-order it at Walmart Canada or MattelCreations.com. It's $250. And it is quite a beast, like quite a beast. And we're accelerating much quicker. The first, we wasted a lot of time at the beginning just figuring out the difference between the black and the gray, which was something we had to do. Like it was something we really had to do early on. Um, and we did make some mistakes. But now we've figured that out. We're, we're, we're scorching through this. Absolutely zooming, man. I'm fast as a boy. I'm fast. You better believe it. And then we got just an assortment of little pieces. It's fine. We'll keep them, keep them jumbled. All right. What's everybody doing? Okay, well, I'm left out. The only Twitch user. Arc breakout. No. <laughs> Usually we have a good Twitch following, but uh, my Twitch has been inactive for quite a long time. So, Arc Breakout, thanks for locking down the fort there, bud. I'm gonna build my Twitch back up soon. Um, very soon, I'm going to move all of my... So, once I start live streaming Halo Infinite, which will be soon, um, I just don't have a live stream set up right now because I'm in uh, Peggy's mom's house. But I'm looking to... Uh, be with, uh, sort of, uh, chill in one of my buddy's houses where I'll have a really nice setup and I'll be able to live stream every day, uh, for a few months. So, very much looking forward to that. And, 
yeah, once that starts, I'll be live streaming Halo all the time. And that will be taking place on my Twitch. So, if you're part of the Twitch army right now, you're just holding down the fort for a little while. A couple more weeks until I'll be live streaming on that Twitch most days. So, stay tuned. Stay tuned for more. For more details. I'm gonna blitz through all these steps. These steps won't even know what hit them. These steps won't even be able to keep up. We'll have moved through them so fast, they won't even notice. Hmm. Uh, see, is that is that the transition back to gray? No. Oh, some of them are gray. The difference between gray. Let me tell you, I'm not not over exaggerating. The difference between gray and black on this is so small. I, I can barely see. <coughs> it's so, so small. It's kind of shocking how small the difference between black and gray is on this. Also, sorry if there was an echo before. I most definitely fixed it now. My headphones that were playing the live stream were too close to my... Um, is that right? Too close to my microphone. Okay, see the difference? There's just two little gray bits. Two little gray bits there. But the subtlety is everything. But now this is back to black. This is back in black. It'll be an... It, I guess it'll be kind of a miracle if we get to the end of this, because there are 3,200 pieces. If we get to the end of this and there are no missing pieces, I will be so, so impressed. I will be so impressed. Mark my words. I will I will ring, ring home about that forever in my review of this. Okay. Now, satisfying step. We just... Layer these on like crazy. I just checked and I'm at three subs away from 700. Hey, the gaming bricks. That's really cool, man. Big congrats. 1K subs is a big milestone. You should be proud of it. Don't get too caught up in the actual sub game. Um, just enjoy making YouTube videos for what they are, which I'm sure you do. But just, just a word of advice. It's the one piece of advice I would give any YouTuber. Don't get obsessed with the numbers. Don't get obsessed with gain. It, uh, it, it can be very negative if you get obsessed with that. You just got to enjoy making YouTube videos for what it is, for the art form. You've got to be invested in making people happy. When people say that the moment that I upload is like uplifting in their day. That's that's what I'm doing this for. The world is uh, is really really tough, man. And um, any light that I can bring to people's lives is honestly why I'm here. That and I love making videos. I love editing. I love. I think editing is like such a pure art form, being able to create something out of nothing and being able to manipulate audio and and video. And it's like every single day, what I put out is exactly as I created it. It's just really exciting. Like every edit, every, every cut, every small editing decision is my choice and it impacts the video and it impacts how much people enjoy it. It's a really, worthwhile thing to be doing with my time. I was teaching in Asia for the for the last five years and teaching in Asia is incredibly rewarding but uh, the hours are very long and there are many parts of the job that are not rewarding so doing YouTube is is is, is, is it feels so rewarding to me. End monologue. <laughs> I 
Hey Simon, just got my first Vic to the Grunt. Hell yeah, dude. Domain is giving us information. Better jot it down, boys. <coughs> I'll give you any information that you want. Would anyone else participate in a mock diorama contest? Uh, that's cool, man. Emperor Bricks. We should do a mock diorama contest on uh, on my Discord. Yeah, guys, I mean, I'm here. I'm building. Um, you guys can ask me anything. I'd love to give you some life advice. I'd love to uh, tell you about my adventures in Asia. I'd love to just talk about anything, man. Whoa, this is interesting. Whoa. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that just uh, that just came about. Look at that. Strange. Strange. Welcome to our new YouTube subscriber, Spindlia Bowl 877 And our new YouTube subscriber, Obi-Wan Shinobi. <laughs> How you doing, guys? Thank you so much for the sub. Really do appreciate it. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Kyle D. Golby. Was Hong Kong a beautiful place to live? It was the most beautiful place in the world. Thank you for asking. It's the most stunning, just awe-inspiring place to live. Honestly, Hong Kong is gorgeous. It is, it is beyond description how gorgeous Hong Kong is. People have this weird perception. I mean, I get why it is, but people have this perception that's so wrong that Hong Kong is just this small banking district and that's all it is. It is so much more. It is so much more. It's vast national parks and huge reservoirs and enormous mountain ranges and hundreds of islands. So yeah, to, to live in Hong Kong has been uh, the, the, the pleasure of a lifetime. Also, I lived in Hong Kong through the entirety of the Hong Kong protests, the uprising against the Communist Party in China. So, whew, I saw, I saw the, I saw the place get destroyed, and then built back up again. I saw it absolutely destroyed. Like, um, I used to teach on the. When I first moved to Hong Kong, I used to teach on the east of Hong Kong Island. And I lived on the mainland, so I commuted for about an hour every morning on a couple of different trains. And in the height of the Hong Kong protests, almost every evening, the train would stop before it got to my final destination and be evacuated because the train station was being torched, like it was being burnt down. And you'd have to like run through these underground corridors while like protesters are in full black, like smashing all the lights and setting things on fire. And the protesters would look after you, like the protesters were really nice. Uh, they would always like stop and give you water or like make sure you needed, if you needed medical help. There were like protesters that were only dressed in medical gear and they would only help civilians um, who were caught in the protests. But yeah, I saw some, saw some crazy, crazy things. Simon, can you say happy birthday? Happy birthday, when when ye power, when ye power, when ye power, when ye power. Happy birthday! I hope you have a great day. Where is Hong Kong? Is it China or Japan? Uh, yes, um, uh, unkillable grunt. It is sadly in China. Hong Kong is. Uh, I don't believe Hong Kong is part of China at all. But um, historically, uh, historically, Hong Kong was a country, um, it was just a fishing district, and then a lot of refugees came to Hong Kong after uh, the Communist Party took over. And um, Hong Kong was then invaded by Japan, and after it was liberated by Japan, it was liberated by the British, and then the British... Um, so, well, the British originally... so. Um, if you want a little, a quick little history lesson, um, Hong Kong uh, is known as the Fragrant Harbor, and it was uh, a big fishing district, um, big fishing imports for mainland China. Um, and then 
Hold on, have I built this wrong? <coughs> yeah, a little bit wrong. Um, so Hong Kong was a big import city for, for fishing. And then basically Britain, uh, so China was always a closed off society, uh, closed off civilization, didn't really allow anybody in. But then China started to trade with the outside world and started to trade tea. And Britain, uh, originally Britain didn't really, well, nobody knew what tea was. And then British people slowly started to get addicted to tea. Like, um, I don't know. I read it in one of the museums in Hong Kong. I don't remember the exact number, but it was something like the average consumption of tea per British citizen, like times by 400 or 4,000%. In like the space of 10 years or something like that. So the British got completely addicted to tea. And the original thing was uh, Britain was trading tea. So Hong Kong, uh, China was offering tea and Britain was offering gold or silk. Uh, so China was giving Britain silk and then Britain was trading the silk with India, making it into fine garments to then sell back to Hong Kong. I mean to China. So China was getting a pretty good deal, um, but the British became more and more addicted to tea. And at one point, China said, look, you don't have anything else to offer us. We don't want all this gold and we don't want to give you all this tea. Like we don't want to harvest all this tea. We don't, we, we're out. And China basically said, no, we don't, we don't want to give you all this tea. We can't give you all this tea. But the British were already addicted the money was circulating like crazy and Britain had to find a way to get China to sell them more tea. And the only way they could do that was Britain then snuck opiates, like drugs, opiums. They snuck opiates into China and slowly got the entire country addicted to opiates, addicted to drugs. And then once China was addicted to drugs, Britain could then sell China the drugs in exchange for tea. So because China didn't want to offer all this tea, Britain got the actual Chinese people addicted to opiates. So Britain could then sell the opiates to China in exchange for tea. And um, it was a big crazy thing. China was very, very unhappy with this. And then there was a big staging one day where China dumped all of the opiates into the ocean millions and millions of dollars worth of opiates. China dumped them into the ocean and said, no, you won't get our people addicted to opiates anymore. The British were annoyed that China had wasted like millions of dollars worth of opiates by dumping them into the ocean. So then the, Brit so then the British bombed all of the Chinese ports around. And then in exchange for a peace treaty, China offered Britain Hong Kong as uh, a colony said you can have hong kong as long as you don't go to war with us so it was it was pretty awful really like china like britain were pretty awful to china like literally getting them addicted to tea and then when china said no they bombed all the ports and then china had to surrender hong kong to britain so it was pretty awful britain was uh they were the real meanies in that situation All right, I'm just making sure I've built this correctly. Yes. This is so absurd. <laughs> yeah. When you like a drink so much, you get an entire country high to get more of it. 100%, man. Tea is British gold, yeah. Hello, Mr. Domain. Hope all is well. I was wondering if you might do anything in the future similar to the goodie bags. I really want one of those sticker patches you gave out with them. Um, cool, man. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I just don't have the, <coughs> the supply right now to offer goodie bags. But if I do in the future, uh, hell yeah, brother. It's good to hear that, uh, that you would, that the interest is there. Right, what's going on here? Because I tried a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. When I put that in, it's gone too long. So what's going? Oh, wait. Is it going? 
Oh yeah. Okay, it's going around the outside. Nice. Okay. That's uh, that's decent. Decent. And now the other side. Um, I, that took me a long time building this section because I was on my my history lesson. Um, the end of that story, uh, basically, Hong Kong. Uh, so China gave Hong Kong to Britain. Said, please don't bomb us. You can have Hong Kong. And Hong Kong was established as well as other shipping ports like Shanghai. Um, uh, Ho Britain was given like six different ports. Hong Kong was one of them. And Hong Kong, Britain established as this financial sector. And suddenly it became like unbelievably profitable. Um, and back then, the GDP of Hong Kong was like a fifth of the whole of China. Now it's like 2%, but back then it was like so incredible. Um, and China obviously got very jealous of this. Um, but, you know, Ch Hong Kong had been given to Britain, so there wasn't much they could do until World War II happened. And when World War II happened, Japan invaded China. And if you guys didn't know, Japan caused such insane war crimes during World War II. Like, they desecrated the Chinese people. Like, did horrific things to the people. So that was awful. But then um, Japan invaded Hong Kong as well as China um, and they ended up uh, sort of taking over Hong Kong and then Britain eventually liberated Hong Kong. And once Hong Kong had been liberated again, China said, okay, we need to reestablish this, this, this treaty now. You can't just keep Hong Kong. So Britain agreed to keep Hong Kong for a hundred more years, which just expired a few years ago, and now it's China again. End of history lesson. Back in black, hit the sack. Japan going into China, it's time to get funky. Uh, they did awful, awful things, man. Um, I lived in a place in China where um, my Chinese tutor, my Chinese teacher, uh, his grandparents got gassed in caves by the Japanese. Like, awful stuff. <clears throat> awful stuff. History with the domain. <laughs> Maybe you can make a history channel. <laughs> uh, Game of Fox, good to see you here, bud. Um, I don't know the, the largest amount about history, but I know a lot about China and Hong Kong. Because I lived there for like five years between China and Hong Kong, so I know a lot about it. You got to know, you got to know about where you're living, you know? Ooh, ooh, I just put one piece in wrong there. I am starting to understand how this could be 3,000 pieces, like this, the size of it. I'm starting to, starting to realize, yeah, this is pretty enormous. Hello, welcome back. Gotta be big. What was really funny was when they said that they could when they, when they said that they could take on the USA and then we dropped the sun on them twice. Oh my gosh, Japan. Japan was, uh, yeah, I mean, the uh, there's a very interesting documentary on Netflix that we watched called World War II in Color. And uh, it, it documents why, why America dropped the atomic bomb uh, really, really well. It's a crazy, crazy thing in history. What did you teach when you were a teacher in Asia? Kind of funny to think about how Halo Toy Man was a teacher. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, I taught uh, primary school English. Yeah, and uh, so I went to university to study education. Like, I'm a qualified English teacher. Well, I'm a qualified primary school teacher. Uh, but when I went to uh, when I went to China, uh, I could only teach English. 
though I did like dabble in other lessons a little bit, but not like officially. I would just sort of occasionally just do a geography lesson if I felt like it. Um, in the school I was in in China, I had uh, basically no syllabus at all. I could teach whatever I wanted. Uh, there were no computers. There was no whiteboard. There was only a big blackboard, a big chalk blackboard with three different colors. And there was no flashcards. There was no printer. There was nothing. I had to draw all of my own flashcards. I had to create my own syllabus and uh, just roll with it. It was wonderful, honestly. It was really wonderful. So I did that for two and a half years. Then uh, I moved to Vietnam for six months and then on to Hong Kong for the remainder of my time for another two years. And now I've just finished that journey in Asia and just arrived in the USA. It's all fresh, it's all brand new. Look at that, very nice, very nice. I call that some good progress. Whatever you do, don't teach middle school if you decide to teach again. I won't decide to teach again at all. It's not gonna happen. Um, teaching in the USA or teaching in England is something I would never do. All right, we got some lights on this bad boy. They're pretty much the only colors we will see on this entire build. A difficult decision looms ahead for me. I'm going to Chicago on a road trip next weekend, but it's the day after Halo Infinite drops. I'm leaving on the 19th. I mean, on the 9th. Infinite drops on the 8th, I'm leaving on the 9th. And, um, hey man, it's like, ah, uh, I'm only gonna be able to play Infinite for a day, and then I'm off on a road trip. So it's gonna be rough. We've almost finished bags number four and five. Very close. Aside from our history lesson detour, that was pretty fast, I would say. Definitely faster than the first few bags. Look at that, we're on to bag number nine, 10, and 11. Round of applause, everybody. Can we get a congratulations in the chat? Ha, my mom says I could stay home when the campaign drops. Hell yeah, dude. All right, there is our Tesla so far. Whoa. Gosh dang. Gosh dang. Step number 105. Bags number 9, 10, and 11. Let's go, fellas. Let's go. New bags means a change of music, I think. Let's bring up some... There we go. Bring up some Halo Wars. Congratulations, congratulations. Speaking of CE, I'm playing the campaign right now while listening to the stream and it's great. Why are you heading to Chicago? Hell yeah, dude. Uh, thanks for watching the stream just in the background. Streams are streams are uh, great to just have on in the background, you know, while you're doing something else. Um, so. My best buddy, his friend's birthday is the next weekend so it's gonna be a lot of driving about six hours each way but we're primarily driving down for his friend's birthday and we'll also be staying with his brother so it's gonna be a really fun trip What's the first thing we do when we open some bags? We sort it all out. 
we sort it all out. Why do we sort? Because we're organized. Sorting makes the dream work. <clears throat> Life hack. Ask someone else to drive and bring your Xbox and TV in the car. That's what I was thinking about doing. So there's a that's 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 genuinely a consideration just to make a really cool video. Can I play Halo Infinite campaign in the car? It's a challenge. The only the only thing is I don't want to damage my my Xbox, my Series S, but it's a consideration. I think it's something that might be able to happen. Wouldn't it be the greatest video? Let me know, guys, if you would like to see a <laughs> driving to Chicago while playing Halo Infinite video. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Right. Step number 103. Let's get it. Let's get it, lads. Simon, do you think I'll still be able to get a chance to get a couple victors before Halo Infinite Universe Series 1 comes out? Yep, yeah, but I'd, uh, I'd step on it, bud. Once Halo Universe Series 1 comes out, Series 3 will start to dry up. So, definitely try and get them now. Before it's too late. Also, where is... Where are these angle pieces? Hmm. I'm staring and I can't see simple, simple slope pieces. That's weird. What? <laughs> What's going on? They have to be here. It's strange not being able to find a piece straight after opening a new bag. Usually that means, uh, like when you when you open a new bag, the pieces are are everywhere. Something funny is going on here. Sometimes, like, the, the pieces are right in front of you and you're just having a bad time. Right, I'm looking at... <laughs> see, I'm looking at the wrong stage. Damn it! <laughs> ah, that's, that stage has already happened. Damn. I knew something weird was going on because there's no way you open a new bag and then you're immediately missing pieces. That never happens. All right, back on track. Simon, get it together. All right, we're making some some crazy big 
gear piece here. And then, one more, then this. Yeah, it's a really long stick. And then another. Oh, heck, and then four little ones. Let's see, one, two, three, and four. Simon is slowly losing his sanity building this set. <laughs> it's, um, my sanity is in question, sure. Let's see what happens in six hours time. Who thinks that the flood will be in Halo Infinite? I think it's like, ah, gosh, maybe. Maybe. I feel like they're probably gonna do it in a DLC though, you know? Because, like, Halo Infinite's going to have multiple campaigns, so they might just bring it out in in uh, in DLC. We shall see. No spoilers. No spoilers. Right. We've got those four little pieces on there. Look at the complexity of this. Welcome to our new sub, Spindler Bowl 877 Simon, do you think Halo Wars 3 would ever come out? Halo Wars 3 will probably come out, but there's no rush. I definitely don't think it'll come out for a long time. Um, there is no rush at all right now. Hey, hey, Simon, I'll trade you a pelican. <laughs> What's up, Noble Six? Better not be a smashed pelican. I ain't taking one of your smashed pelicans. This thing is crazy. There's so many little pieces on this thing. And then another wheel on as well. Dang, <laughs> so many. I'm very intrigued to see what this is. Look at that. This almost seems too much. Simon, I have four pelicans, help. Please don't, please don't smash them, number six. Please, we're begging you. Okay, line them all up correctly. Is that right? Yeah. Gosh dang. Okay. This is definitely the most complicated piece I've seen. <laughs> Arguably on any Mega Construct set. This is ridiculous. Another one on the end there. And then this whole thing somehow goes on here. Hey, what on earth? Whoa. Whoa, it's going. It's going. Whoa. Look at that. Jeez. So that whole thing just rotates around. This must be to do with the suspension. Very impressive. Wow. Hey, Simon, how do you feel about a DLC campaign? where you are your own spot in, like in reach. I also thought about having multiple customization slots. Cool, man. Uh, really cool. The cool thing about the customization, which I don't hear people talk about, because like, yeah, the armor cores can be annoying because you can't customize things across the armor cores and they're sold to you separately. So that's obviously really stupid. But it is really dope how you can have multiple Spartans at the same time. Like you can have your Yoroi Mark 7 and Mark 5B all at the same time. That does lead to some cool customization that you could just like be like, oh, I'm going to rock into this game with my Mark 7. Like, it's nice. But then 343, like the reason it's there is so 343 can be greedy or Microsoft can be greedy and um, monetize it. So the reason that it's there is not good, but the actual, the, ex the actual execution of it can be nice. Okay, covering up those lights a bit. 
And, oh, do we have a printed detail in now? What is that? I don't see it anywhere. There should be a little printed piece with the word Cybertruck on it. I don't see it anywhere, but it should exist. Hmm? It's not a sticker now. Should be a little printed piece. I would have noticed if I'd put it on anywhere else. Interesting. That's not a concern. I could just leave that for now and just, uh... ah, there it is. Hey, Cybertruck. Focus. Cybertruck. Cybertruck. Cyberturk. Pop it on the, the bumper there. Cool. That's our Cybertruck, boys. Theory. What if before he died on the Shield World, Sergeant Forge found out that the Ark had a portal to Earth and set a portal for the Spirit of Fire to go there, but it took 28 years? Huh. Interesting idea. I think it's all uh, it's all part of some big grand plan that we just don't know about yet because there's lots of there's lots of players that have not made themselves uh, have not made themselves clear yet like the master chief and the forward unto dawn arrived randomly at the shield world requiem like the arc uh, the spirit of fire arrived randomly at the Ark. Like these things, there's, there's, there's players pulling strings behind the scenes that we, we can't see yet. I hope it'll all come to play one day. I hope 343 has a plan. Not like the tragedy of uh, the Star Wars sequels where like clearly there was just no plan at all for that. No, I hope 343 has an overarching plan. Could have been Mendelssohn bias, yeah. So that's 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 a big theory. Mendelssohn bias is behind all of this. It'll all become really clear in Halo Infinite. We'll see. Don't mind me. Don't mind my teeth. Doozy Wopsy. <laughs> okay, where is that piece? Need another, uh, another one of those threes. Some of these are, are really, really technical uh, pieces. You mind getting that piece? Yep, <laughs> yeah, some of these are really technical pieces, but I don't imagine there'll be that many uh, just around. I I've seen that the engine is meant to be like really complicated. So we'll see, but yeah, these are, these take obviously, obviously take a lot longer to build these sections, but once they're done, they're done. You're making some pizza. Wow. Count me in. Then we've got this weird, long, red elastic thing that we have to thread through here. Literally just some, uh, some elastic, and then, oh, we pop them on the ends of these white pieces. Oh gosh, that is fiddly. 
some of these really fiddly pieces. All right. And on to the end. There we go. This uh, weird <laughs> elastic piece held together by two of these white studs, and then uh, a free, free moving one in the middle, and then seal it off with two more greys. Oh, and then we insert each piece into here. I mean, we might be building the engine right now. I never like to look ahead. I always like to be surprised, try and predict what's actually happening. It's just more fun that way. Hey, we just passed step 117. Let's go. Can I get a 117 in the chat? Cool, so this is definitely gonna be the engine. So let's move this uh, even further down so you can really see, see what's going on. Okay, so this we pop on like so, and then this elastic piece we stretch out and pop in there. Wow, look at the complexity of that. Huh, that's really crazy. So those cogs have connected together, and look at that. Whoa! Whoa, that just locked off. I like cranked it round and then it's now now jammed. I mean maybe it's oh yeah that's come out. It needs to be pop back in. Come on. Come on go in. Ah. Oh that's a pain. cranked all the way around. <clears throat> and then... We need a 3 by 2 which I don't see anywhere. There it is. Honestly, I fake out missing pieces all the time. I'm always like, oh no, <laughs> don't see it. And then it'll appear like in five seconds time. So I guess I've kind of messed this up because it's not meant to have gone all the way around. Oh, oh, okay. Does that release it? Oh, cool, okay. So this cranks round and then this releases. Okay, cool. Really cool. I don't know how much SpaceX, <laughs> I don't know how much Tesla will have been involved in this build. Maybe they will have had engineers like come into Mega and like collaborated. It wouldn't surprise me. I know their engineers are busy saving the world and going to Mars, but maybe they came in and had a little session one day. Get back to the comments now. I've been uh, not not uh, not messaging back or not reading them. The spirit of fire was definitely planned by someone. I'd guess either Forge or the, on the Shield World or Guilty Spark who actually did survive Halo Three. Yes. Have you thought of doing like a reaction Monday where you live stream and react to Halo fan films? It's a great idea. It's a great idea. I would love to do something like that, honestly. 
I did one React video where um, I helped promote Matty Craft's um, Scarab, and I reacted to uh, watching the build. So that was really cool. I would love to do more. Once I'm set up with a proper camera and proper proper studio, I will go hard <coughs> on uh, experimental videos like that. Just ones that like I can just click record, no setup. Huh, have I missed some steps there? What's going on? Yeah, wow, I oh, wow, I missed a uh, missed a couple of steps there. Oops. <laughs> All the like inside surrounding the uh, engine. I got too distracted by the glory of step 117. I missed out some future steps. Mm, I'm suddenly really hungry for some pizza. Let me know guys, what is your what is your favorite American food? Obviously I just got to America, so there's so much food I've not tried yet. Let me know what's your favorite. <clears throat> Fast food should I try? I've not really tried any of them yet. I haven't been to the US, but I'm getting Dunkin' Donuts soon because one just opened where I live. Oh yeah, dude. I live in the deep south, so fried chicken. Huh. Fried chicken. From the deep south. to try Culver's. Peggy, what's Culver's? Uh, it's the place that we wanted to take you right when you arrived with the Butterburgers. Oh, the Butterburgers, yeah. yeah. Culver's. We'll give it a go. When we first arrived in America on November 4th, <clears throat> everything was closed because it was uh, late in the evening. So, the only option was Taco Bell. And honestly, it was a good Taco Bell. Like, it was nice. But my friend was like, oh god, no, we don't have to go to Taco Bell, do we? <laughs> he was not happy about the situation. Okay, so this sort of... Just, what does it do? Does it rest on top? Yeah, I guess... Oh, okay. Just sort of covers it. Covers this uh, this gear mechanism. Okay. Little red flap. <clears throat> well, 
Last time I went, it wasn't that good though. Yeah. I hear it's hit and miss. I have a Taco Bell so close I could walk to it. Oh no. <laughs> I recommend Costco. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Costco, um, they have Costco's in the UK. You need a membership card. They have loads of good samples. Yeah, uh, it's one of the ways that I fell in love with like American food to begin with. Like Costco's awesome. One thing I'm just, you know, so blown away by in America is the the portions at restaurants, like just so massive. Absolutely massive portions. You could never I could never eat it all. That's good pizza. I don't know about you guys, but I think we're storming through this. No sweat. Like, we're building up this motor so fast. American fast food and just food here in general is pretty unhealthy compared to other countries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's also just so much of it. Like, <clears throat> everywhere I drive, there's fast food joints are everywhere. I don't know, it's a big population, you know, but like, there's so much. I just got Halo C running on my laptop, nice. Like, the UK barely has any fast food joints. Like, really. These big long boys. I walked to Burger King, then I walked back home from Burger King. Okay. <laughs> Is that a song? Blazing through, fellas. Blazing through. Not even worried. to the gray pieces <clears throat> but some black <laughs> I don't want to make it easy it's still some black Let's 
So yeah, we're definitely uh, rounding this off here. We're gonna create a little empty gap for the wheels. Uh, I showed the wheels off in the unboxing video of this set. The wheels are massive. So we're gonna see them pretty soon. I guess my biggest surprise of this build is I'm not bored yet. Like, it does stay pretty, uh, pretty varied. All right, so I now need to crank this down. Crank it. Whee. Nice. Hey, Simon, when you're going to play Halo Infinite again? Been waiting to play some big team battle. I play it most nights, my dude. Send me a message. Bag number 12 and 13. I'm hoping for the best. Twelve and thirteen. And this one seems like a very easy box to sort. So anytime we finish a stage of the build, everyone give a little round of applause emoji in the chat. <laughs> We know we're making really good steps towards finishing. Can you read my last message? The gaming bricks. The gaming bricks. I don't know if you have it in Minnesota, but if you want something healthy, try this place called Taziki's. It's a Mediterranean chain restaurant. That's not where we went, is it, Pegs? Taziki's. I don't know. We went to an unbelievable Mediterranean the other day. Mmm, it was so good. Exact same on the other side. Hey Simon, have you heard of Impact Props? If not, you should look up their channel because they're great. They have a series called Living With Chief. Living With Chief is so great, man. It's so good. Uh, it's one of the reasons that I'm like, hey, 
any YouTuber can make it with the right energy, you know? Like, they have such drive. They're really cool guys. I would love to um, visit them one day. I would love to interview them, make a video with them. It's definitely on my to-do list. I got some great things on my to-do list. Interesting. It's like quite a bit different on this side than the other side. Uh, now this. Oh. Should that actually lock off a bit better? Hmm. It wants me to put this uh, this red brick between this, but it, it's like a little bit shy. Hmm. Oh, it wants to go underneath. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. Now I'll put that on top. Locks it off. And the 3v2. There. Nice. They did something with someone called Hugh Moron. So you should probably have a good chance of a collab. Yeah, I, would, I mean, I would love to collab. I think, it, I think it will happen if I stay in the US for long enough. just totally uh, layering all this up. I hope we don't cover it all up because it's really cool. I thought this would like be exposed, but I guess we're covering most of it up. Our mark for all who have stayed with us for this long thank you so much your support is awesome you are keeping me sane you're keeping me talking you're keeping me building that's what we need right now because I gotta finish this I'm still not sure about one sitting we're gonna have to see how this develops right now I've got lots of energy and I'm just gonna keep on going we'll see how far I get in the next few hours. Really exciting. But obviously don't feel any pressure to step. I like the idea that this is nice background noise for people while they're doing other things. Yeah, would you like, uh, Simon really needs to meet Joe. Would you like to get a Halo 2 Scarab set? I'd like to see it, yeah, hell yeah. Have you met Joe yet? What, what does that mean? I went to the Mall of America a little bit ago and I met Matty Crafts for the first time. So me and him will be doing some cool things in the future. Really nice guy. Okay, now we're putting some angled pieces on the sides. I am now, now I'm like totally, totally in the swing of figuring out what's black, what's gray. It's become way more obvious and way less intimidating. But at first I was like, this sucks, man. <laughs> when this build first started, I thought the, the lack of any instruction for like what's gray and what's black was really bad, but they fixed it. Okay. 
cool. Just making sure I didn't skip anything then. We're getting some silver on. Let's give some nice variation to this thing. Nice. So there's loads of different lengths here. Loads of different lengths. This is one, two, three, four, five, six long. Nope, that's still too long. There we go. Six, four, four, three. Nice. Simon should do a live Nuzlocke of the new Pokemon games. I would love to do a Nuzlocke. Oh my god. I w Dude, if that's something people would watch, I would freaking love to do a Nuzlocke. Are you serious? Um, damn, I always watch Nuzlockes and I'm like, I've never even considered that I could do one myself. If I got an emulator, I would love to do a Nuzlocke. Hell yeah, man. <coughs> I've got ahead of myself here. I put down the other side, but yeah, it does look like it's it does look like it's gonna be okay. Okay, we need a long one. And then a single stud. And then four. And then a two. And then four long ones. All in a row. Oh, we're covering the gears. Oh, farewell, gears. It's a shame I'm covering them up, actually. I really like them. But goodbye. You are covered up by silver now. And then a load of the little studs. Can we get an F in a chat for the, the gears? I thought they'd be on display forever. Did I just put too many there? No. Three more. One. Oops. Crack that off. At least I think we're, we're leaving some of them exposed. One, two, three. Simon didn't meet Joe. What the heck is to the Joe? Who is Joe? Simon, would you consider the actor for Chief in the Halo TV series to be Chief's canon look? <clears throat> yeah, sure, I would. I mean, Chief, we know what Chief looks like. He's a Caucasian male with uh, shaved hair and probably brown eyes. I mean, we know what color eyes he has. Um, there's nothing actually, there's nothing left to like be a surprise per se. We just haven't seen his head in game. We haven't seen his face in game, but everything else it's like, yeah, we know what he looks like. I, for one, don't even mind Chief, uh, Chief's face being shown in the game. I don't think they'll do it now because the, the fan outcry for it not to happen is so great, but I don't care, man. I wouldn't consider him canon unless the show is considered canon. Well, you yeah. know. That's the crazy thing, man. For anyone that doesn't know, the Halo TV series is not canon. It's not a canonical adventure, which is so strange. But that's what they've chosen. It's like so strange. I think it's such a weird idea. It's gonna alienate people who are new to the franchise. This is weird. Hmm. It says I don't even need these two pieces. But I don't know where they were meant to have gone. Oh, sure, they were meant to go back there, were they? Okay. Dancing on thin ice making mistakes like this, but we seem to have got away with that one. I wouldn't cons- uh, yes. 
Have you seen Jaden Animation's Nuzlocke videos? No. The two people I really like watching are Point Crow and Small Ant. I don't know if you guys know them, but Point Crow and Small Ant are really funny. Um, maybe a little bit over dramatic at times, but really funny. We're nearing the end of this section of bags and nearing the end of the first box. That's a big milestone. When we can say we finished the first box, that's big news. Oh, interesting. Is there, is there a piece missing there? Oh. Weird. Yeah, that was popped on wrong. I'm playing CE on my laptop and just learned that an overshield spawns in that dropship attached to the life pod entrance. Does it really? Interesting. Interesting. All right, let me let me know guys, what are you all up to today? Is anyone actually in school or are you guys not working? don't know who Joe is, Snafu. Um, you need to give me more context, bro. <laughs> this is looking like it might fit. Um, it's probably not going to fit a Jazzware Chief inside, which is a shame. I might have to like try and find some kind of Master Chief that fits inside. Because obviously it's going to be way, way too big for a Mega Constructs Chief. Maybe, <coughs> maybe a Grunt might fit inside. I'd accept a Grunt. Let me pull it off. Hooray! We finished! Bags 11, 12, 13. Round of applause, everybody. Round of applause. And we got through the bag that was torn without any missing pieces. And now we're on to the last bags of this box. We finished a box, guys. Well, we didn't finish the box yet. We almost finished the box. We're on the last bags of a box. That's a big step. And we're on pe we're on step 160. Very nice. Oh, we got some translucent pieces. Nice. Okay, this one is going to take a little bit to sort. There's a, a a large collection of spare pieces that are accumulating, which is nice to see. I need spare pieces, in general. Though I guess I might keep all of the pieces together. It might be better if I keep every piece that came with the set in one place, so I can have it as 100% complete. I think this will be quite the collectibles item in, in, a, in a couple of years. When, when, uh... Basically, when Tesla is going to Mars, like, when Tesla is going to Mars, this will be a very, very valuable piece, I think. It'll be worth the build. <laughs> Alright, this is a, a lot of pieces, so I will take a moment to build all this, but please ask me some questions so I can answer them while I'm doing all the building. 
There's not much else I can I can do, but I'd love to have a nice conversation, have a nice chat. What are you guys interested in knowing about? <laughs> these are nostalgic. These look like old school like Lego bricks, like these these like window panes. Maybe you can fit a Joyride Halo figure in there. Who is Joe, Simon? I'm not answering. <laughs> but I kind of did by reading the question. What happened to the Arbiter that you got from Mega? <clears throat> it's chilling in my house in England, bro. And it's uh, my absolute, it's the greatest thing I own. So beautiful. Simon, can I use Halo Wars Marines in my contest entry? Of course you can, bro. Of course you can. The the theme, I tried to explain in the video, the theme Adventures on Zeta Halo is just, it's just a fun theme. It's not, it doesn't have to be taken too seriously and you can include figures from any era. You can have characters from, you can have any characters really. I mean, it's, it's, it's all up to you. I just want you to have fun with it, that's all. Okay. Have you met Joe Mama? <laughs> you could maybe fit the buildable chief in the cyber truck. Nah, it's gonna be way too big. The chief, the buildable chief will be way too big. Good thought though. You just got off the interstate on my road trip. I might have to go soon. No problem if you do. Enjoy your road trip, bro. Enjoy your road trip. First and foremost, enjoy your road trip. And if you're spending time with your family, turn off YouTube. Just enjoy your time with your family. Snafu, I am the first. <laughs> Snafu, you did get me. You most definitely did get me. Am I doing the same again? Am I repeating steps of this build? What's going on? I think I am. I think I just re repeated that step of the build. That's not the first time I've done this today. I keep on like opening some new bags and then just repeating a step of the build that I just did. Yeah, definitely didn't need to do that. Now I need whew, eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And four of these. One, two, three, four. Oh, they face inwards. Very interesting. Layer these all the way around. Like literally all the way down and on the other side. And 
then four, four, and eight. Yeah, I have just been vibing so hard with the Halo Infinite soundtrack. So many of the tracks are just gorgeous. They're just so wonderful. I've been having such a great time with it. Step 164. 164. We'll get in there. My favorite so far is the Horn of Abolition. Now, in in all of Halo, in all of the Halo soundtracks, let me know, guys, which is your favorite Halo soundtrack? I would love to know. In all of the Halo soundtracks, my favorite... So let me know in the comments, which is your favorite soundtrack and which is your favorite actual single track? Because that's a big... They're very different questions. My favorite soundtrack is probably... Uh, well, it's Halo Infinite now, but it used to be ODST slash Reach. But my favorite track of all, by far, by far, is 117 from Halo 4. That is by far my favorite track. And it's crazy because that track is copyrighted, so I will never be able to use it in the video. R.I.P. But then also, it's... Uh, I like I like Halo 4 soundtrack I do but it's definitely not my favorite a lot of it is hard to listen to because it's so like dark and edgy same with Halo 5 Guardians like Halo 5 Guardians soundtrack is just like uh, it's just too aggressive some of them are really great like the light is green uh, is really good cross paths in Halo 5 Guardians is really good um, but a lot of it is too difficult to listen to casually but the 117 in Halo 4 is unreal. I love it so much. I love it so much. And it used to be the track every time we ran Blocks Fest, our Halo Mega Blocks gaming convention, every time we would run it, just before doors opened, we would play the 117 track as it was like, sort of like, times now everybody, like, let's get it together, let's open the doors. And it would like get everybody motivated. It's really cool. So 117 is my favorite single track, but uh, <clears throat> probably ODST is my favorite overall. <laughs> Thank you, Simon, for giving me the chance to pull a Joe Mama joke on you. You're very welcome, buddy. I'm happy you enjoyed it. You really did get me. Halo Wars 1 is my favorite soundtrack. My individual track is either just Ad Notion or the one playing now. Yeah, um, I love, um, what's it, like, um, the one where the Arbiter appears and grabs um, the Professor. Halo Wars, yeah. Halo Wars 1 is just non-stop bangers. True, Halo Wars 1 might be my favorite as well. Halo Wars 2 is good, but, uh, I don't know. Again, just too loud and just too aggressive. You can't just listen to it casually, which is what I want from a Halo soundtrack more than anything, to just listen to it uh, just in my downtime. There's a difference between length of hook here. Gotta make sure you get the right one. So we've got these two that are hollowed out and we're inserting them into the side. Right now, they're not even visible, but I imagine some rod will like go all the way through. So you can't even see them now, but they must have been used for a reason. <clears throat> we'll see what that <coughs> we'll see what that reason is soon.
Charles. Currently eating a, a bee's churger. Whoa. <laughs> Put the lady down. That's the one. Put the lady down. So good. So good. Put the lady down is the best one. Yeah. It's one of the best soundtracks of all time. My favorite soundtrack is probably Halo 2, but my favorite track is either Finish the Fight, 117, or Spirit of Fire. Spirit of Fire is a really good track. I do really like that. I showed my buddy, who's never... He's never played a Halo game, and I showed him uh, Captain Cutter's motivational speech after Isabel says that we need to run and we need to abandon the Ark. And <laughs> this guy who has like, never played Halo before was like, damn. That is a dope cutscene. Like, that is so dope. Hopefully, uh, he'll play with me one day. We can make a bit of a series of it. Yeah, I don't know if everyone answered before. Let me know if uh, you have a favorite video that I've released recently. I would love to. I don't know if I read all the comments either, but. If you have a favorite video that I've released within the last uh, month, because I've been uploading every single day, please do let me know which one is your favorite, because I would love to know. It's very useful for me. Now, where is that piece? There it is. Gotcha. I would like to go and actually work the campaign. I think you'll have to hunt down active camos and uh, and overshields in the game. I think they'll just be placed randomly. You need to do a Halo diorama with the Cybertruck. <laughs> I will if you want me to. Yeah, I will. Just you watch me. Three more of these. Oh no, two more of these. Pleasure to meet you, Simon. You too, Beetle Coin. How you doing today? Hope you're having a great morning. Well, it's now way into the afternoon, but hope you're having a great afternoon. What am I doing? I am like putting these on in completely the wrong place. <laughs> completely the wrong place. Alright, let's put that around. We're doing the other side now. Do you think you'll do more videos like the one about the progression system? Um, yeah, I would love to, man. So, um, I was saying before, I've... Wait, hold on. <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. Oh, okay. Two pythons. When did they go down? Huh. Damn, I missed those. <laughs> I have been like missing things off the build, but nothing seems to have like affected it yet. I always seem to be able to like catch myself and recover, which is good. Because uh, sometimes that is not the case with these builds. But right now, luck is on my side. <coughs> I'll call it luck. Interesting. These ones... Oh, yeah, they, the other ones stick out as well. Okay. Yeah, um, so that progression video, it's really what I want to start doing uh, a lot of on my channel. Because... Um, if I want to succeed as a full-time youtuber, I need to branch out into the general halo audience more I need to gain uh, more traction right now 
it's like it's 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 like do or die time and you guys uh you'll always be able to say you were like there when when it was going down like the next few months will make or break everything and um right now i'm like okay uh, views and everything else is is steadily in, in increasing so can I keep that going and can I attract a more general audience if I can then that means more views if I get more views then that means I could do this professionally as a full-time job so yeah you guys are in the belly of the beast it's it's one final effort from here on out That's why I would love the 117 motif, man. It's so inspirational. It's so upbeat. It's like, never give up. It's uh, also uh, one of the best soundtracks. Uh, 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 another one of the best tracks ever made is Blue Team. Blue Team starts off so somber, so full of despair, like Master Chief has lost Cortana, all hope is gone, and then it still ends with an upbeat. No, it's not over. You can still win. We can still do this. It's, I love, I love the, uh, the soundtrack Blue Team. I love the track Blue Team. It's amazing. Maybe make monthly status reports on Halo Infinite to time capsule Halo Infinite's progress over the years. Not bad. Hey, not bad, 5G HD. I like your cut. I like your cut, G. <laughs> no, I like your style. That's a really cool idea. Wow. As long as I could keep going with it, that's dope. Okay, we've made this funny little elastic piece hanging on there. Also, welcome everybody. This is the most views we've had all stream. Happy to have you here. Thank you so much for the support of the channel. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So this little elastic piece clips onto there. Very nice. Why are you going to Chicago, Simon? It's for my friend's friend's birthday. I don't know the person who's got the birthday, but my friend is driving down to Chicago and he's like, hey, come down to Chicago with me. I'm like, absolutely. <clears throat> It'll be six hours each way, a fun road trip. Uh, he's the guy that appeared on the Rockstar Energy video. And he'll be appearing in a lot of more videos. He really likes uh, being on camera and, like, obviously me and him are, like, best buds. So it'll happen more. More often. Soon. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. That seems, uh, that seems right. We are now on step 176. 176. That's huge. 176. A lot of steps have passed us by. <laughs> but here we all are. Sad thing about having a bigger audience is the st streams, in my opinion. I like just having streams with about 20 people in it. Just feels relaxing to sit and chat with a small amount of people and Simon. Hey man, that's really nice of you to say. Uh, I'll keep that in mind, man. I'll keep that in mind. Um, of course, there'll be, like, even if we get a larger Halo audience, I don't think they'll be <coughs> as interested in Mega Block streams. Like, there'll still, there'll always be a small community around this. Don't worry. Because, like, clearly, uh, we're expanding a lot. We've gained a thousand subs in, like, the last month. So, we're gaining fast but um, I will never lose sight of what makes this community special, which, yeah, is the intimacy of it, 100%. We'll saw the piece there. Just holding that in place. This feels like a bit of a a nitty gritty section of the build. Feels like progress is a little slower, but we're moving through. Just cause like all the steps are a little less predictable. And you may notice I'm, uh, I'm not getting together all of my pieces before every step. It's a bit more of a risky strategy, but um, 
It just makes the build so much faster if you're just grabbing whatever you see you need. So, it's okay. We're, I'm still trying to be careful. But um, obviously, like you have seen, I've made some uh, errors. And that's usually because uh, I'm just grabbing each piece that I see I need. So maybe I just miss a piece that we needed. But um, it's okay. We're making fantastic progress. And the, the uh, errors so far have been very minimal. And uh, sometimes, even after saying that, I'll, I'll still collect up all these pieces for this next step. <coughs> to make sure... Okay, where? Let's see, need a couple more of those angled studs. Hmm. Honestly, we can get the best of both worlds. Simon can get some more money, and we can keep our little Mega Bloks community. Hell yeah, dude! Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, the you know, life is real. Real is life. If I want to keep going uh, full time on YouTube, I need uh, to make more money on YouTube. Hundred percent. And the best way of doing that is more views, more, more videos, but also it goes hand in hand, doesn't it? <laughs> more videos mean more content for you guys. It's a it's a win win. It's a win win. We're all winners here. Okay, what have we got going on here? One, two, three, four, five. Cool. Building up this side section. Simon getting the moolah is our number one priority. <laughs> if you want Simon to get the moolah, just um, <laughs> just just uh, have have my YouTube videos on in the background on autoplay and just like watch ten of them without even like looking at the screen. <laughs> Don't even have the volume on, just like, <laughs> watch videos. No, it's jokes. It's whatever. Hmm. But yeah, things, uh, things are going well. If things keep in this direction, if I have a really solid six months, and if I know that this is financially viable, then YouTube will be my full-time employment for good. Wouldn't that be wonderful? That means videos every single day practically forever and I would be incredibly happy and content with my life and I'd be bringing you guys enjoyment which is very very important just open 20 tabs in the background and play his videos <laughs> you're not wrong you're not wrong Okay, I think um, I flip this round. Let me see. Yeah, I can get a better angle. One second. There we go. No, come back here. There we go. That's better. All right. Oh, wow. Are we putting them on the sides now? That's exciting. That's a big change of pace. Okay, like I said, yeah, there were going to be some rods going through here, which I predicted. And, yep, they go all the way through. Very nice. And then we get one, two, three, four, five. Would you like Halo 5 music, ODST, or... Yeah, Halo 5, ODST, or Halo 2. What's it gonna be, guys? That's all the ones we got right now. Ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> I put them on wrong. My side panels, no. They're easy to get off. Two by two, then three by two, then two by two, then three by two. There 
There we go. We got a side panel. Nice. What was your first YouTube video, Simon? Uh, you can check it out. If you go to my YouTube page, you can go to the oldest one and it's a stop motion test. I did loads of stop motion tests uh, before I released my first one, which was the assault on squad 45 or something. No, that's that's Mega Bloks. The assault on something base. I did a, an animation uh, like the assault on some kind of base and then I started releasing reviews, which are incredibly dry. Uh, but hey, you gotta start somewhere, man. Um, this is a very exciting thing, you guys don't know yet. But January 5th, I believe it's January 5th. On January 5th, it is my 10 year anniversary on YouTube. 10 years since I created my channel. This January, 10 years. There's gotta be some big celebration, man. Big celebration. There's gotta be something really cool that we do. 10 years on YouTube, man. I could not have imagined, I could not have imagined that I'd still be doing it now and that it would bring me this happiness. Ugh, could not have imagined it, man. What's also really cool about this stream is uh, when I used to live stream in Hong Kong, I would live stream at about 9 a.m., which was about 9 p.m. Central in America. And sometimes I'd wake up early and do like a 6 a.m. live stream, which would be 6 p.m. in America. But the sad thing about that is slowly everybody that's viewing the video would go to bed. So my, my viewership would just tank after like five hours. But here, people are actually getting home from school. <laughs> so the views can can only uh, either stay steady or increase, like whatever, but um, it's just cool that people don't have to go to bed. Okay, there we go. Nice, now we're layering this up, getting some side panels on. We're past the three hour mark. Shout out to anyone. Let me know in the comments. Have you stayed for the three hours? Are you, have you been here the whole time? If so, you are a goat. I vote Halo 2. You want some Halo 2, guys? See ya, Emperor Bricks. Oh, uh, gotta go, the phone's almost dead. I'll be back in a bit. See you later, Gaming Bricks. Thanks so much for the support. Ark Breakout's been here. Hell yeah, Ark Breakout. Unkillable Grunt, hell yeah. It's only 8 p.m. in the UK. Yes, 5G HG. Happy to have some, uh, some Brits here. Um, I will do a British uh, meetup. Uh, probably next spring. So stay tuned for that. Somewhere like Manchester or London, I will do a Halo meetup, so stay tuned for details. I'm thinking there's, there's talks about doing some kind of Halo meetup in Chicago, um, or the Mall of America. We might do a Halo meetup in the Mall of America soon. We're just about to approach the end of the first box, guys. That's really exciting. And this is also really satisfying here. These uh, angled bricks <clears throat> just smoothing off this part. So this is clearly the trunk of the car. And smooth that off or as the Brits would call it the boot the boot of the car <coughs> I've been here since I got the notification hell yeah I've been here for like two hours 20 minutes woke up 40 minutes late <laughs> nice <clears throat> nice all right oh that's an easy step just two bricks 
<laughs> he says it's an easy step. Where are the bricks? There they are. Just two bricks. That's an easy step. And that was step 187. Step 187. And here's step 188. I wonder, I do wonder how much I'm going to complete today. I do wonder, because I got all the energy to do it, man. I haven't even taken a break yet. Because here's the thing, I'm just sat here building and talking to my friends. Like, it's such a nice atmosphere to do it. Like, building this, most people would do it over a week because, you know, they'd get bored. But I'm sat here with, like... A ton of my friends just having a good time. So, I'm hella motivated. I am motivated. Alright. We need one of these six long, and two of these five long. And two of these two long. Okay. Alright, we're adding in the, uh, the glass on the back of the the back of the uber <laughs> when this was unveiled by tesla um elon musk challenged uh one of the mechanics to throw a rock at the the window to show that it was bulletproof and he throws the rock at the window and it just cracks completely and then elon's like oh do try another one and he throws it at another one and that also cracks and the hilarious thing is, <clears throat> you can see the cracked window on the box art. Like, they don't shy away from it. They do not shy away from it at all. And when you look at the decals for the actual windows, you can see that they ha they're cracked. Like, they were splintered by the, uh, the rock. So, uh, they know how to live up to their own mistakes, which I give them massive credit for. Most companies would think that was a PR disaster. Elon Musk just swears on stage in front of the world and then tells him to throw a second rock. Like what a legend, what a legend. And then still doesn't care when the second rock breaks the second windshield. Man's reading a whole Harry Potter book to build this. <laughs> Yo, 100%, 100%. Okay, I'll get back to the comments section in a second. I've not read the comments for a while. What movie are you watching, Pegs? What movie are you watching? No, no, I'm just asking. Oh, I think this is quite a <clears throat> delicate part. You guys got any movie recommendations? Anything I should watch? Now we've got American Netflix and Disney Plus. All right, we built these these weird things, and I guess they're going on here. All right, that's one and two. Not bad. Not bad. I can't verify my account for the Discord. Is this the actual set? I've never seen it before. Yes, dude. This is the brand new Tesla Cybertruck, and this was sent to be bought sent to me by mega constructs this is brand new nobody has this yet it's just up for pre-orders and it's 2200 pieces it's a beast mega sent it me for free so we're building it today it's uh it's quite quite the piece quite the piece well yeah guys i do appreciate you uh you keeping the view count high for this one it's really awesome and uh, it's cool to just have it have it on in the background whatever you're doing today that is the end of step 192 192 let's get to 200 and then I'm gonna take a quick break I'm loving how this is coming together 
The design itself is just outstanding. Hacksaw Ridge. I've never watched Hacksaw Ridge. I've never actually watched the, the original Gladiator films either. So I would love to watch those. You should watch Gladiator, yeah. Uh, 1917 is probably my favorite movie. Nice. <laughs> Not the biggest fan of Elon, but I respect that. Yeah, um, Elon is like, look, we should never be enormous fans of egotistical maniacs who have more money than the GDP of countries. But, you know, it's it's one of those. We we have to we have to trust that he has some kind of best interests at heart. And look, aside from anything else, if he's pushing green energy which, like some people say in the next 50 years, no gas-powered cards will be on sale. Like, if he's pushed that, if he's pushed that evolution to, to green uh, driving and green energy, then I have to just appreciate him. No, I don't necessarily think we should be going to Mars. I think we, we should be, I think we should be, we, we should be investing in space travel. I think it's a wonderful, um, thing to do with 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 uh, with ourselves on this planet um, to say that we we left our planet I think that's insane but to you know I think he he could put his money to to better use in some ways but I mean so could any celebrity first and foremost he's driving green energy and that's what I have to give him credit for. And hey, he's investing in Mega Constructs. We're gonna love him for that. <laughs> he's investing in our favorite company. Ah, that's a tricky one to get in. Wow, that's starting to weigh a lot too. Damn. Okay. We are nearing the end of this section, which is a perfect time to take a quick break. Step 197, and we'll take a little break on step 200. Step 198, all right. Step 199 involves new bags, so that's the perfect time to take a break, guys. All those spare pieces there. We got to step 198, and you got there with me, so thank you very much. We're gonna take a quick break, don't go anywhere, and I'll be back shortly.
Who says I'm gonna never return? <laughs> He's even got LEDs plugged into him. We wait 10 years. Those are his new tattoos. Oh my goodness. Uh, I might get a new tattoo next weekend. We're not sure. Um, also, you can now play... You can now have my tattoo as a... A, uh, AI in Halo Infinite, which is pretty cool. Alright, fellas. It's a big, big step. We are on to box number two. And that's box number two out of three. So we're honestly making some really good progress. I'd say that is a massive step forward. Box number two out of three. Wow. And we're just going to organize the bags real quick. Hope everybody's doing well. Thanks for sticking with the stream. 26, 27, 28. Seems to be quite a lot of bags in this one. <coughs> Alright, 18, 25, 28, 29, 20. Again, just biodegradable packaging. I'm in love with you, Mega. I'm in love with you for that. 21, 22, okay. There we go. Our bags are sorted nicely, and we need 17, 18, 19 for the step of the build. guys what else are you doing with your day what are you doing while watching the stream also this this tripod honestly this tripod has been dying and dying in more and more in more and more creative ways since uh since it arrived in america like it's it's suffering a slow death <laughs> r.i.p r.i.p um simon with one set fills half a landfill because of all the plastic bags that's well, not half a land. <laughs> That's a bit of an over-exaggeration, but I get the concern. Like, it's been a real concern of mine. So I'm definitely going to shout out Mega on Twitter about this. I'm hoping that this is not just space. I I'm hoping this is not just Tesla's doing. I'm hoping this is actually a step that Mega's about to take. I'm hoping it's not just this set that has biodegradable packaging. Because that would be a real shame if they do this, but it's only because Tesla asked them to. So we'll see. I'm definitely gonna make people aware of it online. Fight the good fight. <clears throat> but you don't really need to fight any fight, you just need to congratulate Mega and give them good publicity, and then the rest will... the rest will happen. Like, the second a company realizes that they're getting really good publicity for something, they'll just keep on doing it. Especially when it's being green. Being green and saving the planet is only going to happen if it's cool. If it's cool to save the planet and if it's profitable for businesses, then it'll happen. Like, you yourself cannot beat climate change, but inspiring the right people and convincing big companies to fight climate change is how the battle will be won. And <laughs> there is absolutely no denying that climate change is real. Absolutely no denying it. Okay. We're organized. We're ready to go. Let's get on with the build. We just don't need bags. Let's do it old school instructions and a bunch of Lego thrown into the box. <laughs> don't think so. No, I definitely need the bags. <laughs> I definitely need the bags, but I want biodegradable bags. But yeah, I, I, I don't I don't even know. Like, if Mega had sent me this set and it hadn't been in numbered bags, I think I would have just been like, nah, guys, you can keep it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't, th I honestly, like, I honestly don't think I'd build it. 
I think I would say, no, Mega, I, I can't build that, I'm sorry. Because it, it would just be insane. There'd just be no way. There'd be no way you could build this without without numbered bags. Like, uh, the old Mega Construct sets, like I built before it into Dawn, and there were no numbered bags. You just dumped everything out, and you just got going. There was just, uh, there was no help. And that back then, my, my mom would know when I'm doing a big build because every one of her Tupperwares, every one of her containers, her bowls, her china, everything would disappear out the kitchen because I'd need every single one of them to sort bricks into. But now numbered bags mean, numbered bags also mean you can do it at a table. When I built the Ford into Dawn, I had to do it on the floor because there were 3000 pieces that you had to have laid out all at once. Welcome to our new Twitch follower, Little Muffin One Three One. That is an adorable name. Welcome to the gang. Okay, we'll put them on on its side. Very nice. It's getting lower and then spikes back up. How's the build going? What's Simon's progress bar on Insanity? My Insanity is good, man. Um, if guy, if you guys didn't know, I think Chunky Chief is definitely referring to the Pelican live stream. When I live streamed the Pelican, <clears throat> I built it all in one go for nine hours. But uh, I, I'd never live streamed before. It was like one of my first ever live streams and uh, I, I did lose my sanity a bit. And um, it, it went like way into the day and I hadn't eaten properly and uh, I didn't have good back support. And it was, uh, it was, it was tragic. This time I'm doing very well. We're, we're three and a half hours in and we're on stage 200. This is officially, it's cool you asked, because this is officially stage 200. Uh, so we're doing very well. Are we gonna finish today? I, it's too early to say. I, I don't know. Um, I'm excited about the idea that there's a, there's a small, small possibility we could finish today, but I don't know. And I also have to see what my energy levels are like because <coughs> I just, just recovered from COVID. And this is like the first big task I've done. So we'll see. This is this is pretty dope. Yeah. Um, one thing I would love to hear your thoughts on, guys, and I know Chunky Chief has many opinions on this. If you could see one Halo Universe set, what would it be? Mega Constructs could make a Halo Universe set. And a Halo Universe set is anything from any game, from any TV show, from any movie from Halo, from any comic book, uh, the anime, anything. What would you like to see Mega make? One Halo Universe set. A new vulture, definitely, mm, yeah. I think you're only saying that because the current vulture is so expensive. <laughs> but yeah, that is one thing. Grave mind set would be awesome. <laughs> A grave mind, my God. I don't think Mega Constructs has the, uh, <coughs> um, I don't think they do it. I think it's just too much. <laughs> I think it would just take too long. Too many new pieces. But yeah, a grave mine would be outrageous. I want to see a guardian, man. Why have we never got a guardian? Why did we never get a guardian? Uh oh. What went wrong there? Huh. Just missing a single piece there. Oh, missing something right at the bottom. Oh, don't break. Go. 
sure people have some good ideas. A giant grunt army. <laughs> rising again, rising up against the Covenant. They need to make a flood platoon pack. Yeah, a flood platoon pack. Yes. Yes, 100%. A marine platoon pack with just Halo Wars marines. Nice. Yeah, it was possible I want a guardian. A Promethean versus flood battle pack. Nice, nice. A scarab. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I retract my statement. A friendly elite phantom would be awesome. Ah. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. A phant. I mean, we're definitely not going to get a phantom because we've got one coming. Um, we know that we're going to get a red team charge set. So that's probably going to have all of red team. Um, against a couple of honor guards because we have the new mold honor guard coming hmm. Keep the ideas coming fellas Building up the front of the vehicle now. Phone's charged and I'm back. Welcome back, Gaming Bricks. How's it going? How's it going? He's back to the stream. He has returned. The return of the king. A giant covenant ship. Yeah. I mean, we're going to get a banished phantom. It's nice to see that there's still an outcry for Covenant stuff, even though we're heading into the Banished era now. It's still cool to see that people want Covenant. A better exosuit, maybe with more weapons and a bit bigger and more joints. Um, I adore the, uh, the current exosuits. I really adore them, so... I don't know if uh, I want something with more joints. Like, I don't know if I want a larger one. Like, we have things like the Cyclops. I don't know if I want anything more than that, but... Cool idea still. Who else is excited for the new Scorpion tank? Yeah, man. Uh, there's going to be a new Scorpion. I think it's about time. Obviously, people are very uh, very upset about the, Scorp the state of the Scorpion in Halo Infinite right now. I have still not driven a Scorpion in all of my time playing. I've still not got in one. Um, I've only got in a Wraith once, uh, and that was only on a custom game. So, Scorpion, still still not come across it, but very excited for a, a uh, in-game Scorp- I mean, a Mega Construct Scorpion. I'll always be very excited about that. But, 343, come on, I want to drive my Scorpion. Like, every single Halo Infinite game should start with Scorpions. I mean, with tanks. Like, you spawn, there's a tank. Because it's big team battle, man. And then there doesn't have to be another tank for ages, but there should definitely be a tank on spawn. That's just the fun of it. You want, like, all of the stuff when you spawn. Alright, this is a complicated section now.
one thing that's different between now and when I did my Pelican live stream, which was nine and a half hours. Um, back then, I had terrible, terrible back pain. Really, really bad. <laughs> really bad back pain. Um, and since then, I've done a lot to improve that. Um, basically, if you if you experience any 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 joint pain, any back pain, you just need to work out. You need a a, a regular routine of working out, and you can fix your pains. Uh, but you need to be you need to be consistent with working out. Um, I was consistent, and I've cured a lot of my back pains, which is wonderful. But um, having COVID, I've not really moved from the bedroom for <laughs> um, a full week, so I'm still a bit stiff now because <laughs> I haven't been moving. My mobility's been way down, but still, I count my blessings that I have improved a lot of my joint and muscle pains over the time. is step 208 and we've got to insert a rod into there nice step 208 btb so far has just been bigger arena yeah and i don't mind that like btb uh like the halo infinite btb i sometimes i like get awestruck by the scale of it like sometimes when when i see like Hundreds of infant like not hundreds, but when I see dozens of infantry running through the battlefield and like I scope through my DMR or like Not DMR. I scope through my battle rifle and I see like so many enemies I'm like this is just the greatest thing ever, but uh, yeah, we need we need some more vehicles It's kind of crazy that the plasma pistol no longer EMPs vehicles, but I do dig it now now I've seen uh, how much like they've moved, they've introduced like electricity into the sandbox. I do respect that the plasma pistol now just pops shields. It's now uh, not as OP, but now the electricity thing is pretty damn OP. Like if you're in a vehicle, likelihood is you're gonna get <laughs> EMP'd by electricity. Okay. Okay, there we go. What's everybody up to? I don't think Sandtrap will have an elephant unless the build is half and half. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I. but then again, it's gonna be like $150. I think Sandtrap will have an elephant, and I think the actual Sandtrap element will be quite small. I think the main build will be the elephant, and uh, maybe an elephant and a banshee. But uh, yeah, I think I think definitely an elephant. Mega constructs they don't just make environments; they make vehicles first and foremost. Mega constructs makes vehicles way more than anything else because vehicles sell. Like mega constructs are afraid to make dioramas uh, because uh, they just don't sell as well as as vehicles because kids want vehicles to play with. People have this like. Um, warped reality that uh, Mega Construct's main audience or main sell selling point is collectors because collectors spend the most money. And yes, while collectors do spend the most money individually, there's no way near as many collectors as there are children buying the products. So first and foremost, you have to sell stuff that kids want to buy and a kid doesn't really want to, I mean, you feel like a kid would want to buy a firebase, uh, like a little base of operations for his figures. Like I would have if I was a kid, but maybe it's just not as much, not as many kids as the kids that want to buy flying vehicles and warthogs, you know? This cool little angled piece. 
goes in the middle. Okay. Okay. Thought I'd have to build a second one of them, but nope. Okay, we want six long and five long. thing I'm hating right now is in stores I can't find anything but marine snipers. <laughs> it's actually true. I was, that's so relatable. Um, every time I go to a, a target, it is just the marine snipers that are left. Yeah. Which is funny. You feel like, um, I guess in reality, boys don't want to buy girls. Um, but it's a shame because the marine snipers are awesome. But yeah, I mean, the, the reality of it is, yeah, the marine sniper is always the one that's left in the box. It's funny. I should make a video on that. That's hilarious. I thought it was just me that was finding marine snipers, but maybe it's everyone. Branching that out at the front. Look at the length of this now. It's like a like a friggin' mammoth. Suddenly there's a rod through one of the pieces that wasn't there before. That's strange. Suddenly... Wait, am I tripping? Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm just wrong. <laughs> there we go. There was, there was no rod. <laughs> False alarm. My little sister got into my room one night and took the marine sniper. I pretty much hate it. Oh no. You gotta hear me out, the leg pads and armor are sick, and the sniper looks great. The marine sniper's awesome, dude. <coughs> yeah, the marine sniper's really great. There's the rod. Hey, there was a rod. But now we gotta put it in. There was a rod after all. There we go. Let's bring that up. Whoa. Steady on there. There we go. Try and get it all in shot. Focus. I was about to comment the fact you aren't streaming after three hours is offensive. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Almost four hours. How do you eat a figure? Uh, with great pain. With great pain and suffering. Don't eat figures, boys. Don't eat figures. section here. Alright fellas, let me know in the comments down below. What is your favorite hmm there we are. What is your favorite species in the Covenant? Who do you think is the best? And the second question is why do you think elites are the best? <laughs> Which is your favorite and why is it elite? <laughs> oh, you can choose any. I'd love to hear your reasoning behind it. Nice. Whoa, I built 
spelled that wrong. Oh no. <laughs> Retreat. Oh no. It's all falling apart. Wow, you weren't even meant to put that on. You were just meant to sort of have it linger in there. How are you feeling? I heard you got the <coughs> I heard you got the virus. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, just about recovered. This is my my first big thing that I've done since I got the virus, so um, it's pretty interesting. That, uh, this is the first thing I do once I'm feeling a bit better, but that is the way of life. We are uh, we are not people to just bend over. We must fight through the virus and make good content because most people were like hey rest up don't don't make any youtube videos while you have the virus i'm like hell no dude i'm gonna make youtube videos better than ever and here we are i never miss an upload day throughout having the virus hell yeah We're gonna see how long I can last today, though. <clears throat> wow, blitzing through this. Is this the front of the, is this the bumper? Who knows? Easy peasy. Round this off, we've almost cut to the end of these bags. Wow. That is really nice. Really smoothed off. Awesome. Looks awesome. Okay, we got some temporary pieces. Okay, I'm way behind on comments. The hunters, I love how unique they are. Mine, Simon, is grunts. Just they are so funny and almost destroyed the covenant by themselves. <laughs> yeah. My favorite is Elites, bro, especially the Anniversary Reach and Infinite Designs. The Hunters, because of how many forms they have. Hmm. TV Cat, absolutely no spoilers. Absolutely no spoilers. Um, but cool. I look forward to seeing the progress on that. All right, so this is, this is wild. We're putting this right at the front here. Look at that. Damn. That's the very front of our Cybertruck. So that's officially like the length of it. Damn. That is so long. Shoot. It's crazy. Aye, 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 chill, homie. <laughs> I was, I'm so sorry I was late to a family party. I was working on my Halo Tower diorama. No problemo, buddy. Hey, look at that. We made it onto bags 20, 21, and 22. Round of applause. Ooh, this is a gear bag. And some more lights, it seems. Bag number 22. Loads more pieces. All right. What do we do when we get new bags? We sort those pieces out. First and foremost, you've always got to sort your pieces. An organized builder is a happy builder. Yes, bro, another good live stream. Hell yeah, dude. It's been a month since my last live stream. Hopefully this will be the start of many live streams. Appreciate the support. Really appreciate it. If you've not subbed to the channel, 
which I think everybody sub, but if you've not subbed to the channel, please make sure to subscribe with that bell on. And if you haven't turned the bell on, guys, I recommend you do, so you can always check out the latest live streams. You can always be on time for the live streams. We've always got to sort out our pieces. campaign early absolutely not absolutely not what I don't get is why is the SMG in the opening scene but not in the game is the SMG in the opening scene can't remember welcome to our new subscriber mr. water how are you doing today buddy welcome to the gang happy to have you here we are building the Tesla cyber truck this is early access I'm one of the only people in the world that got sent it by Mega Constructs themselves to build and review. And we are building it today, let me tell you. We're on almost the four hour mark. We're about to clock four hours. And um, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I feel like I could keep on going. So I will keep on going keep on going for as long as I can today. It would be great if I finished it today, but I don't know. I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Nice. We're bridging the gap here. Right to the other side. There we go. We've also got some flat pieces. I imagine they're going to help bridge the gap as well. I've found that uh, I am very fast at building after <laughs> years and years of practice, 10 years of building Halo Mega Constructs. I'm uh, hella fast. There's some, there's some builds that like, like when I build an old school Warthog, I know that back to front man. I could also, I could almost do it without the instruction manual. Maybe I will try that one day as a challenge because uh, I've built so many of them. I think, <clears throat> what set have I built more than any other? What set have I built more than any other? Um, oh. I think I've probably, I've probably the most, I've, the vehicle I built the most is probably the original Mongoose. Uh, they made so many iterations back in the day, and I built so, so many that I got from halls. So, that might be the number one. The original Mongoose. Let me know, guys, what is the vehicle that you own the most of? What is the vehicle that you built the most of? Wow, we're building another one of these. Oh, yeah, okay. So these gears must definitely be for the... Yeah, I mean, we already sussed that out, I guess. These are definitely for the wheels. I'm building another one of these really strange things. Um, these take a lot of different steps to build. So I'll try and show you. They're really strange. Then we've got... One of these... One of these. Then two by one. Then loads of these little baby studs. 
these ones that just lock off the end. Need four of those. We need to oh, we need to put them right down. Come on. Gosh, that's getting my nails. There we go. And then another one of these. Oh gosh. Oh jeez. And then another gear. And then another one of these goes straight down. Wow, it's still going. Ah. Another one of these, and there we go. This is one of the most complicated parts of the build. Like, look at that, that's ridiculous. And then, <clears throat> somehow it somehow it goes into here. Hardly even know myself. No, right. That's got to. They've got to face up. That's got to face down. Whoa! So complicated, man. There we go. Awesome, man. The the level of like engineering behind that is so sick. Really cool that we get to build this. Okay. Right now, what? <laughs> now what? We did all that. What's next? Oh yeah, there is one more there. Must have come off. There we go. That's complete. Ah, oh, then we got our lights. Makes sense. That mirrors the other side nicely. Okay, one light each. And two black pieces. Soup, 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 soup. All right, the chat says soup. We're gonna do a covert operation under Simon's nose. Everyone just spam soup. We're gonna prank him. I think about 100 mil is enough. <laughs> you got me, guys. You got me. Soup is king. I think you froze the chat. <coughs> Tell him a bug is covering his webcam. <laughs> I can see it, guys. Come on. I can see these comments. All right. This community is like my family. Oh, that's so nice, man. Ay, that's so nice. That warms my heart, dude. Warms my heart. Okay, you have my permission to spam soup for like 10 more seconds and then radio silence on the soup. See, comments like that saying about how this community is, your family is just so motivating to me. Gotta just keep on making content. Keep people talking. All right, radio silence on the soup. <laughs> so, <coughs> Damn. This is funny, we're like mirroring the other side now with all of these. With all of these like technical bits. Simon, who is better, ODST book or Spartan book? 
both, man. Book is book. Book's the best. Book's book's top tier Halo character. Also, his adventures in 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 the book New Blood are so great. I, th I think I saw someone talking about New Blood before. Ah, we need another one of those little red elastic things. And I don't see it anywhere, which probably means it's in one of these bags still. Which, no problem. Which bags will we just open in? 20, 21, 22. There it is. <laughs> so easy to get lost. Because obviously when you like scrunch the bag up to check, I need to like probably open the bags completely and go from there. Whoa. Uh-oh. <laughs> Lost a piece over there. Oh dear. Don't want to be losing pieces at this stage. Or any stage. Don't ever want to be losing pieces. And I've definitely lost a few pieces during this build so far. Got away with it. Knock on wood. <laughs> hey, Jerry Houston! Hell yeah, dude. Five dollars. Glad you got this. Waiting to see some how good it is before I get one. Yes, brother. Yes. My absolute pleasure, Jerry. Happy to be of service, and thank you so much for the five dollars. Really do appreciate it. You would be very excited, Jerry, to hear how much the channel is uh, progressing. Wow! <laughs> no. Ow! <laughs> My finger. <laughs> Jerry, you cursed me. <laughs> No, uh, Jerry, you would be very happy to hear the growth that the channel's making right now. Uh, things are looking really, really promising, my guy. Okay, made another one of these gears. Uh, Jerry, this is where we're up to right now. This is the length of the build. The back, uh, this is the, uh, the boot, the trunk of the car. Uh, it's pretty smoothed off, and you can see all the temporary pieces at the bottom. There is like this little ratchet system right now for the suspension. You can see this little lever that's gonna be able to be pulled up and down at one point. And then some glass panels. It's uh, coming together really well and we're on stage 247. So we're making some good progress, man. Thank you very much for checking in on us. Everybody, uh, everybody say what up Jerry in the chat. He's a, he's a really, really awesome guy and has been like contributing to the channel uh, really, really generously in the past year, and uh, I want I want him to know that uh, yeah, his his help has been like really, really something else for me. <clears throat> what up, Je What up, Danger? I mean, Jerry. What up, Jerry? Hell yeah. Oh yeah, guys. Jerry is the guy. All right, layering these on. One, two, three, four, five. And these angle pieces next to the lights. And then Rounding it off on top. The only really difficult thing about this build, Jerry, which you missed at the beginning, is the difference between black and gray is really challenging at first. When you have nothing to sort of base it on, when like you're just getting started with the build, it's next to impossible to tell the difference between black and gray. So it's definitely gonna be mentioned in my review. Oh, interesting. This goes a little to the left. Piece separator, man. I don't know where I'd be without this piece separator. I'd have some, uh, some cut open fingers, that's for sure.
Oops, that's a five. I just totally skipped out the section where I'm meant to put this in. <laughs> I totally like... <coughs> where was I meant to put that? I totally glossed over that. Yeah, so you, it's got this little elastic stud. You pop this in there. And this will supposedly control the suspension of the wheels. Alright, and then you clip this in to this little section down there. And then that just like is elasticated in and the gears all connect, the cogs connect. Right, where were we? Hey Simon, I joined the Discord. Could you look at my Master Chief? I will once uh, this stream is over. I'm eating chicken nuggets. Unless Jerry is vegan, then I will stop to honor him. <laughs> That's hilarious. I definitely don't think Jerry is vegan. I think he's a carnivore. this together. Jerry, it's a sin that we haven't uh, played some Xbox on uh, Halo Infinite yet, bro. I know you're busy and your Wi-Fi is bad. Still. See, I think this is another classic example of what shade is it? I don't know. Maybe it's black. No, I don't think it is. But we've only got a black one. <laughs> hmm. Maybe the wrong shade was used somewhere. Hmm. Hmm, it definitely should be grey, but I don't see any grey remaining anywhere. I don't know where I would have used it. Hmm. We're pretty close. Uh, we're probably like one step away from finishing this section, which is a plus. But we need the last gray 3v1 flat. 3 by one flat, which... Let's see anywhere. Oh! Aha! Use the wrong one there. Once again, I've been foiled by the grey-black difference. Get out of there! <laughs> Did you hear that then? It sounded like a... I plucked a guitar string. Okay, there we go. We got the right gray one in. And that means we have finished step 250. Yes, can I get a congratulations in the chat for step 250? Hell yeah. Step 250, that's a big step. Someone get Jonathan a deep dish. <laughs> Simon, you should collab with Hidden Xperia and talk about Halo. I very much intend to, my friend. One of the big ways that I'm going to break into the main Halo audience is continuing my interview series, 10 Burning Questions. And that way, I want to interview as many different content creators as possible, hear their stories, give them the spotlight, and uh, Hidden Xperia will definitely be one of them. Very nice. <clears throat> Very nice. 
we must be like one step away from the end of these bags. Just a couple of steps away. So we've barely got any pieces left. We need to replenish the supply. Replenish the supply of pieces. It must be done. Whoa. For real? Wait. Oh gosh, to ever confuse this, one side is black and one side is grey, but they're mirrored. Is that not a mistake? That's weird. Damn, we'll have to remember... Hold on, let's just make sure we've got enough for the next few stages. Because that seems very weird. Okay, that's what we need for those. And then we're on to new bags. Okay, I guess it really is black on one side and grey on one side. That's very bizarre. Four minutes, everyone. Get ready. You should create a domain clan. <laughs> Four minutes until what? Four hours and 21 minutes? Oh, f till 4.20? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. <coughs> okay, what are we doing? All right. Hmm, I lost track of where we're up to. I heard 4.20 and just <laughs> lost track. Um, yeah, okay, we're here. Getting some flat bricks on. seems like um, we've used almost every piece from this one. Usually there's a lot of uh, leftover pieces from each step, but this one seems to be very complete. There we go. That's the bags complete. Now we're on to 23, 24, 25, 26. Yeah, we really did seem to use like every piece from that one. Right, okay, my new strategy is opening the bag completely to avoid uh, mistakes with losing pieces again. Right, 24. Got some glass pieces. Very nice. It's very, it's actually like very easy to, uh, to miss pieces. Like leave them in the bag. Six. Some bigger pieces in 26. All right, what do we do? We sort. So, that's the time where you get your questions in. What do you want to ask me? What do you want to talk about? Because I got to sort some pieces. I need something to talk about. If you guys want something to do in the process, uh, Listen to the Horns of Abolition. The Horns of Abolition, Halo Infinite soundtrack. My God, it's so cool. And we'll change the track up to back to some ODST, shall we? Let's see, it seems like that Halo 5 one stops playing after a while. You must always alert me if it doesn't start playing the music. Have you got your COVID booster shot yet? Uh, no, uh, I haven't, because I got COVID. Um, we were scheduled to have our booster shots, but then um, I got sick, so we didn't. But yeah, we will do very soon. I recommend everybody to get vaccinated. I recommend everybody to get your shots. It's a matter of looking after everybody else. It's a selfless thing to do.
right. Oh, you're spamming soup again, guys. <coughs> <coughs> oh, gosh. Spamming soup. Yeah, this uh, this soundtrack, The Horns of Abolition, I've just got it in my head all the time. Like, it's just on repeat in my head at all times. It's so fantastic, this song. Ooh, we need a weird piece there. A very weird piece. Never seen that before. Ah, there it is. Very strange, strange looking piece. We have a code word now to spam soup. Noodles. <laughs> is noodles the code word to spam soup? Yo, soup noodles though. You guys will probably have never heard of this because um, it's, it's pretty much just in Asia. Soup dumplings, right? They get soup in like a syringe and they inject it into dumplings and it's like a dumpling filled with delicious soup oh my god it's the best thing it's the absolute best thing if you guys have any questions about china i'd love to answer them you know i just left china after living there for five years so i would love to answer any questions you have look at this thing what is going on here Mm. So we're meant to attach that, then we're meant to put it underneath the gears, like that. Interesting. Is China crazy? <laughs> Depends what you mean by that. Do you mean the people? Do you mean the government? Do you mean living there, just in general? Do you mean the atmosphere? Like, what's... What do you mean? In terms of, like, is living in China crazy? Oh my god, yeah. Um, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> it's completely crazy. It's, uh, it'll change you as a person. It's very intense, but very rewarding. Um, if you want to do something with your life, if you want to sort of hit reset, if you don't know what to do with yourself, go and teach in China. Guaranteed, it'll be the greatest experience of your life. Look at how bulky this thing is getting now, jeez. Whoa, this is a, whoa. This is a very technical part. Can we all agree that we have a code word now? Sure. Have you heard of Spartan Candice? Uh, I don't know. Uh, 5G HD, why are you moving to Twitch? Um, I'm moving, like, I'm only moving to Twitch for my live streams, and it's really just so there's some differentiation, uh, so people know what to expect from my YouTube channel. If I'm just, because I, I intend soon to go live very frequently, um, and if I'm going live, um, while, like, on YouTube, I think it's just confusing for people. People still don't really know the difference between a premiere and a live stream. So I want to, I think one of the most important things on YouTube is to uh, be clear and consistent with your uploads, with your appearance. So that's what I want to do. Right, so built this little little contraption, and we're building another one. It looks to be identical right now, but there's got to be some kind of differentiation step. <coughs> oh, it would just ask you to build it twice.
Hmm, so one of them... Oh yeah, okay, that's the difference. One of them goes in the middle, like this, and one of them goes on the outside, like that. Just a slight difference. And it seems like they're both gonna go together now. Nice. Like this. And they're gonna pop onto here. Huh. Is that something to do with the driving? I imagine this is like... Uh, which side of the vehicle do Americans drive on? This side? So this is probably like the steering wheel? Somehow? Welcome to the new Twitch follower on Killable Grunt. Hey, nice to see you've made a Twitch account, brother. Thank you very much for the follow. Bro, my stream just went to 144p for no reason. <laughs> Rip. Hello, I found your Twitch. <coughs> nice on Killable Grunt. Yes, if you guys can follow me on Twitch, Motion Domain. You can also follow me on Instagram, Motion Domain. Twitter, Motion Domain. I just made a TikTok called Motion Domain. I don't know if I'll keep up with my TikTok, but you can follow me for now. Let's see what happens. I don't believe in TikTok. I don't enjoy it, but um, I'm there right now because that 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 is, I don't know. I don't really know why. <laughs> okay. I'm only on TikTok to like post, like social media videos, but I don't know. See what happens. I don't, but I don't believe in the app. I don't think we should be using it, so maybe I shouldn't be using it myself. We'll see. Okay. That is step oh, 259. No, that's step 260. We just finished step 260. We're absolutely steaming through, fellas. It's me, Michael. I found your Twitch. Yay! <laughs> Welcome, Darkstalker9146. Yes, my Twitch is Motion Domain. Motion Domain. That's also my Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and Xbox. So, Motion Domain. You can find me on all social medias with that handle. building a complete mirror of this on the other side. Pretty interesting. Hmm. Like these white studs here. Uh, maybe like we'll insert an entire top onto those white studs. That'd be quite exciting. Step 262. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. Looks like I'm going on a social media hunt. Wish me luck, boys. 
Peace out, Michael. Hey, Simon, what's your YouTube? The Pancake Human. I think you know. <laughs> it's the domain. The domain. The domizzle hizzle. Interesting. Seems like <coughs> so. Oh, I only needed one of those. I don't know why I had two. Okay, got this little this little funny guy. <laughs> What's this little guy doing? He's going on the other side. Okay, just like so. It's got like a, a side angled piece. Pretty nice. And I imagine we're gonna do the exact same on the other side. Ooh. Hold on a sec. What have I done wrong? Hmm. Don't actually know. Whoa, chill out, chill out. I don't know. Don't break. Hmm. It's weird. Did I put that on wrong? Oh dear, <laughs> it's all falling apart now. What is going on here? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to start again on this little bit. I don't know what happened, but it wasn't good. Okay, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Just got to make sure. I'll get back to the chat in a minute. Just want to make sure this is okay. Don't want to make a mistake here. Yeah. Okay. It's too long. <clears throat> So, okay, that's right, I think, yep, and then that's got to go along here, like so, okay, that's how it's meant to go. Yes, <laughs> that's better. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks, but that was a, that's one of those ones where, like, you make such a big error you have to just break it down and start again or you'll keep on making errors so there we go okay yo man the, the myth the legend the silent shadow halo hey he's here hello simon how's the build going <laughs> we're four and a half hours in my buddy and we are 262 steps complete so we're doing well that that just took uh, quite a while then so we're gonna try and pick up pace get on with it So, how many hours would everybody say they've uh, put into Halo Infinite so far? 
how many hours are you on? I'm I, I've played a, a few hours every day since it came out, so I'm I'm stacking up those hours. It is so so fun. We had a full team of twelve on party chat last night, and we were just calling commands, winning every match. God, it was so cool. A full squad, full squad of twelve on BTB. So cool. Okay. Mirrored nicely on this side. <laughs> Didn't make any mistakes that time. See how see how much faster that was when you don't make a mistake. Not too many. I've been grinding Halo Wars 2 to get my 30k gamer score. Well, get you. Let me check. I don't know. I've, I'm not. I'm just not enjoying it as much as I should be. Oh, that's a shame, Michael. Well, we all need to play together. That's how. That's how you'll enjoy it. I put in about 12 hours. Says Pancake Human. That's good. <coughs> Oof. Started sagging a bit there. Right. Nice. Long black brick right across there. Locking it all together. Look at that. Awesome. I imagine the next bags are going to be nothing but flat stuff to cover all of this up completely. We'll see if I'm correct. But let's get these in either way. We've got a four. Easy. And then this is very interesting. I need six of these. Two of these. And then one, two, three, four. One, two. Yeah, I'm absolutely loving Halo Infinite so far. I think it's just so much fun. I know the the, uh, the customization, the progression can be a little upsetting. And obviously the progression has been more or less fixed at this point. Even though it's like, dude, how could you not have thought this was going to be a problem anyway? Like, I can't believe that was an oversight. But yeah, it's being fixed now. And um, honestly, like, it's just so much fun. Let me know, chat, what's your favorite game mode on Halo Infinite right now? What is your favorite game mode so far? I absolutely love stockpiles. I think stockpiles is so much fun. Get in like a Razorback. And, and stockpiles requires like a lot of coordination. I think the easiest one that we found last night when we literally like had a full squad of 12 people, the easiest one to control was, um, the easiest one to manage was uh, uh, total control. Because total control, you can literally just call out which zones you need support at really easily. And um, we were, we I think we won every single total control game because it's just it's all about coordination. Okay, layer these on top, and then we built up these fun little guys, and these go on the inside. Ooh, so these be seen at the bottom Ooh. all right that's cool I just noticed something there 
Um, no, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Moving on, step 268. Mirrored, either side, grey on one side, grey on the other side, and pop them in there, easy peasy. So now those silver pieces I just showed have disappeared, and they're only visible at the bottom. Nice. I don't know, I went camping for two weeks, and when we got back, it would, it would turn on and then a black screen. Oh, Little Muffin, you went camping for two weeks, that's dope, dude. That's really cool. Cherish that kind of stuff, man. Absolutely cherish that kind of stuff. That's step 269 and 270 is a doozy. Really easy one. Awesome. Take a, I'll take a one minute break at step 300, just to stretch out. Very nice, this is looking so sick. So bulked out, man, that's such a beast. Time to get a new one, I guess. <laughs> Simon, what do you think the red team charge is going to be based off? So, I think the red team charge set is going to be all members of red team. And maybe one or two honor guards. I think it will be a pack based on the final cutscene from Halo Wars 1. Where red team are charging... Uh, the honor guards on the bridge, I think that primarily because we have... Hold on, what's going on there? I think it's primarily going to be that because we have these new honor guards. The Light of Sanghelios is the, the honor guard um, repurposed, so I think it's the perfect time to do that. Red Team Charge could also be Red Team versus Atriox because we haven't had an Atriox figure in a while. But I do think, I don't know, I feel like if you're already going to get Red Team in a set, I don't know if they'd put Atriox in there as well. So we're going to have to see on that one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. Whoa, look at that. <clears throat> They're all angled. Whew, that's a lot of them. We're approaching the five hour mark. Feeling good? <laughs> that sounded like a question. <laughs> Am I feeling good? <laughs> I think so. We're almost at the end of these bags as well. Once we finish the second box, I'm like, let's go. It's so, uh, the, the end is in sight. Once we finish the second box. And we've got these see-through pieces. Maybe making uh, the front lights. Probably very likely. We're making the front reflective lights. Of the car. There we go. Next step is the soup warriors get banned. <laughs> I just feel like I'm no, no longer a valid member of this channel for spamming. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry, you are a very valid member of the channel. 
Anyone who's sticking with this stream are arguably the most valid members of the channel. <laughs> most dedicated. But obviously, like I said, still feel no pressure to stay on the stream if you're busy. Alright, cool. Oh, and that's going right underneath. Look at that. Okay. There we go. Oof. Clicked in nicely. And on it goes. Is that right? Yes, it is. Seems like the, well, it's, seems right. Yeah, they didn't all attach, but yeah, seems right. And then, easy peasy step here. One, and two. Sweet. This must be, yeah, this must be the last step of the, yes, and then we're on to the next bags. This is the last step. wrong then. On the other side. Again, this bag uh, has used pretty much every single piece, which is funny because the first box was like, the first box, there was always lots of pieces left, but from each set of bags. But this time with the second box, there's almost no pieces left for each bag. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. And then we pop them on like this. Look at that. That's satisfying. Yes. Very nice. And the other side. Hell yeah. Oof. Twitch has a Halo emote. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Me and my dad opened some old packs back then, and he has them on his shelf. Cool. That's everybody's favorite sandwich. <laughs> All right. That is step 280. Now we're on to bags 27, 28, 29. Just so nice to know that this these bags are all biodegradable. Ah, there's still pieces left in there. Yep, see, I called it. <laughs> There's so many silver flat pieces. So definitely these bags will be uh, flattening out all that we just made. All right, it's sorting time. Throw, the, throw your questions my way.
Hello. Pizza. <coughs> Do you think they will ever fix UK distribution? I think they're on the way to fixing it. Um, it's, it's a possibility. Like, UK distribution has been getting better. If the demand's there, then they'll fix it, you know? But yeah, um, I don't know uh, who asked that. I am, uh, I'm 5GHG. Um, if you know, if, if, if you, like, uh, if you're aware, the UK used to be the uh, hotspot for Halo Mega Constructs. It used to be the best distribution, the best supply in the world, pretty much. Like, it was really awesome back in the day. That's why I got into it, because it was so easy to get Halo. Not anymore, but, you know, these things can come back. If the, uh, if the demand's there, because, like, this was back in, like, Reach days, where, like, Halo was the most popular game in the world. And it can get back to that point. It might already be well on the way to getting back to that point. Alright, we've sorted all the pieces. It's time for step 281. Let's get it. I got some back. Oh yeah, baby. That's the big seven. <laughs> We're almost on the five hour mark, fellas. Is that apple juice? Ginger shot. Were you sleeping? Do you know what time you're getting picked up yet? Oh, yeah. Why is that piece? All right. Tell you what, let's uh, let's start. Let's try a new strategy. Let's like build up the pieces for the entire double page, and then just absolutely smash out the steps. In the meantime, yes. Any more questions you have? Throw them my way love to answer some more 700 subs let's go gaming bricks hell yeah dude happy for you if you send me a message gaming bricks uh, I have a lot of I have a few alt accounts I'll give you some subs after this live streams over just send me a message one two Three, four, five. So this is our new strategy. We build up every piece we need before it starts. Hello. Are you hungry? Or do you, how much pizza did you eat? There's actually a lot of steps on this, <clears throat> on this page. Also, there's some nice printed uh, pieces here, which are quite subtle. It's literally just silver printed onto a gray piece. Very, very subtle, but cool. It uh, didn't go unnoticed. All right, so now we have all these steps ready to go, and we should just be able to knock through them lightning fast. All right, ready and go. Might have to leave the stream soon, if it isn't done soon. No problem, Unkillable Grunt. You leave whenever you need to, bro. I really appreciate the support up until this point. 
Definitely not going to be finished anytime soon. But we're in it for the long haul. Well, certainly I am. <laughs> yeah, you guys have really rallied behind me. And, uh, it's cool, like... I don't know whether you guys are at school or you just... <laughs> I don't know what you're doing today. But, dope either way. Look at this, this is uh, definitely the strat. If we just build up all the pieces, it takes a minute, it takes some patience, but if we build up all the pieces and then just knock out like 10 steps at once, <laughs> it definitely speeds up the build. You're not just like, stop starting, stop starting, you know? You can just focus for a second. He says that, oh yeah, he built that bit wrong, didn't he? There we go. Simon, you should do a 24 hour stream the day before Infinite comes out. Jeez. 24 hour stream the day before Infinite comes out. It's a possibility, bro. It's a, it's a possibility. Have I done this wrong? Oh, jeez. Huh. What just happened? <laughs> Black towel. Let's put that back together. There we go. Yeah, it goes underneath here. Just like that. And then that is it. I'm not missing anything there. No. Okay. Next. This is step 289, 289, let's go. Mm. <laughs> what could this even be? I have no idea at this point. <coughs> like I said, I like to, uh, Keep the whole thing a mystery. I don't look ahead. I don't like figure out what I'm building. Well, like I try and figure out what I'm building, but I keep it a surprise. Keeps it more interesting. Once I get around to it, I'll figure out what it is. Simon, does Mega need to make a new forearm mold with a grapple shot on it? Yeah, if they made a grapple shot, it would have to be like just a new arm mold, I think. And obviously it wouldn't be able to have like I, they could attach wire to it. It might be a bit goofy, but um, they could attach some kind of little bit of wire to it But it wouldn't be like it wouldn't be like next level uh, Innovation, I think it would just be Strap this little bit to it see if it works. All right, step 292 Building up all the steps this time. I think that's that's the strat that's gonna win this now. Building up everything all at once, and then just bam, 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 bam. Wham, bam. Wham, bam. Thank you, Mega Constructs. Wham, bam. Thank you, Tesla. <coughs> Where is this? Phone is almost dead again, guys. See you later. <laughs> Bro, can you not watch it while you're charging? <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, see you later, man. Why don't you plug it in while watching? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was wondering. But no worries, bro. See you soon. Gaming Bricks has fallen to the low battery once again. I have a big feeling that everything I'm doing, like the last like 20 steps, I'm gonna do twice. I have the feeling I'm doing like one side panel 
Or maybe, I think I'm doing a door, actually. I think I'm doing one of the doors of the car. <clears throat> maybe. It's a possibility. There's a, there's a high chance I'm doing a door. And if I am, then, ooh. Ooh la la. But also, when, like, I don't mind repeating steps. Sometimes it can be quite satisfying. But when it's like a massive thing that's like 20 steps, you're like, oh, I gotta do that all over again now. <clears throat> Simon, remember Joe? <laughs> I know. I, I ain't falling for it again, man. Okay. What is going on here? This definitely looks like a door to me. I think it's a door. Hey Simon, I think that you should try SAS, so I might try out a few games. I have the Game Pass right now, so it is literally hundreds of games for free. Well, not for free, but hundreds of games all in one deal. So um, yeah, I might try out some things. I don't even know if Subnautica is in the Game Pass, but either way. One more shout out to the glory of the Peace Separator. Really, really helping us out here. Step 294. We're going to take a one minute break once I get to step 300. Just to stretch out. But uh, yeah, we are absolutely just, just non-stop. Just going, going non-stop. I'm liking the energy. Just going to keep on going for as long as I can. And then rest. And then I shall rest. I shall rest on a grateful universe that I have made the Tesla Cybertruck. I don't know if anybody's watched Marvel's What If. What If is a fascinating anime um, and really worth a watch. And Thanos is so interesting in that. There's one Marvel's What If where Thanos joins the Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> it's really crazy. This looks like a door. I'm calling it. It's going to be a door. Putting all this together now. Clipping those in. Whoa. Nice. And then just a little stud in there. And that is step 303 complete. It's a door, baby. I think, <laughs> yeah, it's a door. It's a door. Hey, we get to pop out the first one of these little, uh, well, windows. Let's see. So I think you can choose to either have the smashed glass or not. I'm gonna go for not. See what happens. So carefully pop these out. It would be a shame if this cracked. Okay, pretty cool. Interesting. It shows some kind of... Hmm. Do you fold it? What's it trying to tell me? Do you... Do you remove a... Do you remove, like, a film? Do you remove a plastic film? I don't know what it's... Trying to tell me.
I think it's saying that there's a plastic film. Yep, there's a plastic film. Nice. Scratch proof protective film. Let's remove that. Okay. And then, this is really interesting. Look at this. Pop that in between the bricks. Whoa! Now that's innovation. That's really cool. And then, lock it off. One five and one six long. And one more there. Whoa. That is so damn cool. Yeah, that is really sick. Honestly, that is really cool. And then, moment of truth, fellas. <laughs> We pop our door in. And it's popped in in a way that can open. Look at that. You can open the door. Wow. That is really solid. That is really, really cool. Wow. Then we lock it off on the top that is so cool yes so it like hinges in it's like a little bit more than just opening and closing that's really tight Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, guys, that is step 306. So before we build clearly the opposite door, I'm gonna take a one minute break to stretch out. Hope you don't go anywhere. See you guys really, really soon.
Hello, it is I, the wall. I am Wall Simon. I have transcended to just a white wall. Just kidding, guys. It's the domain. <laughs> I see what you're doing in the chat. <laughs> wall Simon came to life for a second there. Okay. We're back. And we're building a second door. That's most definitely what we're going to be building. Good thing is, we already know how to do it. And there's way less pieces. So, I assume it's going to be built in maybe a third of the time. <laughs> Who's this nerd? I want Simon. <laughs> what? How dare you? How dare you? Hmm. There it is. Yep, we've adopted the new strategy, which seems to be working very well, of just collecting up everything for the entire double page and then just quickly building it i think that's definitely the strategy moving forward it's the way that we're going to get this done <laughs> i wonder i do wonder like could we actually build this in one day? I don't know. And I think uh, my body might get really tired soon. But um, it's a possibility. It's not out of the realm of impossible. It's definitely not impossible. We've been going for five hours, 16 minutes, <laughs> which uh, does seem like a long time. <laughs> But hey, we're, we're doing well. Let's see. Weird. Oh, there we go. It's a bit better. Take down that saturation a bit. There we go. <sighs> what is everybody else doing today? What have you been doing as well as watching this live stream? And if nothing else, then I'm just happy I could keep you company today, my friend. Peggy apologizes that we will soon be hearing some laundry noises uh, because she has to wash her clothes um, before heading out for the weekend. So we're, we're going to call it washing machine ambiance and <laughs> we'll see, <coughs> we'll see what happens. It is now time for washing machine ambiance. If you say it like that, it's no problem at all. Let me know if you want the uh, the music switched up. We've currently got ODST, but we could change it to Halo Wars, Halo 5, or Halo 2. They are our choices. I really need to update the choices, but uh, not today. That's what we've got. It's just annoying that Halo 4 is uh, copyrighted because I, I just download large playlists of like relaxing Halo music. And most of the playlists include Halo 4, so I can't use them because it's all copyrighted, which is a shame. I could edit them out. <clears throat> it's just finding the time. And also having good Wi-Fi is important. Mm -hmm. 
The sun has risen and set on a day of building. Let's see. Center. We want build webcam center. You ever about to buy a game on sale, then boom, the sale ends, and you gotta wait another year for it to be on sale again? Damn. That's a shame. I think the bigger I think the bigger shame is when you buy a game and then it goes on sale. You're like, well that's a shame. <laughs> Could have waited. Didn't Nah, I paid twice the price. Building the door. Doors being built. this size let's increase the size of the size of this door all right for your pleasure everybody we present washing machine ambiance this in the most weird order honestly the, the strangest order I've just constructed this I've like got half the pieces and like I've got to try and reverse engineer it under underneath what on earth am I doing well oh yeah thank you I lost that a while ago What have we got here? I'm honestly a little lost on... No, I did need a five piece. There we go. I was... I, I honestly, like, I just built that in the weirdest way. I just, like, put the top panels on before even figuring out what went underneath. And then it was, uh, it was a bit of a struggle. But <coughs> we got through. Uh, we got through. What do you think is the most relaxing? The washing machine ambiance has begun. What do you think is the most relaxing uh, soundtrack from Halo? Obviously, Deference for Darkness. It's gotta be one of the number ones. Why is someone trying to call me? No. I don't want to be called. <laughs> I'm live streaming. You cannot call me while live streaming. You can't do it. Listen to it just to sleep at night. Hell yeah, Deference for Darkness. Deference for Darkness is very relaxing. It's it's really nice. Um, I've listened to that during Hong Kong typhoons, where like the outside world is just flooding and it's such chaos, and you can like see out of your bedroom window like the whole of Hong Kong just engulfed in this massive typhoon. I just listened to Deference of Darkness. Beautiful. The 
occasional strategic use of teeth. That is uh, sometimes necessary. All right, we're very close to the end of finishing this door. Almost there, fellas. We've almost finished the second door. And once again, you can see just how dope this thing is. It's nice. I think they included some spares in case you did break one. Because it could happen. Once again, I'll show you the really dope way that you attach this. Just uh, make sure I do it correctly. Ah. Wow, which one is it? Wow, we've got all the ambience sounds. We've got the ambience of the washing machine, and now we've got the ambience of Peggy in the shower. <laughs> It's just, uh, it's just like deference for darkness. It's just like water noises. Just like light rain. There we go. Remove that plastic film and then look how awesome this is. It just pops on there. No, it doesn't. It just pops. What the heck? Oops. the wrong one. Oh uh, yeah. I do have the wrong one. Do you know if it never you did you know guys know it never rains in ODST? Oh no. <laughs> That breaks the atmosphere. It breaks the ambiance. Not the ambiance. Stream enhancing noises. <laughs> yes. Look at the way this attaches on. It's so badass. You clip the window on around the bricks like so, and then you lock them into place with some flat bricks. There we go. Look at that. So dope. And then we click in the second door. We've got a second door. There we go. That's step 332 complete. And we're onto new bags. That's a big step, guys. I assume the next bags will be the next two doors. We shall see. Hmm. I got some great trail mix. Hmm. Love trail mix. You playing Halo after this? TFS Remy. I'll try, my guy. Depends what time I finish. Depends if I'm mad enough to do this whole thing in one sitting. 
I feel like I might be mad enough. I might just be crazy enough to build the whole dang thing in one go. It's hard to believe the Halo Infinite releases in nine days. It doesn't release in nine days, dude. It releases in like five. It's very soon. Very soon, Halo Infinite releases. It's so exciting. Hell yeah. All right. What the heck? This live stream has been flagged as, for, for monetization, it's been flagged as content inappropriate for most advertisers. What are you talking about? I've double checked that my video satisfies the YouTube's advertiser friendly guidelines. Of course it does. What the heck? That's ridiculous. This vi this video is totally suitable for all audiences. What are you talking about, man? That is weird. Either way. All right. Either way. <laughs> Dude, what? Yeah. I'm building a Lego car. How is this not suitable for audiences? I've never got that notification before. That's weird, man. <laughs> How is building a YouTube car not suitable for audiences? What the heck? The world's gone crazy, man. Also, uh, I'd love to hear what people think about YouTube removing the dislike button. Very interesting. Very uh, strange decision. Something, uh, yeah, I think is quite odd. I can't believe YouTube would say this video is not suitable for advertisers. I don't. <laughs> Literally, I'm building a car. <laughs> building a Lego car. <laughs> That's really funny. I thought it was saying at first that I'd used copyrighted music, which sometimes, occasionally, it flags um, non-copyrighted as copyrighted, but weird. I must say, like, I was against YouTube removing the dislike button, but it does kind of relax me a little bit. It puts me less on edge about the idea that people would dislike my videos. But also, it removes any, it removes all ability to, like, moderate content, you know what I mean? Like, uh, if I click on a video, like, I clicked on a, sp uh, what was it, a, a um, Squid Game 2 trailer and I couldn't tell if it was fake because the dislikes were hidden so that kind of thing is a bit of a shame What if we all play Big Team Battle together? Um, I'd love to play some Big Team Battle after this. If I get done at a decent time, which I don't know yet. It's not looking likely. <laughs> Probably gonna be doing this till pretty dang late.
but uh, always stay tuned because always stay tuned because uh, I will be starting to do a lot more big game nights. So stick with it. We'll get there. Why make Mark Seven core but have to grind two hundred plus hours or go pay to win for Mark Seven armor? That was a really weird one. When I first found out that Mark Seven was like so far down the progression system, I did find that weird because usually the one that's advertised as the main core for the game, like Soldier or Warrior, is there on day one. So I definitely found that weird. Definitely found that weird. I also do wonder if 343 are going to have a big content update on the day of the campaign launch. Uh, like if they're gonna bring about a load of new modes or maybe some new maps. Most definitely, uh, if, even if they don't do that, they need to have the ability to choose what game you wanna play. Like, hey, let's play some Strongholds or hey, let's play some Slayer. Um, the random aspect is, is really weird. Doesn't work. I'll be there for the whole night. Might have to start watching on Xbox and not be able to chat since I gotta rest my ankle. Michael, rest your ankle, brother. No problem. Okay. We're popping this inside. Somewhere. <clears throat> oh yeah, okay. Didn't check. It went on the other side. There we go. Okay. And then the same on the other side. Hope you guys are enjoying the washing machine ambiance. And that one goes in the middle. Nice. I'll show you guys exactly what I'm building in the second one. So I've done the third one, which apparently I can see is way more complicated. Oh, Simon, I need help on a decision, but I don't want to spoil Shadows of Reach. So first, have you read it? Um, I've not finished the last few chapters, so please don't uh, spoil it. Is that there it is just collecting all my pieces up for this that is double page seems like quite a <clears throat> complicated panel we're putting in so I may as well put in the groundwork now get all the pieces together Like a really complicated section, and it's funny because the other side was not complicated at all, so maybe this is because it's the steering wheel. We've been putting in these white panels that sort of go underneath. Oh, this is just, this is too loose. 
Why is this one way looser? That's weird. Hmm. I wonder why this is so loose. Well, this one is like on a proper gear. I'll have to look at that. Something missing there. Okay. Three of these. These one flat black. Alright, we got all the sections for this build. Let's knock it out, and then we'll have finished step 340. <clears throat> Alright. Okay, let's do it. Welcome to our new YouTube subscriber, Luke Trainer. How you doing today, buddy? Thank you very much for the sub. Hope you're having a great day. And then one, two, three. That should be it. And pop that in there. Yes, that's definitely ready for a steering wheel. Dope. Oh yeah, look at them. They're the they're the foot pedals. You can see them in there. Left and right foot pedals. And then this must be the steering wheel. Oh, I just want to figure out why this door. Oh God, what was that? Oh. I want to figure out why this door is so much more flexible than the other. Should be basically no reason. Oh yeah, the only difference is a grey stud. Okay. Oh yeah, okay, these are thicker. <clears throat> so they provide less flexibility, which is better. For like the overall handling of the door. Oops. Get back in there. Well, that's tricky. Go on. In. Put that panel on top. Oh gosh. Okay. Come on. <clears throat> 
What do we got going on here? Why is that not happy now? Oh gosh. Difficulties, folks. The reach operator pin. The reach operator pin that we've a really dope thing to see. Taking my time on this, making sure it's 100% correct. I don't want to go back to this now. I just want to finish it off and move on with the build. So. should just all he says hopefully I hope this will pop back in like nothing ever happened tough. This is tough. Let's see, black and gray. Hmm. Yeah. Aha. Gray's in the wrong place. Right. So, that's in there, that's in there. Black and gray. Get in there, son. Actually, that goes in afterwards. Get in there, son. And then one and three, four. Oh, gosh. Come on. I'll get back to the chat once I've finished these doors. Yes! That's one. Such a complicated build. Gray and black. Gray and black. And the gray goes into that one. Black into that one. Shut up, washing machine. Don't ruin my flow. With your flow of water. Right, the front two doors. There we go. They finally open like they meant to. 
That was quite the effort. That was quite the effort. Can I get a GG in the chat, please? <laughs> that was some serious effort. <laughs> it's a lot for a steel tower of a car. <laughs> Shut up, tower ultimate dude. <laughs> right. Got all them in. Tower of Ultimate Doom. I'm enjoying your your cute advent calendar series. I'll be there every day. Just a fun little festive thing to bring everyone together. I'm a big fan. I'm looking forward to filming Blind Bags Part 3 once I have a good studio setup. And yes, that is step 341. Done. 341. Beautiful. 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 Let's knock out some stages now. We just wasted so much time on that, that, that wheel scenario. Six of these. Let's... If people didn't know, YouTube partially demonetized this video because it said it's not appropriate for kids, which <laughs> I'm literally building a Lego car. I don't know what could be <laughs> more appropriate. My mega car is even in my hands. Like I made uh, a video when it was first announced, like, wow, this is actually crazy. This is being made. And I never possibly imagined that I would have it. But Mega Constructs sent it to me, asked me to do a review and wow, they're gonna get more than a review. They're gonna get an absolutely enormous. I'm back for only I'm back, but only for a minute. What's happening? Game of Fox. Oh, did I leave a... There it is. Flat piece. Pop that back in. As well as watching my stream. As well as being awesome and watching the stream. Just to go and hang out with... That's not how you do it. Hmm. Or does that go one further in? Right, what's what's gone wrong there? Aha. That goes in. Will we still have no other grunt on, as our next named grunt, Simon? <coughs> <laughs> oh no, I know. Okay, that's step What a diorama, oh my gosh. <laughs> Simon, add butter as a throwback to the Butter Halo 5 diorama. I am not tainting this thing with butter. <laughs> this was sent to me by Mega Constructs. I can't put butter on this.
Step two. Some like different, you need two black and then one black that's three long and then one gray that's three long. Very odd choices to have them different colors, but whatever. What is the grunt? <laughs> uh, I have to go for a little bit and I might be back later. I really love your videos. Thank you for such amazing content and keep up the awesome work. Robert, thank you, sir. You have a great evening. You have a great. Use focus. I believe that's done for step 349. Page 161 <laughs> is done. Then we'll probably be onto the next page. I mean, probably be onto the next set of bags, which is good progress. It's good progress. Which Enemy had my flag, two meters from his flag. I was five meters away with an energy sword. He ran to jump off the cliff so I wouldn't get his stuff and cost his team the victory. We went, later went on to win that game. <laughs> That's funny, man. Some, like, this uh, this new BT. One of our favorite things to do is run a rooms, right? And you can unlock the room. When it's Slayer, we will all just get in that room. Like, five or six of us will just get into that room and just hold it down. And hope that people aids and, like, rockets and destroy them. As well as you can grapple shot to the ceiling and then just camp by the door on the ceiling. And we had four people camped at the ceiling with grapple shots. It was so hilarious. Okay. We absolutely blitzed that page. Step 354. All right, that's that's the end, and then we're on to bags number 33 and 34. Let me know if you would like me to move the camera closer. Up close and personal with this build. Visible throughout the build, like you can pop the, pop the hood and check it out. Or as we would say, pop the bonnet in England. There we go. And hmm, do we want grey? Yeah, probably want grey. And two of them there. Jeez, is this starting to be bulked out? Wow. Really, that's no joke. That is really starting to bulk out. Bulldog is trash, to be honest. Bulldog is trash, man, and it makes me annoyed. <laughs> Bulldog is trash. Like, ah. Uh. You, like, honestly, people can win against you. If they have an assault rifle, they can just get you. Yeah, it's three shots, one kill. It's disappointing. I don't like it. No, I don't like it at all. I wish the bulldog would get stronger. Right. The bags 33 and 34. After these two bags, it will just be... I think three more bags and then we're done with the second box. Second box out of three. So that is like really cool. That's the funny thing, these new bio biodegradable bags, they're fantastic, but it's way, way easier to obviously like miss pieces, leave pieces inside because you can't see all the way through them. Nice, we've got some cool printed detailings here. There we go. Cool printed detailings. Very nice. This is gonna be some quick bags. There's barely any pieces in here. But even if there's barely any pieces, we still organize all the bricks to begin with. 
An organized builder is a happy builder. Right. Oh, let's smash it. pain these mirrors are they just clip on so nicely if the washing machine is quite loud <laughs> thoughts on the cinder shot it's op man it's just like uh i mean it's fun like whatever i mean i mean x you just they just add to the sandbox um and they're always fun when you get them it's just not fun when they're used against you so whatever but definitely the, my main ones uh, is, uh, my main one is the, yeah, the bulldog needs a serious buff. Um, I think I'm using the right color. I think we want gray. It's actually more like a metallic gray, this one. It's like slightly different, I think. Use this color with some halo sets before. And then we attach this little piece of glass in. I mean, it's plastic glass, but you know what I mean? We attach that in and then layer them over the top. Like so, really cool, really cool design. Then I'm excited to see what happens with this thing. Oh yeah, okay. Just pop it on there, right? Just pop it on there. Nice. That connects really nicely. And it's rounded off with one of these angled pieces. Dope. Really dope. Okay. Step 358. Dun, 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 dun. 358. Can't believe I've made it this far already. <laughs> six hours in. We are officially six hours into this stream. May God help us. <laughs> and another one of these. Pretty tricky peeling back this plastic. Come on. There we are. Okay. Peel that back. And we need all the pieces. And a couple more steps, and we're on to the last. So. so much and wherever this goes all right it's been a while since we got the the chat popping what's everybody up to what are we all doing we holding out. I assume that's what we do. Yeah. Mine is the Cortana. Never had it, but wish I did. Um, everyone in stream, favorite infinite armor. I like Anubis. A lot of people like Anubis, yeah. Anubis is a fan favorite. I really enjoy... Um, it's like I can't even like there's barely any that I've even had the opportunity to use because uh, it all like 
you know, you can barely unlock anything. All, all, I've, all I've really got is reach armor, which, like, is obviously cool, but I know what reach armor looks like. Um, many um, offered to us yet. And I, I won't buy any. I refuse to at this point. Because, like, I, I think they might just reduce the price of them soon. Um, and even so, I'm not buying armor. I just don't want to do that. <laughs> um, I don't blame anyone that does, but I definitely don't want to. Sounds like the washing machine stopped, pigs. Ah, did I? Ah, built it the wrong way around. Nope. Nope. Okay, this is step 359. Uh, Nice. Okay. See that there? Beautiful. Beautiful. I just got my first blind bag with a new commando rifle. The purple one. Awesome, dude. How do you find it? It looks really badass. Okay. Yes, um, I asked this before, but I didn't check all the the answers. What is everybody's favorite game mode so far? Do you want to rank them? Do you want to let me know which is your favorite, least favorite? Obviously, Slayer doesn't really count. What's your favorite game mode? I mean, I guess you can say you can say Slayer if you want to. Oddball is number one. Don't really like Fiesta. Okay, well, Fiesta's not here anymore, eh? <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Yeah, they got rid of it as quick as it as quick as it came. It was gone. Oops. Yeah. Lovely smoothed out section there. And then the white on. Now we have, returning again, shower ambiance. The sound of shower. Look at that. Look at that bad boy. Whoa. That's really nicely detailed. I'm sure like some display is gonna go on there. Smoothed off really nicely. Just expertly built. Like expertly built. What your what's your site? Uh, my favorite uh, game mode is probably strongholds. Um, Strongholds is just hella fun. I, no, I really like, um, what's the, uh, what's the one where you gotta deliver stuff? <laughs> uh, the, uh, ah, what's the name? Um, I don't, I, why can't I think of the name? I, I talked about it before, where you, uh, you have to collect things and build them, it put, put the seeds in your base. Ah, why can't I think of it? I'm sure someone in chat will help me. I'm back again. Welcome to Gaming Bricks. 
Fiesta is fun, just not when you get skewer, disruptor, and threat sensor the entire time. Oh no. Power seeds. Yeah, but what's the game mode called? When you got a stockpile. There we go. Don't know why I couldn't think of that at first. I really do like stockpile. Hmm. Is there a possibility I am missing a piece? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's right there. <laughs> right in front of me. This whole time. Okay, so I think this is going to be a satisfying section. fell off. Um, I think this will be satisfying. Let's move the camera up. So, uh, we pop these in here, these clips, and then uh, we add <coughs> one of these. Nice. Nice. Lock all that down. And then, yes. Ha ha! Clip that in. Whoa, that's nice. Smoothed off. You know, one of my favorite things about builds in Mega Constructs is when everything is smoothed off, and that is uh, that's that's a smooth. Smooth dashboard. Okay, Woo, look at the steering wheel. Oh my God, it's the most complicated steering wheel I've ever seen. Whoa. What's, uh, <laughs> the camera hates that white surface. All right, I, I will relieve you of your, your pain camera. Don't worry, you don't have to look at the white surface. What is the most wanted figure that's not out yet? That's a very good, question what what uh named characters that have not been released yet are you dying to see characters what figures are you really dying to see all right so we pop all these together this is going to be really fiddly Usually the steering wheel just comes in one piece, so I guess I respect Mega for like really <laughs> making a cool looking steering wheel. This, this is weird. I gotta find a way to get them. Or maybe they, oh yeah, if you face it at an angle. It's very odd. Whoa. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> Made of so many different pieces. I want a camo Anubis with a camo commando in Halo Heroes, to be honest. Wow, that's quite quite a quite a cool request. Look at that steering wheel. Wow. Grave mind. Yeah, grave mind has gotta be a big ask. Now we can choose which one we want as the uh, the heads up display. I guess we're going to go for the actual car. Dope. That is step 364. We keep on going. Keep on going, fellas. That is box number two. Eradicated. Annihilated. 
destroyed, disintegrated. What are we talking about? Sword Elite 117. We're asking the question, what character have they not made in Mega Constructs form yet that we want to see? What character have they not made yet? They have been, like, quite uh, thorough. Um, I know one of the outcries recently was for um, some more heretic elites that weren't just Sese Refumi. That would have been really cool. <sighs> wow, we approached the six and a half hour mark. Gosh dang, guys. Gosh dang. This is, uh, whew. <sighs> wow. Quite, quite the lengthy stream. Quite the lengthy stream. Who will be the final viewer? <laughs> Simon, thoughts on Wasp in Infinite? Um, I love the Wasp. I love the Wasp. Uh, it's it's really fun, honestly. Um, it's it's very easy to take out. Like it's very easy to destroy. But then again, it's very easy for it to get killed. So it needs to be destroyed easily. I think the balance is there. It's crazy we don't have the Spartan laser right now. I hadn't actually thought about it until this point. But, yeah, no Spartan laser right now. That's pretty crazy. If you guys could have one OG weapon brought back into Infinite right now, what would it be? Because we are obviously missing a lot right now. Which is fine. I know, like, Mega needs to focus on the new sandbox. I mean, 343 needs to focus on the new sandbox right now. But yeah, what... What vehicle... Uh, what weapons... I guess what weapons and vehicles would you like to see return right now? Because we're missing a lot. Story time. I'm an infinite. I was in a dogfight. Me, Wasp, or the Banshee. And because the Wasp can hover, I went down and won the fight. Because he crashed into the wall of bullets. I assume we are now building the other two doors. Because these are the last bags from the second box. So it would make sense to me that we were building the doors. Um, so that, like, conclude the top of the roof, essentially... While you're still going. Yes, Emperor Bricks. Six and a half hours, my dude. I'm motivated. There's still people rallying behind me. <coughs> it's uh, it's cool. I'll keep on going if you guys keep on going. But also, don't feel pressured to keep on going. <laughs> All right. Um, yes. What weapons do we hope return to Halo Infinite? I know the DMR is one of them. I don't think the DMR will return anytime soon because we've got the commando and the assault rifle is basically a long range weapon. But no, we've got the, the commando and the battle rifle. I must say I really enjoy using the battle rifle in Halo Infinite. Really, really fun. Looking at how these, uh, these pieces are coming together, looking at which ones I'm, I'm sorting out. 
I think we're most definitely building another door. Which is fine. Let's get those two doors done and then we're finished with the doors. Almost finished collecting all of the stuff for this double page. Alright. Nice. I've been here the entire stream. Ah, oh, that's so cool, man. <laughs> Emil's rife. Emil's knife. Wow. Uh, a kukri knife would be pretty badass. If you could use a kukri knife properly in Halo Infinite, that would be dope. I don't think it will happen, but it would be really dope. Battle Rifle is my favorite. Brute Spiker. Oh yeah, I saw that there were some, uh, some, some leaks of like the code of the game had the Brute Spiker in it, so maybe we'll see that return soon. I know the Spike is quite, well, it's, it's not actually similar to the, uh, the Mauler is very similar to the, uh, the new Mangler, so I don't think the Mauler will return, but the, uh, Spiker definitely could. There's really like no SMG weapons in the game, which is kind of surprising considering it's like this big, like, you know, military shooter. What was that? Something fell off then. Oh yeah. Piece fell off the table. Let's get these two doors built. Ayo hey, Simon, there's this guy on YouTube, Threddy Ocean, who makes Halo remixes. You should look at them. They are a ton better than the originals. We're the desperate measures, but it's more exhilarating. Whoa. Nice, man. I would like to watch that. We're the desperate measures. <laughs> All right, so what vehicles would we like to see return? If we want to see the DMR and... I like Hunters. What's everyone's favorite Mega version? Mine's the red that comes with the Pelican. That is a really cool one. Uh, I love the Remnant Hunter that comes in Halo Heroes. That's a really dope one. I think Halo Heroes Series 11. But yeah, uh, so many, there's been so many dope Hunters, man. There really has. Yeah, apparently it's it's uh, it's essential which side this there's like two different uh, this is the problem this is the issue we had with the the doors in the uh, in the start of the build there's a black and a gray and the black is slightly thicker than the gray and we put the wrong one in and that like cost us like 10 minutes <laughs> basically Easy mistake. Really easy mistake. Whoa, all right. This is the this is the part uh, as well that I like made weird mistakes with last time. I'm not gonna make those mistakes again because I'm just gonna prepare my pieces properly, which is just not what I did last time at all. So let's put them in.
Nice. That is how you do it. <laughs> Way quicker. How about the new ODST drop pod? Ooh. I'm kind of concerned that ODSTs haven't been shown in the campaign yet, to be honest. Yeah, um, well, yeah. The problem with ODSTs is they need to be dropped from orbit. And if the chief is kind of stranded on Zeta Halo, that might not be an option. But we'll see. <clears throat> Alright guys, we made it through washing machine ambiance. It's ready for tumble dryer ambiance. Let's go. And then it'll be quiet. more twitch supremacy <laughs> yeah man <clears throat> i will be building the twitch <clears throat> heavily in the coming months but not right now just gotta focus there's so much to do there is so much to do Here. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. <coughs> well, I guess that is gray. It looks like it's black, but it can't be because there's just not those black pieces anywhere. I would consider building these doors as the, the, the slowest part of the build. Thankfully, after this, we've only got one more, and we're almost finished with this one. So we want ODSTs, uh, at least there's ODST armor in the base build. I was happy to see that. But yeah, we want ODST drop pods returning as a vehicle. Um, I would love to see spectres. It's crazy that the, the skiff intercept was a, a mega construct set, right? And they found uh, the skiff intercept, like data miners have found the skiff in the data of the game, but it's like, uh, they've already said, 343 have already said it's not a drivable vehicle, which seems weird. It's like, if the skiff just, if the skiff is in the game and you like, to, like take out all the cup they banished on top of it, then what, is it just like a dormant vehicle that you just can't take over? It's really strange. Just seems like odd. <clears throat> seems odd. Just seems strange, you know? Just seems strange. We're back on the soup. <laughs> it's 11.42 UK time. You are welcome to go whenever you want, Spartan. Thank you very much for the support today. It's been really cool. Yeah, it's late at night in the UK now. Got another one of these windows to get on. This one's slightly different, but almost the same. <sighs> what, do we, what do we got going on here? 
What do we got going on here? What? Am I missing something? I'm missing something. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> gotta, gotta attach all this together. Oof. Oof. Look at that. Thank you so much. Yes, reinforcements. <coughs> Salad has arrived. Mmm. And I've got salad dressing on the the window of the car. And a five. There we go. It's locked off. And we will insert that. Oh no. There we go. One more stage. Getting ahead of myself. Not inserting it just yet. I'm now starting to think to myself, is this going to be done in one sitting? It would be a lot of effort, but there's a chance we could just get it done in one go. Then never have to worry about this thing again. <laughs> we'll see. Not quite sure yet. Okay, whatever this is. It's going to hold our... <clears throat> hold our door together, I guess. Insert that in there. Must just fold out. It's pretty cool though, I mean, this is the first time uh, this is being built, really, on camera. This is the first time this has ever showed off to the world. Really, really dope to think about that. Okay, so we've got this here, and Whoa. What a big boy! In goes the second door. I mean the third door. <laughs> Wait, what? what's going on? Okay. How do we get this in? Oh, it's going in this side. Yeah, makes sense. Hey, yo. Nice. That's door number three. Right. I am very motivated to get door number four done and get done with the doors. <laughs> Let's get done with the doors. Let's get done with the doors. I'm sick of these doors. <laughs> I've been building doors for over an hour. <laughs> get it done. Get it done. Simon, do you wish Halo Infinite had the Spectra in it? Yeah, yeah, I, I would love to see the Spectra. The Spectra is a funny one because it was only in one mission of one game. So it's, it's one of those, it's like, the Spectra had a really short life anyway. So, who knows, man. I mean, also the skiff's been designed, so that seems like more of a Spectra replacement. But, who knows. Let's get this final door done. Let's get this final door done. Okay, I'll gather up all the pieces real quick. And then we'll get this final door done. We'll get this final door done. We'll get this door, we'll get this door, we'll get this final door done. Oh, dear. Hmm. 
My body's starting to get stiff now. It's just been sat in this one position for six and th oh, six and three quarter hours, nearly nearly seven hours, man. Just been sat in this position building. No normal person would build for this long. I am built differently. I'm built out of mega constructs. It's in my DNA. That's why I can build so well. So quickly. <laughs> Tommy, there's a mission. I forgot. It was something to go underwater. What did the doors ever do to you, Simon? <laughs> they took too long. They took too long. They broke my heart. No, the we, we just we wasted a lot of time back then with uh with the doors malfunctioning because of the wrong stud. And I've been mad ever since. Absolutely furious. Absolutely furious with these doors. Once we're done with these doors, it'll be a great relief, and we'll be on to the final box, number three. And that'll feel very progressive. That'll feel like we've really done a lot. Search up Master Beef Halo. <laughs> it already sounds like a hilarious video. I shouldn't just trust you guys when I'm reading out things. <laughs> they could be something weird. Step 396. We've almost got to step 400. What a big milestone step 400 is. It's absolutely nutty that we've made it to step 400 in one sitting. Yeah. Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, step three hundred and ninety seven done. Step three hundred and ninety eight done. Step 399, done, and drum roll please, everybody, drum roll at home, Ro drum, roll those drums, <coughs> oh, <laughs> step 400 takes a little bit longer, you're gonna have to keep on, keep on rolling those drums. Rolling the drum down the hill. You're not even playing the drum, you're just rolling it down the hill. Aha, my nemesis step. The one that I always do wrong. But not this time. Not this time, sir. He says. <laughs> He says as he can't see a piece. There we go.
<laughs> I'm just a little silent here, folks. I'm just absolutely blitzing through this door. Get it finished. And then I'll relax a bit more, open up the conversation to you guys, see what's up. That wind mirror on <laughs> wind mirror <laughs> wind mirror get that <laughs> window on <laughs> what on earth am I saying wind mirror for what on earth are you crazy are you out of your mind We're so close. We're so close to finishing this crazy long section of the build. door. Whoa, <laughs> my boxes fell over. Yo! The doors are complete. Yes. Yes. It's so large now. Oh my gosh. Wow. The doors are complete. You can see inside now. One, two, three, four. Four working doors. Jeez. That is crazy. That is crazy. Whoa. Alright, fellas, that is officially step number 414 complete. That's two out of three boxes done. We're on the last box. And I'm going to take a couple of minute break to stretch out. Don't go anywhere, but we're, we're, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Let's, let's see what happens. I'm still not promising that we finish it today, but I think it's likely. Alright, see you soon.
and we're back. Uh, welcome back, Chunky Chief and Jerry Houston. How you doing? Um, and I hope you're enjoying tumble dryer ambiance, clothes dryer ambiance. We have finished two out of three of the boxes, and we're on step two, 415. So, this is the last box. It's looking like we might finish today, but I don't know. I don't want to make any promises. So, we open up this last box. How many bags are inside? I imagine a lot because this is the biggest box. Okay. Find a lot. We've got whoa, the tires. One, two, three, four. And then we've got our bags. All right. Simon, is it just me or do you also watch Tactical Toilet Paper Reloads? What is Tactical Toilet Paper Reloads? <laughs> what the heck? I've never heard of that before. But I do sometimes find myself watching weird videos late at night, if that's what you're referring to. Wow, some of these bags are big. I'm hoping, because this box is bigger, I'm hoping it's just for bigger pieces, not more pieces. I'm hoping there's just not a, not like a crazy amount of pieces in this box, but there's probably a thousand. black section yo Joseph Lane two dollars thank you very much my friend good to see you how you doing okay spiteful who joined the contest I did hell yeah code charity you have received money Simon <laughs> thank you so much Joseph Lane really appreciate it brother oh also my camera's freaking out hold on sometimes the uh, the <coughs> iPhone camera freaks out There we go. All right. Yeah. We, whew, this is just black pieces. So even more so than usual, we really need to sort these pieces out, or we'll never know what's going on. <laughs> so keep me company. Ask some questions. What would you like to know? What, what videos have you enjoyed recently? How are you doing? What's an interesting thing you bought recently? What's a new collectible you've acquired? Anything. Let me know. Just let me know how you're doing. Some, some 
beautiful long pieces. My favorite YouTuber and streamer, Joseph Lane. Thank you, brother. Really appreciate that. Yeah, I haven't streamed in a month. This is my first stream. And what is a stream to come back to? <coughs> what a stream to come back to. Literally, <laughs> what a weird stream to like, yeah, I go, I go without streaming for a, a month and then it's like the longest stream. Gosh, so strange. And in the future, I would love more people to come on talking on the stream. I know you like coming on and chatting, Chunky Chief. Uh, so that would be cool in the future. Do you think the Halo Infinite Series X edition, 321 Canadian dollars is worth it? 321 Canadian dollars sounds fantastic. That sounds like an amazing price, actually. If that's what you got it for, then that's awesome. <laughs> These are just all black pieces, so like... I just have to put in the groundwork to begin with to sort these out, or we will get nowhere fast. Like, we will just be going so slowly. I don't know if you guys have watched Marvel's What If. It's so fantastic. Such a cool adventure series. So many, there's so many pieces in this thing. This is, this is nuts. There's just so many small black pieces here. The zombie one was great, yeah. The zombie what if was so good. It felt like a feature length movie by the end. The only problem was um, I showed, uh, so I'd been watching a few of them and then I told Peggy I really wanted to show her one and I accidentally chose to show her the what if Thor was an only child and that one sucks man that one sucks it's so ridiculous and she was just like why should I care about this I'm like yeah yeah that one really sucks I'm sorry it had to be that one I showed you I think we're sorted enough that we can get going on this because that was a long time. Do you think having five Razorbacks is good? <laughs> uh, it's all right. <laughs> it's uh, you do you, bro. If you want five Razorbacks, I ain't going to stop you. It's, it's excessive, but hey, what's better than five Razorbacks? Probably six Razorbacks. <laughs> Just watch you spending. Gather together all the pieces we need for these sections. Yeah, Jerry Houston, if you're still there, if you're wishing to buy this set, it's a big build, my friend. It's a big build. Whew. 
This is no joke of a set. I think it's an enormous build. It's all right. Hey, step 420. <laughs> hey, it's pretty good. Did I just, I just picked up <coughs> pieces I'd sorted and then just like redistributed them. What was that? Gosh, this all black section is, uh, is a bit of a headache. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to you. Bit slow on this one. Bit of a slow down. Bit of slow down, ho down. Like, what are we even building here? I think we might be building the engine. I think we might be building the, the, the core engine. I don't know yet, though. I just don't know. I'm really, I'm, I'm concerned that I'm gonna open the next three bags and it's like the exact same again. <laughs> That's like my biggest concern. I don't want to do more of these, okay? This will be just enough. This will be just enough, but no more. No more, please. I can just tolerate this. Oh my gosh, so many pieces in one double page. <laughs> I gotta I gotta say, this is the most ridiculous part so far. And I thought the doors were bad. <laughs> Bring back the doors. At least the doors were varied. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh jeez, he's going down. Now we need a scaled up Elon Musk figure to drive this thing. Yes. Yes, make it so, make it so. I do believe you're correct. Cortana, I wish I had. <coughs> did, did you think this set was going to take as long as it has? I actually thought this set was going to take uh, a lot longer at this point. This is actually going uh, faster than I expected because I never and I never anticipated to like build it all in one day. I still don't know if I will. I'm still like on the fence, but it's looking positive. So no, I actually thought it was going to be longer than this. Is actually quite quite fast but the the main thing is and i i observed this when i when i made my very first reveal when i talked about this thing coming out to begin with i was like um this is gonna be the craziest build because it's all just like one color it's all just like two colors and i was right but i when i said that i never possibly expected that i'd be building it myself Never thought that. So, Mega Constructs, yeah, they sent this to me for free to review, but like, oh my goodness, I never thought I'd be building this thing. Never. knocking it all off step by step we can just quickly demolish like quickly demolish like 10 steps <coughs> step 425 
Dawn. Step 426. Dawn. Step 427. Dun dun dun. Almost. <laughs> Step 428. He's done. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's the seat. <laughs> do we have to do this twice? Oh no, we have to do it twice. All right, well. Uh, okay. It's the seats. It was the seats all along. My gosh. Who knew it would be the seats all along? Okay. <laughs> Simon, remember your mama? Hey, should I get the razor back? Rod Carl, you should definitely get the razor back if you can, brother. It's really awesome. Um, I haven't even built mine yet because it just arrived, but it's, it's going to be legendary. Like you get to, you get Kelly in a cheap set. That's already awesome. Then you get, uh, two, well, you get new brutes. Um, you get a lot of stuff. You get a lot of stuff. It's really, really worthwhile. All right. We've got some nice new printed detailings here. Just subtle, but. Still dope. to do some nice kind of video today I mean tomorrow I need to release some kind of like laid-back video after I've built this really need to do something more chill don't know what though maybe a, a blind bag opening the blind bag openings take a while to edit so maybe not that Right, we got all the pieces for the seat. Let's knock out this seat, gents. How the turn tables. <laughs> How the turn has tabled. looking seat. Nice looking seat. All you ever really want is a nice looking seat, don't you? Wow, I'm looking forward for, to that tumble dryer finishing. And, oh, that's, that's odd. Oh, is it? Oh, that's why you can't build two at once, because like, this side's got uh, flat paneling, this side has not, because it's going to go on the seat. Look at this, whoa! Whoa, is that not the most detailed seat you have ever seen? Gosh dang. It's It pains me that we have to build a second one, but it's still a really nice looking seat. Have you seen Brickman117's Banished Cannon? 
Of course, guy, my guy. It's so good. It's so incredible. All right, yep, yeah, adjustable seat there. Very nice. Oh, all right, we're gonna build a second seat. All right. Oh, we can do it, we can do it. We can do it. Oh. Oh. His diorama is sick. Yes, Jerry, it most definitely is. The attention to detail there is like insane. I never quite get that attention to detail because I'm always moving on to the next thing. I move, move, move between projects. But his detailing is unreal. Brickman117, give him a sub. And also, we're on step 436, and we've still not found a single missing piece, so tickle me impressed. That's really good. Obviously, like, I don't have any spare pieces in America, so if there wasn't a missing piece, it could potentially grind the build to a halt. But there is just no missing pieces. There are just no missing pieces. It's really nice. So big props to Mega for that. If we really do get to the end of this build and there's no missing pieces, I'll be like non-stop praising them in my review of this. Where is it? What's that flat piece I need? Two of them. <clears throat> Oof. Starting to get tired now, guys. This has been a long build. Oof. My body is starting to get tired. But once we've done the work, I, I said that when we when we were building the the, uh, the seats, I was like, once we finish the seats, it'll be smooth sailing. And now we're building these 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 damn uh, these uh well, ah ah I'm losing my words. These seats. Now we're building the seats. It's uh it's also crazy slow. Wow, okay. I'll check the chat in just a second. <laughs> just getting all these pieces together. I'm praying, I'm, I'm praying to the stars that the next lot of bags are different colors to just black. I was pretty, pretty disheartened when I opened all those bags and it was just black. <laughs> That's not what you want to see. You want some variety, which in this build, uh, variety is quite difficult to find, but you want at least some different colors, you know? Wow, okay, we, we found them all. Oh, we found all the pieces for this section. Oof. Wow. How big is this so far? Oh, it's pretty big, dude. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. Code Charity, I repeat, Code Charity, you have received money, Simon. Really? Hey, welcome to our new YouTube subscriber, Palikito. 
and Palikita. Whoa, that's a cool name. Hey, two minutes ago, Joseph Lane, five dollars. How you doing, my friend? Oh, five pounds. I a British dude. Keep powering through, brother, as a certain dude once said, to give the Covenant back their bomb. Hell yeah, man. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. I wonder, let's check. I wonder if YouTube has changed its mind about our monetization yet. Ah, blasphemy. Blasphemy. It still says that we can't monetize this video because it's not suitable for audiences. Uh, it's being reviewed. That's the thing with YouTube. It gets reviewed, but by the time it's been reviewed, the stream's over, bro. <laughs> Whatever. Um, welcome to our new subscriber, Pelakito and Pelakita. And thank you very much for the generous donations to Joseph Lane. Thank you very much. Want to have a competition, Simon? Noble Six Originals, I don't trust your competitions. Depends if you want me to smash this build, which I would never do. <coughs> <coughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh, he's fading. Let's bring the camera down. Let's rest Simon's back. It's been a long build, and I've barely moved for seven hours. 21 minutes. That's a full day, man. Just a full day building this thing. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Full day building this thing. A big boy. If I build my full pelican before you're finished, I get some MCX. If you finish first, I owe you some MCX. Noble Six Originals, are you building this from scratch, bro? If there is some video proof, maybe we have a deal. Hmm. I seem to have gathered too many pieces. Crazy, crazy. Can't believe I'm still going. I am built differently to most people. Built differently by mega constructs. Okay. I like jazz. I'm gonna say it. It would be from scratch. Noble Six Originals, I guarantee I will finish this before you build a pelican from scratch, but I guarantee it. Take the easy road, gents. You don't win in life by taking the easy road. Famous last words. Ah.
Uh, I need a I need a second win to start talking to the chat again. <sighs> okay. Once I finish these seats, <coughs> once I finish these seats, I'll be in the green. Well. If people have really stuck with this for like the entire time, that is so insane to me. That is so incredible. Sticking with this stream for the whole time. Wow. <laughs> like, honestly, wow. Right. <clears throat> that is the second seat. I think. No. We're missing a little bit. But it's almost the second seat. Almost the second seat. We almost did it, everybody. We almost finished the second seat. I can't believe it. I absolutely can't believe we nearly finished the second seat. This is a pro gamer move. Here we go. The second seat is in the vehicle. I can't believe it. <laughs> there we go. Whoa. Seats are in. Wow. Oh no. Oh no. three more seats. There's three more seats. <coughs> There's three more seats. <laughs> uh, wow. That's absolutely wild, man. Three more seats. <laughs> what the heck? Because there's, there's like a small middle seat, and then there's two more big seats. <clears throat> wow! Wow! Well, we came this far. <laughs> we came this far. We're not going to give up now. It's impossible. It's impossible. Spartans don't give up. It's a little crazy comparing building more seats to the heroic actions of Spartans, but what are you gonna do? Wow. I can't believe it. So do I need more of those? What no? Okay, well at least we can probably knock this uh, small baby seat baby booster seat we could probably knock it out really quickly for some reason i thought that the cyber truck was a two-seater i don't know why because in all evidence there is such a massive size here but i saw that when i when i put the second seat in i saw the dif difference between the seat and the 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 steering wheel and i was like oh oh no oh no <laughs> and then here we are <laughs> I can't believe we have to build three more of those seats. Ah! That's too many seats. Too many seats for one sitting. I wonder how long it took to develop this Cybertruck.
McDonald's for cars have five seats. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay. What do we need? This, okay. I was wondering what this was used for for a while. It's a pretty funny, funny piece. Alright, that seems like the pieces for the, the, the small baby booster seat. So let's quickly knock this out. Step 457, done. Step 458, done. Step 459, done. Step 456, done. Step four, five, seven. Done. Step four, five, eight. Done. Step four, five, nine. You guessed it. It's done. <laughs> Go. Step four, step four six three. Where did I get four five eight from? That was completely wrong. Step four six three is done. Back a little bit. I'll have I'll be a Patreon after Christmas. Wow, that's awesome to hear, buddy. I'm going to be reshuffling, reorganizing the Patreon completely after Christmas time to have a more transparent perks and just uh, a cooler experience for everybody. So that's awesome, man. Really appreciate that. But it seems like the tumble dryer ambiance is finished. Is it all dry? still going yeah riley sheller yeah we are seven and a half hours you think that's gonna stop us no absolutely not i've taken about two or three minutes total breaks in that time i don't stop at nothing to get a job done honestly this is it is <laughs> it is actually ludicrous that I'm still going <laughs> but hey why do this in two sims right get it done in one epic stream it's an epic gamer moment <laughs> ah my goodness my fingers are even starting to get sore guys so here's the deal here's the deal okay let's put this in
That's weird. He wants me to attach these, but it's not thick enough. That is weird. It's like we're missing a piece there. Probably are missing a piece. That we didn't put across. What are we missing? What am I not being told? Oh, just two single studs. Oh, it's as simple as that. Okay. Joseph Lane. Don't feel any pressure, brother. Any pressure at all. I appreciate you, but don't feel any pressure. Clip that in. That's our baby seat. Let's hear it for the baby seat. And it clips in, slots in nicely there. Okay, that's the back seats done. And that is step 476. Step 476. And the back seats are in. Backseat drivers. I guess we could, I guess we could. Um, let's hold on. Let's just see what the size is like. <laughs> we just got a little little grunt cruising. I guess it I guess it works. Look, it looks like a it's like a little little baby seat for the grunt. Little tenth anniversary grunt. And chief. <laughs> it's like little kids going to school. It's like little kids in their parents' car. I like it. Yeah, we'll keep them in. <laughs> That's the Halo Hero Series 14, Master Chief. It's the only one of Series 14 I own. Until now, Jerry Houston just came through. Like a legend. There we go. Chief and the Grunt. Now, fellas. It's uh, it's decision time. It's decision time. We are on seven and a half hours. And we're on step 477. Should we finish this today? Should we just push through? I don't know until what time... But if you guys want me to push through, let's get it done. I'll let the uh, let the comments decide. Because you guys have been supporting me this far. If you want me to continue, I'll open the next bags and we'll get going. Thanks, bro. I'm hype. <laughs> Chunky Chief, we play Halo every night. Yes, yes, it's time. It's time to it's time to get this done, guys. It's time to get this done. Bag number 41. Chunky Chief's like, but we could go play some Halo. Bro, we play Halo every single night. I'm at least very happy to see that the there's some colored some colored bricks in these bags. It's not just black. The madman is doing it. He's actually doing it. Bro, I must be a madman. <sighs> I must be. Uh, either either a madman or just a super motivated genius. I'm gonna go with the second. I mean, it's like, hey, am I gonna spend a second day on this or am I just gonna get it done? If I finish right now, like if I, if I stop for the night, I'm just gonna play Xbox. Or I could get this done. And I think that's the better option. So, shout out to whoever's gonna stick with me on this one. This is a, this is an intense, an intense adventure.
can't believe he's actually doing it. He's actually building the whole thing. No one would ever build this in one city. <laughs> oh, God. Xbox, Xbox, Xbox. <laughs> Staying the whole time. Wow. That is some serious dedication. My goodness. Some next level dedication. Let's go, bacon, eggs. <laughs> if you say so. The dedication is more than any of us just for going on with this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some, uh, there's some serious dedication here. Not gonna lie. Not gonna sugarcoat that. But hey, I'm like, I'm a man of motivation. It's like, let's just get it done. Ain't gonna waste another day on this. Okay, that's all my pieces sorted. Ooh. More or less. Nice. That is way more organized than usual. All right. That's all my pieces organized. I'm going to take a one minute break to stretch out and I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. We're going to get this done.
Yes, Michael, I am going to finish it tonight. <laughs> some, somehow, some, some way, somehow, I'm going to finish it tonight. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Yes, we are currently on step. We're going to bring in some Halo Wars music. We are currently on step 477. And um, feeling pretty confident. Feeling pretty confident. A little intimidated by the amount of bags left, but we're going to get it done. Got a cough sweep, and uh, huh, yeah. So, Halo Infinite's multiplayer has been out for a while. What game mode are you missing? What game mode do you really hope they bring to release next week? Because next week is full release. Yeah, they have said that it's like all the game modes and all the maps right now, but I still think they might have some tricks up their sleeve. So. What are you hoping they add on day one? A new game mode, a new map, even just a way to differentiate things. What are you hoping for? say I'm very feel very organized with this section I know where every piece is firefight well uh, yeah firefight Joseph Lane, Simon, does all donation money go to you? Um, no, unfortunately not. YouTube takes a cut, which is, it's a shame. It, it, I don't really understand it at all, to be honest. But yeah, YouTube takes a cut. Uh, the, but if you go through Patreon, uh, there's no cut taken by YouTube. So, totally up to you. Feel no pressure. Feel no pressure. Don't worry. Yeah, totally no worries either way. Yeah, Firefight would be really dope. I don't think they'll bring Firefight in for a while, but I think they definitely will. Like, it's one of those modes that... it's uh, It's been integral to other games. Uh, it, Flood, Fire, Flood Firefight was brought into ODST, so it's definitely, uh, it's definitely a possibility. Of course, Infection is something they really need to bring in. Infection is one of those where, like, that game mode could be so much more than it is. Like, it could go down the road of Left 4 Dead, where you, like, really have, like, proper abilities and you're, like, hunting everyone down over a long period of time. I mean, I like normal Infection, but they could take it a lot further in the modern day. And, yeah, I'm uh, definitely a fan of getting, um, I mean, Firefight would be awesome. Firefight would be, like, the number one, yeah. Firefight would be so badass in Halo Infinite. Flood in the campaign. Um, yeah, we'll see. I'm, like, I'm, like, half expecting the Flood to be there, half not. It could definitely go either way for me, because they, they want to... They want to draw this out for as long as possible. Like, they want you to return to Halo Infinite again and again. They might even want to sell you separate campaigns. So, 
yeah, it would be no surprise to me if the Flood are left out for now. And the Flood outbreak is like a whole extra campaign. We'll see. That would not surprise me though. Because they want this to be like a Destiny game. They want you to come back again and again. Year after year. It's so much easier for a, a game to just be easy service like that. They don't have to redesign the game every time they release a new game. They just add like DLC campaigns and that's it. But I mean, that's great. That means more regular campaigns, more regular stories for Halo. And probably cheaper in the long run than buying a $60 game every few years. As long as the campaign for Halo Infinite doesn't feel short, like they, they shortened it just to sell you more, as long as it doesn't feel like that, then we're, we're on for a winner. Bro, if they make different campaigns and they charge you, it's pr it's better be cheap. Yeah, it depends. Yeah, depends. I mean, here's the thing. Like I said, if the first campaign is a full 10 plus hours, then I'm not mad about them charging for another campaign. I don't want them to charge like $60 again. But if every six months they charge like $10. Also, what is going on with my, my right camera? That's like not at all what it looks like. Bro, stop tripping out. See, it's like, why is... It's weird. What if I just take everything to zero? Why are you being so weird, camera? Why are you so... Why are you so yellow? That's not bad. Okay, that's better. Hey Simon, what's up Lord Colum? Good to see you here, brother. We are almost eight hours into building our Tesla Cybertruck and we just decided that we're gonna go all in and we're gonna finish it Which is quite the task Quite the task Not something to scoff at Funny it's like single studs on this side and double studs on this side. Weird. Who's hyped for Halo Infinite campaign? Say soup. Soup. I mean, honestly, like it is so exciting. We're going to be playing the campaign in like less than a week. And then it comes day one to Game Pass. That's such a crazy thing. That's what happens when it's a Microsoft game. They can just put that big money down and say, nope, that's a Game Pass game. Which is dope. <laughs> We're just building seats. We're just building seats. Seem like we'll be building seats forever. I'm sure you guys all watch Mint Blitz. Such a crazy cool YouTuber. I would love to interview him soon. Seems like such a legend. All right, we'll get in there, folks. <laughs> the Pelican pilot's literally saying, no, not again. <laughs> not another seat. 
We need to run. No, we need to finish this build. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. At least it's in white now. Yep, I've been saying it a lot today. I'll say it one more time. The Halo Infinite soundtrack is the greatest soundtrack ever made. And I haven't even finished the soundtrack yet. I'm still like, I'm still deep into the soundtrack. Um, I've only listened to about half of it and it is the greatest soundtrack ever made. It's insane how good it is. Like every soundtrack has its flaws. This one does not seem to have any flaws. It's unbelievably cool. It's a it's an unpopular opinion, but I think the Halo 3 soundtrack is not that good for listening to because every track it like starts cool, starts optimistic and then like goes into some like grave mind stuff by the end. Like every track tails off into like a different genre halfway through and it's like not consistent for just listening to. There's like way too much like flood noises in that soundtrack. Way too much like eeriness. It's a hot take I know. Hating on the Halo 5 soundtrack. I mean the Halo 3 soundtrack like. The Halo 3 soundtrack is god tier but just hard to listen to sometimes. Casually, at least. Okay, almost got all the pieces together for this section. The front seats. Maybe it, maybe it'll be the left side. It was the. Well, it was my left side. I guess this car's right side first last time. Okay, that's all the pieces for this section. Let's get on with it. Simon, is your name McDonald's? Because I'm loving it. <laughs> You, you, you got me. Seems like the top of these seats is white, which is pretty cool. Mix things up a little. Thought I'd make the front seats white. Mix things up a little. The classic blend of Halo Quote and Tesla Cybertruck. Ah, oh, my fingers. Gosh, all right, that is step 496. We're almost at step 500. That's a milestone. That is a milestone. See, it's, it's like a white seat, but you barely see that it's a white seat because it's all just covered up by this black. <laughs> you can see on the other side, of course. this page. Fellas, I need more to talk about. I need some, I need some conversation starters. Ask me some questions. How long's the stream currently, Simon? Uh, Michael Otti. It's eight hours, bro. Two minutes after eight hours. Oof. Oof. 
Oh my lord. Oh my lord. We are out of our minds. There we go. White seat. Be born. Beautiful. I mean, it is the most detailed seat ever made. <laughs> All right, let's pop it in. Pop it in, pop it in. Is that right? There we go. Okay. Oh, nice. Nice. It actually got a little bit of suspension there. Woo! All right. Nice. Last seat. I can officially say this is the last seat now. There is only one more seat. Which is nice. Very nice. Very nice. <coughs> Hmm, <clears throat> what set is on your wish list that's not in production? Um, originally I would have said Banished Phantom, but we know that's in production now. Um, on my list... Um, hmm, a firebase, man. The interior of a Covenant ship. Would be really cool. Interior of a Covenant ship. Would be so dope. Hmm. Where are you, peace? Also, step five hundred and three. We made it past half a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Step 503, can you believe it? <laughs> Joseph Lane was in timeout. Oh no. Finally, we're almost done with the seat arc. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chief, you mind telling me what you're doing? Sir, finishing this seat. Finishing this seat. At least we are done with the noise of the tumble dryer and the washing machine. At least we can have quiet with our Halo Wars mix. <laughs> Best set that needs to be remastered. Um, a Revenant would be cool, but we don't really need it. Um, I mean, obviously a Phantom, but again, we're getting it. What set needs remade? A firebase, really, just another really cool firebase would be exceptional. But I kind of just feel like that firebase mustn't have sold well because Mega haven't made more. When something starts selling well, Mega makes a lot of them. You've seen before, but the firebase was just that one, and they kind of abandoned it, so I don't know. I'm 
so excited to put the seat story behind me. Got this, the, even my fingers, the skin's starting to fray from all this, <coughs> from all this building. <coughs> Okay, single on that side, double on the other side. that wrong. <laughs> Put that one in wrong. What's going to be after the seat? So we're going to just get straight onto the roof, I wonder. Hey Simon, if you have not already, could you review the Venom Fire Team? I have not reviewed the Venom Fire Team because I don't own it. But if I got it, I would love to review it. Just head down, focused on finishing these dang seats. <laughs> uh, that's all I'm on. That's all I'm focused on. Finish the seats at all costs. They should release a set that is Cobra versus Locust with an elite Warlord and two elite Miners for the UNSC. It would have Linda and two ODSTs. Dope idea. Really dope idea. I would love to like collaborate, um, like bring all of the community's wishes together and present them to Mega Constructs in some kind of consumable way. It'd be really great. Let's put Chief in the main passenger seat. We're so close to finishing with all these pieces as well, like there's almost none left. So we're almost on to the next lot of bags, which means, I think definitely it means the seats will be finished by the end of this bag. Because usually these are, these are actually like super conclusive, like a step or a big stage will be finished by the time a bag finishes. The organization is actually like outstanding. I don't know how they do it, but they just, oof, like Mega are able to somehow on a production line get all these bags sorted accurately with no missing pieces, knock on wood, and produce like such a streamlined experience, honestly. Like it is, it is crazy. It is crazy. Big, big props to them, really. Wow, we're so close. 
I'm so close to the end of the seats. I'll take a quick break once the seats are installed. Hopefully come back with a whole new motivation for getting this done. Finishing the fight. Bro, that message was exactly 200 words. <laughs> With like maybe a fusion, like an interior of a firebase, other half is like the outside with maybe some ground covenant shields, like a turret or like a little covenant outpost on the outside section. Wow, that's pretty crazy. What a suggestion. If they could somehow like, yeah, if they could somehow like flip the build. So it's like the inside is one set and then the outside is another set like the inside is a unic base the outside is a foreigner base if they could somehow do that <laughs> that'd be awesome it'd be really awesome one and two it's almost done the last few pieces Wow, what a journey. Oof, my goodness. My goodness. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Wow, all the seats are done. All the seats are done. Oof. There is like some middle bit, but it's not really a seat. <laughs> Actually, it is. Oh, it is a seat. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was just like um, <coughs> like a cup holder, but no, it's a it's a seat. That is abs that is an absolute laugh, dude. <coughs> um, oh, it kind of doubles as a seat and a cup holder, which is yeah, that's that's nifty. Wow, wow, I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm shocked. All right, I need to take a quick uh, break, and I'll be back in just one minute. We are so damn close. Yeah, yeah, we're so damn close. I'll be back in a second, guys. Don't go anywhere.
he's still going, would you believe it? It's absolutely outrageous. Eight hours and 20 minutes in, <coughs> and he's just not stopping. Nothing's gonna stop him now from finishing the Tesla Cybertruck. Absolutely nothing. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think um, I think we need uh, we need uh, to bring the cavalry in. So let's um, let's put on social media what we're doing. Okay, let's uh, let's. Okay, let's uh, let's let's pull let's pull a let's pull a memeable, memeable face. Okay, and then we'll screenshot that and we'll post it online. And then everyone will know to come and help. And then we'll we'll try and get some reinforcements in. We need <coughs> we need the reinforcements. I've been streaming the build of the Mega Constructs Tesla Cybertruck for eight hours and won't stop until it's finished. Come join and marvel at the dedication. <clears throat> there we go. And then let's post that around. Let's post it to the different social medias. <coughs> and hopefully we'll get some reinforcements. Because we need some. Alright, let's post it to Facebook. Uh, let's post it to YouTube. Let's post it to Twitter. The only place left is Discord. And the only place left is Discord. If my Discord will load, come on, Discord. We got some building to do. There we go. It's on Discord. All right. We're good to go. <laughs> All right, everybody. Let's keep on going. So now we've got bags 44, 45, and 46. They're not the biggest bags. So this shouldn't be the largest section of the build. If we get 20 viewers, I'll ask my crush out. <laughs> Not that Halo dude, I order you to ask your crush out anyway. That's a really great thing. Simon the Spartan chat hero. <laughs> my God. Oh my goodness. <sighs> we need all the reinforcements we can get, lads. This doesn't seem like it's gonna end anytime soon. <laughs> wow. All right, we're just gonna do a little bit of piece separating and then crack on with this section of the build. It's funny cause like I can't have music playing, which I would really, it would be motivating for me if I could have some music playing. The main benefit though, I will say, is when I live streamed in Hong Kong, every time I live streamed in Hong Kong, 
I would be dripping with sweat. Like, absolutely dripping with sweat the whole time I'm live streaming in Hong Kong. So this is way better. <laughs> like, this is at least miles better than Hong Kong sweat, blood, and tears. And uh, welcome everybody. Thank, thanks for the support. Thanks for the uh, the reinforcements on the stream. All right, let's keep on going, lads. <clears throat> We've got the uh, strategy. Also, welcome if you're new. We're building the Tesla Cybertruck. Mega Construct sent me this for free, uh, and it's three thousand two hundred pieces, which is absolutely insane. But we're we're building it. We've been building for nine and a half hours. And uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna finish. We've decided as a team as a group We're gonna finish no matter what and this is also the first thing I've done uh, From after recovering from COVID. So this has been a crazy week <laughs> Absolutely crazy week. <coughs> oh Wow, okay But we're determined the the uh, the group the core group there's been some people here the absolute mad lads there's been some again some absolute mad lads that have been here since the very beginning and to those guys I salute you wholeheartedly like that's absolutely outrageous Absolutely outrageous for some people to be here for that many hours Well done lads truly do have the domains back And to anyone joining now welcome also uh, <laughs> Commitment, my man. Diesel10 fan. Thank you. Thank you, brother. I've been here since the beginning. Noble6 Originals. Noble6 Originals. Not that Halo dude. Have you asked your crush out? That's awesome, dude. I really, I really hope she, she says yes. Don't take it badly if she says no, but I hope she says yes. My guy. So the, the strat is, I think it is definitely the best strat. You get all your pieces together for the double page, and then you just quickly <coughs> whack out step 429, step five, uh, 529, step 530, 531, 532. Just whack them out quickly. Enter the Toymation! Yo, Domain, you should enter the Toymation. <laughs> Bro, I'm, I'm organizing the Toymation. I can't enter my own competition. That would be biased! Dude, Simon, I got a crush to my... Uh, I, I got a crush. Dude, Simon, I got a crush to my... Uh, to any advice, my guy. You you want some advice on a crush? Um, sure, just be yourself, man. Just be yourself, be honest. Be transparent, 100%. Just lay the cards out. And if she says no, she's not the one. But yeah, just be honest. Just be uh, confident and comfortable. There we go. All right. This is a... Uh, it, it sort of doubles as a cup holder and a, uh, a cup holder and a seat like a middle seat because apparently this truck can hold six people i didn't know this but now i do now i do she opened it nice what'd she say halo dude <laughs> 
Got any ideas on how to ask a girl out with mega constructs? <laughs> um, maybe don't ask her out with mega constructs. Maybe don't do that. <coughs> but if you had to do it, you'd have to build a something romantic out of mega constructs. If you could build her a rose that was highly detailed, then maybe. <clears throat> One thing that I, I still need to do is um, open my full box of Halo Infinite Series 3 blind bags. Still haven't done that. TV cat, answer me fool. <laughs> I got a way to pick up a halo girl. <laughs> hey, what's up, Alf Alfie Halo? Ah, a no from the girl. Don't worry, man. You, uh, you can't be successful every time. You're likely not to be successful the first few times. It is, uh, it is, a, it is a game of persistence. Whoa. Still. The, the thing about failure is, you will now be slightly more confident when asking the next girl out. Like, it's all just, uh, it's all just a progressive thing. You just build confidence slowly, and then one day, she says yes. I've done something wrong here. Have I done something wrong? Oh yeah. It was like needed to be lowered down. Cool. We finished off whatever that was. <laughs> I'll heal the pain with destroying a firebase. <laughs> Rose before hose. <laughs> Simon, I need <laughs> Xenomorphed. What are you what are you saying, man? TV cat, I need a weapon and your number. That's how friends you should pick up a Halo girl. <laughs> Hell yeah. I need a weapon. And your number. Alright, let's hear them guys. Favorite Halo quote. It's that time of the evening. It's that time of the evening. Let's hear your favorite Halo quotes. I'll read them all out. Oof, we're so close to finishing this last seat, man. <laughs> and I've said that too many times, I don't even trust myself anymore. It's finally time to build the Tesla coffee cup. 
Look at that beauty. That's the Tesla coffee cup, guys. I've been here since the popular unboxing with Craig. Nice. Oh, I know what the ladies like. He always says I know what the ladies like, but he always thinks I need a weapon. You excited for the Toymation competition? I'm so excited. Um, I opened submissions yet last night and I received a lot of entries um, when I checked my email this morning. I don't know how many, but a lot. So really excited. Oh, this is interesting design. <clears throat> really nice. These are just, they're just so well designed. That's just so compact and smoothed off. Like they're gorgeous. Expertly crafted. And then the coffee cup pops in there. This on the top. And then, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I can finally say, for the last time, it should be, hold on, <laughs> wrong way, this should be the last seat, this should really be the last seat, in it goes. It's glorious. It's glorious. All three seats. Whoa, look at that. And it folds down and doubles as a coffee cup holder. Wow. Outrageous. Outrageous. All right, step 551. Let's get it. Step 551. Who needs goals when you can have the Halo Infinite campaign? <laughs> um, it's been like an hour and a half just on chairs. You are so painfully right, but I can officially say we are done with the chairs. We are done with the chairs. It's over. It's over. And now we're on to the orange. Building some kind of orange gears, mechanisms, devices at the bottom of this, or like the inside of this. Uh, Whatever this rod is, <coughs> pop it in here. Okay. And then that sort of clips on in here in the back of the vehicle. Yep. Clips in there, and so does that. Some kind of some kind of useful tools inside there. Step 555. Step 555. And we're almost on to the next lot of bags.
know what we're building now. I never really know. But at least it's not chairs. That's all I can tell you. At least it's not chairs. Remember when we used to be annoyed at the doors? The doors seem like child's play now. They seem like such a good time compared to the chairs. This will cover up all those little pieces. This will cover up all those little gizmos and gadgets. Step Yes, there we go. We'll clip this into the back and it'll hide all this stuff away. There we go. Fold it down. Boom. Easy peasy. Wow. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Really coming together now. Really coming together. I don't need any more of these orange pieces. Seems like a lot of leftover orange pieces. All right. Step bags number 48 and 47, 47, 48, but only two bags, so this shouldn't take too long. I'd rather it be like digestible, two bags at a time, it moves quicker. I sent you a text on Discord and I sent you a pic of mine. If you get the chance, please view it. I would really appreciate it. cat. <coughs> I don't know where it is. <coughs> this is weird. Look at this piece. That's crazy. Wow. All right. Barely any organization here. Oh, there's two of those pieces. red lights <clears throat> all right no more organization needed there's barely any pieces on this section let's just knock it out Yeah. 
I'll see you on Monday. Have a great time. My oh, goodness. Bye bye. Stay safe. Oh, really? <laughs> That's really great. Thank you. Bye bye. <coughs> Keys. Yeah. Um, just leave it here. Yeah. There's no need. Yeah, yeah. Good thing you thought. I'll make sure to lock the door later. Oh, good. Bye bye. fellas got the house to ourselves <laughs> uh, yeah Peggy just went away uh, for the weekend to Minneapolis so that's just me in the house building for the rest of the night right step number five six eight I'm gonna take a break in a second and chat to the chat to you all because I've been absent from the chat just head down building. Just finishing off. Yeah, there we go. All right, how are we all doing? Hey, Inex Warrior. Good to see you here, brother. Two dollars. I'm here, Simon. That cyber truck is dope. Love the vids. Hell yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you, man. Long time. Simon, you have a huge, huge ass. What? Co charity. I repeat, co charity. You have received money, Simon. I appreciate it. That's so good. A donation alarm clock. That's great. It's great. Honestly, that's really helpful. It's really helpful. I would never want to miss a donation. <sighs> Thank you, Ionex Warrior. Appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. It's eight hours and 47 minutes. We're almost on the nine hour mark. And we're just still going. We're just still going. I'm not exactly happy about it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm gonna rest tomorrow. Gonna rest tomorrow. Two of those, one of those, one of those. Boiler's making a noise now. Silence, boiler. Silence yourself. You will not make noise on this live stream. We've already had too many noise interruptions. It's the wrong way around. No. All right, third time's the charm. Boom. Let's bring the camera around. Billy is in the driver's seat. Yeah. <coughs> no, the the driver's seat's here. Yeah. The grunt's cruising. Master Chief is in the passenger seat. <coughs> <coughs> This stream, this live stream has been demonetized by YouTube. 
which is ridiculous. It says it's not appropriate content. I wonder if it's because I mentioned the, uh, the certain uh, virus word. I wonder if it's because I mentioned that and they just like hammered down on that. Because it's so ridiculous saying this video can't be monetized just because um, I mentioned that word, which would be so crazy. Uh, it says it's being reviewed still. That's so weird. TB cat level, I'm level 35. <coughs> also, Simon has a huge ass. <laughs> Don't know what huge ass is. Dang it. Ooh. Ooh, oh, there we go. Missing a piece then, but no, we found, oh no. That's not the right piece. Uh oh. Hmm. We are missing a sloped piece. Uh oh. All the all these ones I have are. Too stubby. All right, it's what is it? Bag forty-seven and forty-eight. Is that it? Yeah, forty-seven and forty-eight. Oh god, there's so many bags on the floor. <coughs> I don't know which one's forty-seven. There's too many. There's too many bags. Oh no. <laughs> oh, there's too many banks to tell which one 47 is. Forty-seven, where are you? I've been pretty uh, thorough with my searching or like ripping apart bags to make sure there's nothing left inside, but who knows? Missing the piece? Is it truly missing? <coughs> Usually it just ends up right in front of me. But uh, it doesn't seem that way. It does seem like that piece might actually be missing. It's not an essential piece, and we could replace it with a, uh, a more stubby one. But it's not ideal. I would still rather have the actual piece. Mm, seems like they're all stubby versions. There's so many stubby ones left over. By stubby, I know I'm rambling. Ah, it's right there! I knew it. I knew it would be right there. There we go. That's what I meant. Stubby is like, uh, you know, less angled. All right, the show goes on. The fight goes on. We have not lost yet. So let's uh, let's keep on at it. Let's keep on at it. Okay. And then we got to build the rest of it. All right, fellas. Um, who's the strongest Halo character apart from the Master Chief? Who's the strongest Halo character? Is there anyone you think could beat the Master Chief in a fight? Do you think the Master Chief would have beaten Atriox first time if he'd found him in that lair? Or did Atriox just have the crazy element of surprise? Look at 
this bad boy. Oof. The marine who didn't get infected by the flood. Nice. You can level up in Halo Infinite. Yeah, Halo Infinite's uh, getting better. The progression is way better now. Look at this bad boy. Slap this on the back. Here we go. Put that in. Woo, baby. Oh, look at that. These little... Look at that. It clips onto those little hooks. Whoa. That is one heck of a trunk. <coughs> <coughs> Step 579 complete. Oh, did I? It's weird. Hmm. Did I miss a load of sections out? Yeah, it's like a... Wow, I missed a lot out, didn't I? What happened? I didn't use any of these. Oh, okay, we insert these together. two pieces slap together and then I guess that's it yeah and then wow, so this was not finished at all <laughs> I don't know what happened there I like glossed over so many steps so pop that in there like that Whoa, I guess this like slides up and down. That's pretty, pretty, pretty radical, man. Whoa. Okay, there we go. So. Okay, hold that in place. And then we build the rest. I, I like, honestly, I glossed over so many steps then. It's kind of, kind of embarrassing. <laughs> It's a wild world. Okay. silver and then it seems like we lock this on the back so this is really interesting this is free right now this is this is moving around and this slides up and down and it seems we just pop this in seen something like that in Mega Constructs before. Wow, that's, that almost seems like an optical illusion. Whew. Wow. That is something else. Craig is definitely the strongest. <laughs> yeah, okay. that's it so now we'll add this back on now it's actually complete and if we clip it in ready ready uh oh oh yeah okay ready so this folds down up and down and then also whack! that's gonna probably make some kind of retractable roof I don't really know what's going on but it looks awesome. Looks very well designed. I trust you, Elon Musk. 
You're gonna make this. You're gonna make this good. You're gonna make this beautiful. Okay. Right. This should be a piece of cake because there's barely any pieces left. Ooh, baby, baby. Assigning every piece to its section because you can literally just pick up a piece and find out where it pops down because there's barely any left. This one goes here. This one goes here. This guy. Let's do it. Ah, and you also need one of those. Okay. Is anyone playing Halo Infinite while this stream is going on? <laughs> if so, yes. Do it. Do it. <laughs> ah, that's so many. <clears throat> ah. <clears throat> that's so many steps. It's so many steps. Baby, it's a wild world. I have no idea what these are. <laughs> Random things we're building. Sticks, what is thy purpose? What is thy purpose on thy build? Okay. Jerry Houston! You're like the Energizer Bunny. <laughs> ah! Yeah. It's pretty crazy. Okay. Let's open up those doors. And find out where these pop in. They're like... Strange... Okay, there we go. Oh no. Oh, that's awkward. Get back up! <laughs> Literally the stud just like, sloped down, now it's out of reach. Dang it, I don't want to take out a door just to pull this thing up. No, I pushed it further down. No! Do I have to really, do I really have to take the door out? Ah. Ah, I hate it, I hate it. I hate that I just took the door out just to get this little bit to go in. Get back up, man. Come on. That's not cool. In front of the live stream? That's just rude. Okay, there we go. So, that goes up, and this goes in. Alright, there we go. This weird 
foldable thing. I assume this is all to build the roof. I assume. And then the other one on the other side. There we go. Okay. Those two sticks are in. The sticks have landed. The sticks are docked. Uh, Jerry Houston, thank you very much for the donation, brother. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate you. <laughs> that cyber truck is bigger than my NMPD Mega Pelican. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a big, big cyber truck. It's a big, big cyber truck. Okay. Where are we going? What's the plan here? Dock this door back in. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, oh geez. It ain't easy. It's gotta be done. Gosh, right. What side does that goes in number one and three? This is like so awkward. You gotta get like three different bits docked in at the same time. Go on, go on, lad. Go on, my son. Go on, my son. Did it do it? Yes? Yes! No! <laughs> Almost. Just one little piece. Missing? Very nice! The door is back. Very nice! Got the door. It's back in. Okay. Right. Is it fully back in? Yeah. Okay. Okay. We got the doors back in. There it is. Unbelievable, honestly. Unbelievable. And we just put these little sticks in. You know, that's not... That's not right, is it? Ah, oh, it's missing a piece. Ah! Out you go. You misbehave one more time, you go in and time out. You hear me? little piece is the easy one there we go okay that is truly finished that is truly all the seats are in right I can relax again okay 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 okay, okay. right sticks are in now Oh, this is gonna be a big one, fellas. Step or bags 49, 50, 51, 52. That's a lot. Forty-nine fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two. Absolutely mad. Some nice printed detailings there. Whoa! Oh god. Whoa. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of pieces! That's a lot of pieces! 
That's a lot of pieces, man. It's a lot of pieces. Is it too many pieces? I think so. All right. Let's um get the jazz back on. I need the jazz in my life. All right. How many bags are there? Uh, Daniel, this is the third and final box. And there are three, four, five, six, seven bags after these. So that's like kind of digestible. Could be worse. I mean, obviously it could be worse. Let's uh, get these out. Get out of here, box. I don't want to look at you anymore. I won't even look at you. I'm sick of seeing you. Sick of seeing your face around here. <coughs> What's the first thing we do when we open the box? Your bags, we sort them out. Because a happy builder is an organized builder. You can put that on a t-shirt. I might one day put that on a t-shirt. Happy Builder is an organized builder. Put that on a t-shirt, sir. Slap it on a t-shirt. So it seems like, in my best guess, I think all these bags will be building the full frame of the roof. I think that's a fair assumption. Shout out to all the uh, <coughs> the great lads sticking with the stream. How you doing? If you thought Master Chief shoots his weapon was a real spoiler, you are special. Wow. <laughs> Look at this weird, weird piece. I would say the pink Spartan minifigures. Oh, Chunky Chief. Watch out, everybody. Chunky Chief's in the building. He tracks down spammers like a, a drug hound. Also, we got loads of translucent pieces here. Again, maybe maybe for a sunroof, perhaps. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. So many, wow, so many flat pieces. So many. Gosh, honestly, <coughs> half this bag is flat, long pieces. Gosh, I might have to even just organize quickly all the different flat pieces by length of length of flat piece because there are so many. There are so many. There's like fifty. <gasps> oh, what's happening? Also, loads of these weird pieces. Lots of them at this point. Oh gosh, what's happening, man? What's happening? Really, really large amount from this. Uh, the, these bags. Mind you, we did open four bags. I think that's the first time we've ever opened four bags at once. I think. At least the organization on this is pretty easy because it's just like hundreds of the same pieces. chat i have some amazing news there's a reboot of animorphosis and mega constructs is making an animorphs set line i don't know what animorphs is to be honest with you but i'm not american so maybe that passed me by but still if you're hyped about it then hell yeah cue everybody saying you don't know what animorphs is oh my goodness where have you been all your life? <sighs> mm. 
Mega Constructs must have been disappointed when they saw that the Masters of the Universe TV show uh, sort of tanked. Like the reboot, they must have been gutted because they probably wanted to make a lot of sets uh, and then sort of said, ah, probably not. If people really don't like it, probably not going to make a load of sets. I'm really interested in printed detail in this. I don't know what these are. Last thing I'm gonna do <coughs> is give these uh, these flat pieces a quick sort out because there are so many that I know it's gonna be time saving to sort out the length of them so we can quickly access them. It's just forward thinking, guys. It's just forward planning. It's all it bottles down to. I wonder who was actually brought here this morning from the video showing me unboxing the mystery package that Mega Constructs had sent me. And then they came to this stream after that. And never left! It has been a wild ride. <laughs> uh, the fact that some people would stick with the stream for so long is unreal dedication. I love it. I love it. Organized all the pieces and we're officially more than nine hours into the stream ah! Ah! <coughs> <coughs> whoa whoa okay let's rock it let's rock Hunter is like not your average Spartan smell like a kaiju in Spartan armor. Ooh. Okay, um, I'm getting carried away immediately by not organizing each lot of pieces. But I'll just finish this step real quick, and then I'll organize my pieces properly. All right. Let's do it. I want to do like all sorts of goofy live streams, honestly. Like, I want to just branch out and do really funny stuff. Like, I would love to do cooking with the domain where we just like try and make like make like halo themed food <laughs> just i want to i want to goof around with you guys more um definitely it's one of, it's something i want to develop just just really really funny live streams like really comedic live streams why am i struggling <laughs> Why am I struggling to find these pieces? Right, come on, get it together. Get it together, man. You got a Tesla to finish. You 
can't be faulting, faults, foldering, fuddlings, fid, f uh, f fussing. <coughs> oh dear. Brains starting to shut down, fellas. It's happening. I must keep on going. For the sake of the multiverse. <laughs> what, the heck am I, what the heck am I talking about? <coughs> what you talking about, Simon? What you talking about, Simon? What you talking about? You going crazy. I don't know if you guys have used the new uh, app. If you go to xbox.com slash become, you can put your face in the Master Chief's armor. It's really dope. <coughs> <coughs> okay. This will take me to step 600. Let's go. This is a really weird section. Oh dear. What is going on? Why is that not joined up? <clears throat> a very subtle difference but cost me a little bit of time and wait six long okay so that does go off the other end and go change the other side out nice there we go that's what it's meant to be dude it's the arbiter chunky chief fight him <laughs> why can't I leave the stream what <laughs> You can most definitely leave the stream by closing your browser, brother. Okay. Maybe it's a really complicated section, or maybe Simon's getting tired of losing some brain cells. But uh, it seems like <coughs> I'm making a few mistakes. Better not slip up now. You can do it. Stay in the game.
keeping on trucking. <clears throat> hey chat, who would win? Mecha SCP? What the heck is that? I don't know what that is. Hey, what's up, Brayden? How you doing? We are on step... <coughs> My goodness. Step 596. Ah, goodness me. 596. Let's get it. Let's go. This has to be the roof, man. And I'm guessing there's going to be a glass ceiling. All right, that is step 600 done. 600, guys. 600 out of 775. We're going to get it done. We're going to get it done. Nine and a half hours in. We're going to get this thing done. I'm going to take a one minute break to stretch out. But step 600, guys. Let's do it. See you. Sweet profits. What is going on? <laughs> Step 600. I am like quite honestly mad for trying to finish this in one day. Or not trying, finishing this in one day. I am quite honestly mad. I don't think it's a good idea in any way, shape, or form. Uh, <laughs> it's it's like really not. I shouldn't do I shouldn't do it. I shouldn't do it. But here we are. There will be 
much celebrating and rejoicing once it's finished. And this just keeps on getting extended, actually. This just keeps on going. Let's uh, bring it up a little bit. Whoa! God, there's so much... There's so much... Ah! See, um, I've, I've covered this, uh, this tripod in blue tack. Uh, in tack. To secure it, because... Uh, it's not having a good day. It's very broken. Welcome to our new YouTube subscriber, Little Shaggy 420 How you doing, buddy? Hope you're having a great day. We passed step 420 a long time ago. <laughs> okay, everybody. Let's keep <coughs> the party going. Okay. This needs to be one more that way. And then keep on building forward. It's um, it's got a really crazy length to it. This. Wow. Simon, show a pic of my custom on stream. Just kidding. Uh, I would if I could, but uh, I'm so preoccupied, my dude. I gotta stay focused. Gotta stay focused, gotta stay building. That's the only way to finish this. Finish what we started. We have to finish this together. Above all else. Yes. Whatever this is. Whatever this is. Chunky Chief, are you still watching us be idiots? <laughs> uh, uh, no no one disliked. Uh, Chunky Chief sadly yes. Chunky Chief, you don't have to watch, bro. Chill, man. It's all good. It's only a matter of time until the stream gets a little crazy. I mean, these people... You gotta give them some credit. They've been here for a long time. <laughs> been here for a long time. They have permission to be a little bit loopy after this long. Okay. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Hmm. Four by one. There we go. We're all sleep deprived and dehydrated. Why are you dehydrated, man? Just go and get a drink. <laughs> you ain't de you're not dehydrated on my, that's not my fault. <laughs> that's just cause you're not drinking. Go and get a drink. All right, step 605. Let's go. Let's go. Just interesting because I think the other side. Oh no, it's meant to be like that. It's like not uh, the same. It's not mirrored correctly, but it's meant to be like that. Kill me or release me, parasite, but do not waste my time with talk. Such a great line. The arbiter, like, staring down that parasite is just like not even phased.
Okay, cool. Onwards. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a big fan of um, Sigma memes. <laughs> They're just so funny to me. I'm sure some of you are fans of those memes as well. Alright, that's looking really nice at the back there. Seems like a parasite to me. So on my Xbox, Halo MCC takes up perfectly 117 space. That's dope, man. <laughs> That's dope. Alright. Hey Simon, say Kid Among Us backwards. What? Arbiter, he already fell for Joe. So anyone want to be infected by the flood? No, thank you. No, thank you. I do not want to be infected by the flood. That's like pretty much the bottom of my to-do list. Pretty much the absolute bottom of my to-do list. It's really cool having all these uh, these translucent pieces of all different shapes and sizes. Chunky Chief, that's uh, a little too inappropriate for even you to be posting on the the, uh, the live stream comments. <laughs> Step six hundred and eight done. Get those translucent pieces on the other side. Okay, that's really nice. That's really nice. And then... One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, the surge of these flat pieces begins. There's going to be so many of these flat pieces laid down now. I have like 100. So how is the boys doing, Simon? Exodroid. I'm doing all right, my friend, but geez, this is a, a long, long build. And uh, I've been going for almost 10 hours, which I cannot really believe. Like, I, I actually can't believe that number. It seems like way too long. It seems like I've not been doing it for that long. But uh, the numbers don't lie. That is, that is the truth. I just can't believe I've been doing it for nearly 10 hours. Like, I cannot believe that. That's actually kind of... It's actually... That's actually really ridiculous that I've nearly been doing this for 10 hours. Connor Dickinson, good to see ya. I'm doing well, but we're building this Tesla Cybertruck and it's taking 10 hours. And, that, like, that's actually a crazy number. Like, that is actually an absurd number. Wow, 10 hours, jeez. It's not 10 hours just yet, but it's definitely gonna be very soon.
Alright. It's looking like a flat boy now. Looking like a flat boy. Keep me saying, guys. Keep the questions rolling. Ask me some ask me some proper questions. Um I'd love to answer anything that keeps my mind sane at this weird hour. Step 615. Jeez. Step 615. Insert that in there. What do you think of the cat ear helmet in Halo Infinite? Bro, I think it's fun. Whatever. Like, I don't, I, I don't care. I don't care. I, I would wear it just for the fun of it. You know what I mean? Like, it's just whatever. Um, let, you know, let people express themselves and be fun in whatever way they want in Halo Infinite. Doesn't matter to me. Shouldn't really matter to anyone else, but, uh, some people get bothered by these things. Okay. Seems like that needs to go off the side there. Okay. Transfer it to a cup and drink. We are all dehydrated. <laughs> yes, I need to do... I need to draw the winner of the next blind bag giveaway. Definitely. This is all very strange. But we're layering this on top. It's got like a thin gap in the middle. Step number 619, done. Step 620, let's get it. Okay. <clears throat> let's get it, come on. Wow. section have a mope of craig boys in the back i might uh yeah i might definitely pimp this out with like tons of craigs it's definitely something i might do that sounds like the kind of goofy shenanigans i like to get up to to there. Right in the middle. Yep. Okay. Some kind of weird roof. I'm very excited to see how this develops. I've no idea really. Seems strange, but... Uh, 
I want to come and meet you, Simon. Exo Droid, I think we're gonna do a meet up in the Mall of America. First and foremost, in Minnesota. Then maybe somewhere else in the future. I think I'll do a meetup in the UK once I'm back in the UK. Definitely an easy thing for me to do. The UK is like also anyone in the UK can travel anywhere in the UK. That's the that's the genius of the UK, you know what I mean? The genius of the UK. Everywhere is accessible. That's why I love it so much. This is this is the weirdest bit. This little screen, but I mean, I think it'll become apparent. Also, what up, everybody? That's the most people we've had on the stream so far. I hope you're all having a great evening. Uh, I know, like my peak concurrence on YouTube is around this time. Whoa, whoa! The next step, you need twenty-six of these things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26! What? <coughs> what? That's crazy. What do we even do with all those? Oh, wow. So they, they connect together. I've never seen these before. So they're like this weird piece and they connect together. Whoa. Whoa, that's brand new. I've never seen something like that before. And we can just start connecting these together like mad. Whoa, so they make like a little... Oh, they're crazy. Four, five, six, seven. Yo, this is gonna make some kind of like retractable roof. And that's really dope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Yo, what the heck? Look at that, man. Whoa, it's like a caterpillar track. That's crazy. When do you think the Lego Banished Phantom is coming? Uh, it ain't Lego, bro. Um, it's coming soon. Uh, it'll probably release in spring or maybe summer of next year. It's gonna be a while, but it's coming. Mega Constructs must be so excited about Halo Infinite, man. Like, it's it's a return to the golden age of Halo. Like, it's, it's so great. Wow. This is awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> That's amazing. And then we sandwich them all together. <clears throat> it's six. Six, uh, it makes it look like it's black, but there's no black ones, so it must be. Wow. So that'll sandwich them together, but it'll just make some ultimate caterpillar track. Four, five, six. Whoa! That is the coolest innovation in Mega I've seen. That's so dope. And then even more. So how many was I meant to put on? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh wow. I put on way too little. Yeah, so cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Are you sure it's thirteen? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's weird. Oh? 
Do we need one more? We're missing one? Oh no, it's there. That's good. That's a bit dangerous, Mega only provide Like in case in case there's a missing piece from the bag, there's a replacement, you know what I mean? But uh no, not with this one. Wow, so this has made honestly like a really crazy piece. I'll show you now. This has made something really crazy. Look at this thing. It's honestly like a caterpillar track. Wow. Can you have your parents on a call and we can talk to them, please? We miss them. What the heck are you talking about, man? Has this has the has the chat dissolved into chaos? Um, so, Simon, are you my dad? <laughs> I'm afraid not. Um, guys, I don't know what's going on. It's probably just you guys having fun, so please continue to have fun. But, uh, if you did upset my admin, then, uh, please respect Chunky Chief. Because, uh, he feels a lot of responsibility to this, to being an admin, and, uh, you just gotta give him respect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow, gotta build another really big section here. Jeez. Oh wow, I've literally gotta pop that on. Put these two, put these uh, two pieces together. Twelve times. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then gotta put them all on my, my caterpillar track. Is that right? Yeah, so there's a gap. One, two, three, four, five. This is actually crazy. Like, this is honestly so crazy, this roof. This might be like a separate video just talking about this roof, man. Wow. Like, the rest of the build has been, like, really cool, and, like, there's been some... I'm sure the suspension's gonna be really impressive and the seats are really dope, even though they took too long. But this is like, <clears throat> I've never seen something like this before. So, really impressed with this so far. I assume we're just about to do the exact same with the other side. Son. Okay. Pretty insane. Wow. That seems like something out of science fiction, man. <laughs> Honestly, that's really outrageous. Really outrageous. And we're gonna get the other side done. Twelve of these bad boys again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, wow, oh my goodness.
this. I can't believe this thing. I cannot believe this thing. Twelve. Look at this! What is that? What is that, man? What? Ah. Right. And then... Crazy roof. Crazy roof. It kind of looks like a garage door. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. It does actually look like a garage door. Alright, that was a very long few sections. But, honestly, so crazy. So, it makes it look like this whole... <laughs> let's call it the garage door. It makes it look like it slots underneath this, like in this little, so there's like a crevasse, like a little hole, <laughs> crevasse is a, uh, a yeah, dramatic word, but there's like a slit and it looks like it slots in there, maybe, yeah. Like I said, what's that? Gosh, that is crazy. That is crazy. Okay. I think that's it. Oh my gosh, it's going on. It's going on. Okay. So it looks like clip straight. Oh, ah, came straight out. I guess it's easy to slot out. Not once it's clipped in, though. Okay. Let's get her on. And we are 30 seconds away from the 10-hour mark. Can I believe I'm saying that? But that's where we're up to. Ugh. Come on. Okay. Wow, that just clipped straight on. And I guess this also clips in there. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yo, what on earth? Look, <gasps> what? No. Are you, what was, what is that? Oh my God. That is crazy. Is that not like the craziest? Yo. That's so cool, man. Literally just like tread by tread, man. Like tread by tread that just dissolves away. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's incredible. Like the rest of the build has been cool and then like everything's slotted together, but that is incredible. The fact that, that can that can pop up at the back. 
Whoever designed that, yeah, Frosty Ape, whoever designed this is a genius. Guys, can we get the stream to 117 likes? We're on 115. Guys, 117 likes. We can do it. We can do it. Gotta get 117 likes for the 10 hour stream. We just hit 10 hours, man. 10 hours. Oh. This is unreal. I can't believe that. That is unreal. I've never seen something like that in my life. Okay. Step number six, three, two. And then we're probably gonna start a new bag in a second. Wow. Wow. So we're gonna layer, layer these down. Let's finish off these bags, and that is a cause for celebration. Damn, I have never seen something like that before. That's so crazy, that design. Makes me feel privileged to be able to build this thing. I mean, it's been a bit of a slug at times. Like, this has been an intense experience. We are on the 10 hour mark, but that was really cool, man. Um, I'm happy to whoever was able to experience that with me. That was really cool. Okay. Let's lock this top piece off. Ooh. Gotta have it on the outside. Ah, oh, that's gonna take everything apart. off the roof wow does that just like no maybe that maybe it doesn't oh whoa is that enough doesn't seem like enough to be able to oh yeah i'm missing some bits there we go and now that should slot in a bit better I don't really know how that is meant to like actually clip in. Oops. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh, I heard I heard something come off. No? into quite the experience I yeah I can't believe how this has come together this is really exciting at this point let's try and get that on better it's actually it's very hard to get it on because you can't put your hand underneath it because that roof is already there oh hold on no can you no I don't think you can lift this roof really Okay, that's fine. So we pop that in. Whoa! Outrageous. That is the craziest thing I've ever seen. 
on uh, any toy, period. Like, that's awesome. That's so cool. Okay. That is step 637 done. Let's put a... Let's flip around. Oh, she's a really hefty girl now. And let's pop a uh, little grunt in the uh, passenger seat. Master Chief in the driver's seat. Pop them in there. You can uh, have a look at these doors coming out. There we go. Oy, oy. Why did... But the door come in. What, why did the door come off? Whoa, that was random. Door just like yeeted off. Come on, door. We've had it. We've had enough door drama in this video. We don't need more doors coming off okay let's just close them for now because clearly clearly the doors are not happy <laughs> this, this part just flew off as well uh, where did the piece go there we go all right enough with the soup guys come on <laughs> We got a lot of viewers right now. We don't we don't want to see soup. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. Step number six three eight requires three new bags. Yeah, we are all done with those bags. Let's tear open 53, 54, 55. We are. Hey, we just passed the 10 hour mark. Wow. Wow, this is also a really big bag. Thankfully, it's just paper. No plastic waste here. Honestly, if Mega Constructs could just really go hard on uh, the lack of plastic, that'd be so dope. I'd be so happy with that. Guys, we just hit uh, step number 638 and the 10 hour mark. I'm gonna take a one minute break. Don't go anywhere, I'll be back in just a second. You know the music, time to dance. Step number 638. First, we gotta organize our bricks. You know us. We're not gonna uh, just jump straight into a section of the build. Every time we open our bags, we gotta sort our bricks. 
and saw the bricks. It's uh, it's honestly like a really important thing. I know I keep on hammering home about hammering home about it. I'm losing my words. We've been here for ten hours. No, um, it is very important to organize your bricks. Yeah, wow, <laughs> ten hours. Wow, ten hours. Woof. Wow. What's honestly okay. Um, when have I, let's, let's have a look at my channel for a second. When have I streamed for that long? Um, I did, okay, hour and a half, no. Um, what is the longest stream I've done? Was it the watching the Halo Infinite trailer 117 times? Um, cause I haven't broke crazy view uh crazy uh crazy hours for a long time oh yeah so 11 uh 11 hours 55 minutes which was the watching the discover hope trailer 117 times that was 11 hours 55 minutes before that um i think the only other crazy live stream was the pelican live stream and that was nine and a half hours so i think the uh yeah i think watching the 117 trailer uh watching the halo infinite trailer 117 times i think that was the craziest so where's the pelican i'm trying to see the pelican live stream i don't really see it um oh yeah there it is nine and a half yeah nine hours 21 minutes so the record is 11 hours 55. also in uh, just a month's time on January 5th, I think it's 5th, maybe 9th, uh, in January, it's my 10 year anniversary on YouTube. 10 years. So that will be a big one. We've been live streaming now for 10 hours 13. If we want to break the record, we've got to do another hour and a half. It might happen. What time is it now? It's for me, it's 9 p.m., 20 past nine in the evening. Let's see what happens, boys. Ugh, crazier things have happened. Let's just get on with this thing. Um, I I saw a a, a comment about my dedication. Uh, yeah, bro. Uh, let me let me tell you. Let me tell you. Um, if you want to succeed in this life, find something and be completely dedicated to it. Doesn't even matter if it fails. Just be one hundred percent dedicated, and it. Uh, and good things will come your way. You know, th there's a lot of people, they say, well, Simon, you don't have an enough subscribers. You don't have enough views to go full time on YouTube. And I say, yeah, you're right. I don't right now, but maybe in a year's time I do. And the only way I'm going to get to that point in a year's time is if I go full time on YouTube. Like, um, it's, it, it, it's, it's just all the evidence is there right so i um when i was in england i started like youtubing a lot more and then i moved to hong kong or i moved back to hong kong i've been there before but um i moved back to hong kong and i was doing youtube part-time i was doing youtube um three days a week and i was teaching three days a week and that was good but i always said to myself i was like well the growth can only go so far because I'm still teaching. And when I when uh, I traveled to America, I arrived in America a month ago, and the growth in the last month has been crazy because you have to give it your entire body and soul if you want it to succeed. So I don't know where I'm going with this. Maybe I'm just rambling. Maybe it's the fact that I've been going for 10 hours and I'm feeling pretty, uh, pretty, proud of myself in terms of like yeah this is dedication man like you gotta you gotta dedicate yourself to things you gotta put down the time when there's something you want you just gotta put down the time and show people that you want it i know that's a funny thing considering all i'm doing is building a tesla but you get what i mean if you're dedicated to something things will start looking up for you if you put in the time um, and obviously putting in the time in this lifetime is, is really difficult because, uh, you know, uh, the way society's worked where we have to work and we have to earn money 
Um, but it's all about it's all about putting in that initial that, that initial time and that initial investment. If you can if you can uh, put down the initial time for growth, the initial dedication, then things are going to work out for you. End monologue. <laughs> you speak my mind. I, I don't know. My gosh. Very wise. Seven is so wise. <laughs> Bro, I'm just like, you know, I, 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 I'm honestly, you know, you, you want to know the honest thing? Cause like I, uh, you know, I put on like a, like a, like a professional, professional ish face with YouTube, but I am currently, currently at this moment, I am ecstatic with the progress that's being made on YouTube. Like I am like so driven right now. Because I've been making YouTube videos for just short of 10 years. And I've always had it at the back of my mind, you know, like, if I really go for this, can I do it? Can I make enough money to make a living? Can I really go in? And uh, it's always been like, you know, you second guess yourself. You don't really know what's going to happen. You don't know if it's going to work out. And the last... The last month like we left Hong Kong and now I'm making YouTube videos uh, full-time and the growth is huge the since I moved uh, to or since I arrived in America and since I just made video I make it videos every single day for the last 30 days and it's really exciting like it's it's actually going really well which is just like yeah, I'm, I'm actually, like, I play it off, I play it cool, but, like, I'm actually shaking with excitement right now. Because, um, the second I went full-time with it, it's, <coughs> it suddenly started to evolve like crazy. And even, <coughs> like, I've had COVID for the last, uh, 10 days, but it hasn't stopped me, bro. Like, I'm, I'm just, like, I'm still going harder than ever. Um. Obviously, I'm resting as much as I can. I'm not resting right now because I've been building this for 10 hours. But you got to know when to rest and when to put up a good fight. So, yeah. Um, to conclude all that, it, it, it's, it's like, it, it's, like it's, been, it's been will he, won't he for like the last year. And now I'm in America and I'm doing this full time and everything is like popping off which is just really exciting, really exciting. Like, um, I was on an average of gaining about 350, 400 subscribers every 30 days. Now I'm on 850. Uh, you, and yeah, my views were averaging about um, 140K. Now they're on 280K. So it's really exciting. Um, what new videos you got lined up? Jerry Houston, my guy, good to see you. Uh, what new videos have I got lined up? Um, first of all, I want to uh, open your parcel on, uh, on a video really soon. Um, in terms of what I've got lined up, um, in terms of what I've got pre-recorded, I have a travel blocks where I met with this guy, Matthew, that you've seen before. He was a huge uh, Halo collector in Hong Kong, and I met with him on several different videos, maybe three or four. I got one more travel blocks where I meet with him and I buy, I think, like 50 Halo heroes. So that's got to come out. Um, anything else that I've pre-recorded? I've got a tutorial on how to get a couple more of the armor coatings and collectibles from Halo Infinite. I've got um, a video where we we go on, we download the, me and my buddy, Kellen, we download the app DoorDash, and then we go around uh, delivering food, and then we use the money to buy some Halo. So that's coming up. That, that's been recorded for a long time now. Just uh, haven't got it out yet. And then, um, really, I'm building up to launching uh, my new YouTube channel in the next, um, it's probably gonna be at the start of next year, 
once I like I need to be in a like a really good setup with a really good microphone to uh, to, to do this series but I'm starting a, a new YouTube channel called over analyzing halo where every episode I take one of the mission cutscenes from one of the games I'm gonna start with halo wars then reach one two three ODST four five infinite and each episode they're just bite-sized episodes and each episode I analyze all of the cutscenes from a certain mission from a game and it's like sarcastic commentary on like uh, the animations and the lore and the voice lines and the characters in general um, so it's gonna be cool have you been craving any soup lately Simon <laughs> I love chicken noodle soup bro. I love chicken noodle soup in terms of it so uh, that's that's uh, that's a question that's like actually uh, yes I have been craving a lot of uh, soup I've been craving Hong Kong soup because obviously like I'm out of Hong Kong now and I miss Hong Kong soup they have a thing called um, uh, just basically like soup noodles um, where like it's a it's a like maybe like a beef broth and um, loads of different vegetables and uh, you can choose like the different kinds of noodles. Uh, it's actually it appears on one of my travel blocks uh, episodes where I just um, yeah buy a bowl of noodles. It's on one of them. Okay, what's uh, what's up? He wants the soup. <laughs> he accepted soup. You guys always like. It's always been the it's always been the way. Um, one on earth it's always been the way with these live streams that like once we get like after after like a f like five or six hours people just go a little loopy um yeah it's now 10 now is 23 minutes Whew. and we're on step 643 wow We've been building for a while now. This uh, this this flat section. It's been uh, it's been quite grueling. Building it for a long time. Um, yeah, it's the it's the cover for the it's the hood of the the car. So it's a big piece. Sergeant Johnson died in such a shameful way. What? Sergeant Johnson was a war hero, man. you guys enjoyed my rant about basically just how hyped I am for the future of the domain and the future of just being a content creator I'm just really stoked right now really motivated and that is step 646 here we go click that in Boom! There we go. Oh no! <laughs> what happened? There we go. Awesome. Step 647. 648. Let's go. We've been on these bags for forever. Big uh, sunroof. It's cool because, like, I imagine Tesla, like, they want this Cybertruck to be made by Mega Constructs for collectors, sure. Like, for people that like love the uh, the uh, what's it called, the the pointless company, or. The, the uh, whatever sells the flamethrowers 
they probably want it for like for collectors but also for just cool publicity man like um they must have been a little frustrated uh at the presentation like the reveal of this cyber truck like i know it was like Elon must have known that it was like a bit of a meme, like a bit of a joke, because it is like this big chunky thing uh, that looks like a CE warthog, like a combat evolved warthog. But uh, they must have been disappointed with the the show, with like all the memes that came out of it. But then also memes are good publicity, so I don't know. But um, if you guys saw during the showcase of the uh, Tesla Cybertruck when it was first unveiled to the world. Elon asked uh, one of his engineers to throw a rock at the window to show that it was bulletproof. And he, he throws the rock and it cracks the windshield or cracks the, uh, the, the window. And Elon's like, oh, d don't worry, throw it at the second one. And it cracks the second one as well. But the Tesla Cybertruck owns up to that. The windows come in two styles. You can have the normal window or you can have the cracked window. Like, they own up to the meme, like, which I really, really respect. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, the, the publicity must have been a bit strange at first for this Tesla. So I'm sure they're, they're just, they're, they're building up the hype, you know, they're, they're, they're building up the status. And it's just really exciting that I can be a part of that. Even though this build has been insane, and we're on the nine and a half, the ten and a half hour mark, even though the build has been insane, it's still really exciting, you know, to be just like a part of this. So I'm still, still hella excited about all this. And we've also got the most viewers we've had in the 10 and a half hours. So welcome everybody. Thanks so much for joining. Really cool. All right, so we build <coughs> two of these and yeah, they're gonna hold the sunroof. Let's, uh, let's pump up the Halo 2, eh? Get that Halo 2 soundtrack going. Let me know if it's too loud. <laughs> For those of you who don't know Sam, he was part of the Halo book lore. Yeah, uh, Sam, Sam died early, man. Uh, he died too early. I can't remember who it was. Maybe it was, it was either Linda or Kelly in The Fall of Reach. She gets shot and and dies, but then the, she's put in a cryopod and like left floating through space. So there's, there's some wacky lore involved. Okay. Nice. So we we attach this sunroof onto this. Whoa. And we need, yes, all of these pieces. Yeah, I'll, I'll attach one first. Okay, one, two, three. Simon, I just found some Halo Universe today. Congratulations, Rowan Wolf. Good to see you here. Okay. 
Here we go. Welcome to our new YouTube subscriber, Blitzwing. Welcome to the team. We're about to attach the sunroof on our Tesla Cybertruck. Here we go. center somehow. Nope, just gotta force it on. Whoa, there we go. Wow. You wouldn't even know it was there. Doors open. <laughs> Look at that. Damn, that is so cool. You know, I must say when the when the Tesla, and I think I'll I'll say this in my review, when the Tesla Cybertruck was first announced, I did sort of scoff at it, like why is this like, I knew why it was being built for a collector, but I, I looked at it and I was like, why is this 3,000 pieces? This does not look like 3,000 pieces. But now I'm like, wow. Absolutely it's 3,000 pieces. This is a tank. Also, the door's just, ah, falling apart. Damn. What you doing, door? Oh, yeah. Why are you giving me a hard time? The doors have been giving me a hard time the entire build, to be fair. Okay. Damn, I can't even get inside to fix this properly now. Yeah. Wow. Can you just go on? Can you just not be difficult? There we go. Okay. <coughs> anyway, step 650 complete. No, step 651 complete. All right. The Tesla Cyber Truck is evolving. He's becoming a full truck. Welcome to our new subscriber, Spartan Leader. Ugh. What what squadron are you leader of? It's, it's good to have a. Spartan leader on the team. There we go. Nice. All right. I really want the photos of the 2022 wave of Mega Bloks Halo. The second it comes out, you'll know because I'll post about it. Right. Step 652. Been a fire, you've been assigned to Fire Team Zeta. Fire Team Zeta, now that's a good one. Okay, now we lay these either side. We are on the ten and a half hour mark, Spartans. Step six hundred and fifty four. May God help us all. I guess that is the sunroof. This was the windshield. And the sunroof goes on. Yep. Let's go. Whoa. Gosh dang. That is quite something. My goodness. 
this is unbelievable. <laughs> it's so, like, looks are so deceiving because, yes, it is just like a silver truck. But oh my gosh, it's so crazy, this build. Okay. Let's keep on going, fellas. Step, step 658. And then we've only got four bags left. I feel like the home stretch is imminent. I feel like we're on the, uh, on the victory mile. Which is pretty exciting. I, I honestly, like, I cannot believe we're doing this in one day. I cannot believe it. And I'm almost, because I'm, I'm a bit of a, a crazy guy, I'm almost tempted to just beat our live stream record. Because our live stream record is 11 hours and 40... 11 hours and 55 minutes. So if we stream for another hour 20, then we have beaten our record. Buckle up, fellas! This ain't no easy ride. We're going all in. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. And this is also my first live stream in America. This is my first live stream in a month. And we're doing this nonsense. Gosh. Life is peculiar. Wow, okay. So we're just adding, adding some finishes onto the side of this. Is that meant to be black? Probably. The biggest problem we had when we started this build, which does seem like a lifetime ago now, was the differentiation between the black and the the black and the grey, and I think I still need to switch them out. Yep. Have that as a black piece, and then we're gonna flip it over, I assume. Oh no, we're gonna do some more finishes on this side. Whew. Going 10 hours strong, you dang right, Howling Tester. You're absolutely right. Simon, in your opinion, is America actually as great as the media portrays it? Yes, it is. America. America is honestly outstanding. People, people are kind of laughing at me at this point because I'm going around saying I am yet to find a single negative or in any way aggressive American. I've just had a outstanding time so far. Like I've not come across any of these people that like America, you know, like the media or uh, like uh, foreign news will will condemn like this, this, this small group of Americans, right? Um, that I've not, I've not seen yet. Everyone seems to be really lovely. So I don't know, uh, you know, right now, I have nothing but good things to say about Americans. Nothing but good things. And I hope my uh, opinion doesn't get changed. Sure, like, you're gonna meet some some negative people at some point, but, like, that's life. I honestly am very impressed with everybody I've met so far. And here's the thing, like, in the UK, in England, everyone is, like, nice. You know, everyone's nice. In America, everyone's like, oh, hi, how you doing? Yeah, well, I hope you have a really great day now. Like, wow, that is something else. Next level politeness.
know if these where, where is this gonna clip into it's gonna clip onto the oh no okay that doesn't seem right Attach the wheels soon, and then the other side. Wow, clip on there as well. Wow, and then okay, we're gonna be doing them all the way around, sure. Simon, I'm in America, so you might want to go hunting for Halo Universe. Tower of Ultimate Doom, good to see you here, buddy. Good to see you here. Tower of Ultimate Doom, uh, Brian, I should call you Brian. Brian, I would love to hop on uh, just a Facebook chat and just uh, check in on you real soon. If you would like to just like have a, have a howdy do, then let me know. Shall play the song The Kindergarten March. I'd love to find blind bags. Uh, Tower of Ultimate Doom, I will always hook you up. If you need those Halo Universe blind bags, let me know, buddy. I may have a set coming right now. You know, uh, actually, uh, yeah, Brian, if, if you want, uh, I have two sets of the blind bags coming in the mail. I want to open both of them on a video, but if you would like all of, uh, if you would like a full set afterwards, then let me know. I can send them your way. <laughs> Toys R Us. Toys R Us, man. In in uh, Hong Kong, there are still dozens of Toys R Us. Dozens. Yeah, Toys R Us is still really popular in, popular in Hong Kong. Okay, we fixed the wheel trimmings right the way around uh, the left side. Now, maybe we're going to flip over to the right side. Yep. Over we go. Yeah. Step 662. Let's get it. Tower of Ultimate Doom. Uh, no, it would be my absolute pleasure, bro. My absolute pleasure. Uh, I have two full sets coming in the mail. Um, I will unpackage them both on a video and then throw me some dollar dollar and I will send the full set to you. Um, I can probably post them out to you. They should arrive tomorrow, so I can probably post them out in a couple of days after that. No, it's my absolute pleasure, bro. No problem. Seems like Canada is getting some good releases right now. Seems like Canada's uh, doing all right. You guys got the Razorback early, which is nice. But I know you struggle with blind bags in your area.
I'm working out after the holiday. I've been pretty busy, but yeah, no problem. Um, yeah, it's a revoltable doom. Not a problem. And if you're talking about money, um, I can just send you them and you can just owe me. It's not a problem. I was surprised to review the Razorback first. It was usually like, we're usually like, yeah. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> I got the Razorback. It just arrived in the mail uh, just yesterday, actually. So I'll have a review of that soon. I'll probably build it on a live stream first. I mean, I most definitely will build it on a live stream first. Okay, step 662 is complete. Onwards to step 663. It's gonna be an interesting one when we get to step 666. It's coming. It's coming soon. Been here, you've been there for me a lot, so I'd love to pay back to the uh, Torb Ultimate Doom. Um, it's no worries, bro. Um, I just, I appreciate what you do. I appreciate uh, your content, and uh, I just want to help a friend out. Don't, don't feel like you owe me a single thing. Okay, we got the, the wheel trimmings coming together now. This, oh gosh, I got the, I knocked the microphone there. I'm so hyped about how this is coming together, wow. Here we go. They just, they all slot in so nicely, man. Ah! It's such a dream. Obviously, be like the odd, <laughs> the odd piece that like classically always flicks off in every situation. Step six six four, and then we're on to the next lot of bags, I assume, because we have not got much left. Halo one 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 seven. You're gonna do an all nighter? No, but I think we're gonna try and beat our record. I mean, I think we are gonna beat our record for the longest time live streaming because uh, we're not done yet and we've got to finish. <laughs> so I think we are gonna beat our record. Um, our record is uh, ten hours fifty five. No, eleven hours fifty five minutes, and we're on the ten hour fifty one minute mark now. So that's pretty much exactly an hour until we break our record. Uh, screwball funny videos, thanks for the support, my friend. See you soon. If you pull an all-nighter, I will stay with you. Bro, that's really, really nice of you. It's really nice of you. Peggy's mom, uh, she's a, an air hostess. She's a flight attendant. And she just left for a trip to Amsterdam. And she knows I've been sick, of course. Like, she's been in the same house. I've been in isolation in my bedroom. And she looks at me and she says, Don't overdo it this weekend. And I'm like, No, okay, I won't. And then I... <laughs> 
And then I and then I live stream for like <laughs> uh, eleven hours straight. What the heck? Crazy man, crazy. All right, we got these uh, we got these wheel trimmings done. I think this camera is like slowly falling down. It's like the, tri Ugh, the tripod is so like stuck with blue tack at this point. Alright, um, yeah, what are we up to? Uh, I'll take a break once I break open the next bag. A break once I break the bag. Which is probably the next step, because there are no pieces left. Wow, yeah, finish off that, that, uh, that wheel trimming. And we're on to bag 5, 56, 57, and 58. Wow, this is starting to be way thicker than this is. I'll see you guys in just two minutes time. I'm gonna take a break, just a minute. Don't go anywhere, we're gonna finish this. Welcome back, folks. <laughs> you may see the title of the video has changed. This is no longer a mystery stream. This is building the Mega Constructs Tesla Cybertruck for as long as it takes. As long as it takes. And we're on 10 hours and 55 minutes right now. And somehow, I'm feeling pretty fresh. Somehow. We're, we're just... It's, it's so far in at this point that it's like... What could possibly stop me? So we're opening bag 56, 57, and 58. And that just leaves one, oh, two bags at the end. Yeah, there's two more bags. It's like we're so close. Also, this is a really big bag. Oh yeah, it's got another bag inside. I'm, I'm, uh, it looks dramatic, me like tearing them apart like this, but it's just to make sure there's nothing left inside. Because now that they're not plastic bags, it's very easy to just like have pieces left inside. That's like a, a big problem we've had this evening. Alright. Let's do it. First thing we do is organize our pieces.
Words cannot describe people that have been here for the entire time. The level of dedication is so <laughs> inspiring to me. <laughs> like, uh, honestly. I would have probably, if, if people had just completely disappeared, I would have stopped streaming hours ago. But the fact that people remained just kept me going, man. I cannot believe I'm still going at 11 hours. Ugh, 11 hours. Wow. Just call me motivated, man. That's all you need to do. That's all it is. I'm just a motivated guy. I'm just so hyped to build the Tesla. <laughs> oh, God. We are loyal to you, Simon. Snafu, go to the bathroom, man. Jeez. Jeez. Snafu, come on. You do not need to prove your dedication this way. It's just... That is just strange. enough we can get going now we can get going all right and 20 seconds until the 11 hour mark baby i'm really hyped for it the new white honor guard is awesome man the lights of sanghelios really cool idea really cool Hopefully just like a really dope turning point for Mega Constructs. They're about to just be like the cool kids next door. Just producing these figures and uh, and sets that you just would never have imagined. They would have touched because they're like in the, the obscure lore. Things like that. You know like even them considering making a... Uh, what was he called? Uh, the Brute that never got finished. The Halo Heroes Series 16 Thrall Slayer. Even considering making that is like so. It's pretty Chad, honestly. <laughs> okay. whatever these are. I've uh, gone against my original plan, or my consistent plan of getting together all the pieces for the upcoming steps. I've uh, just ignored that for this section, but whatever. We'll, uh, we'll pick it back up again. And then four of these. 
pretty easy to see. It's nice to see something like red for once. Like everything's just silver and gray and black. Uh, red is nice to see. It's looking good, Domain. Yes, it is just in thrift. Yes, it is. Uh, if you just joined, look at this. Check this out, man. <laughs> he says. Whoa. Where did that go? Crazy, man. So crazy. You're doing good. Thank you, Justin Thrift. <laughs> I'm on step uh, 672. And we're, we're getting it. We're getting it done. I'm going to attach these in now. Nice. Just clipped this uh, this under section here. Just clip that all in. Hey, what's up, Ethan Toy Review? How you doing? Shout out to Ethan and his mother. Just the most lovely human beings. Ethan, we're building the Tesla Cybertruck that Mega Construct sent us, and we're on the 11 hour mark, and it's kind of crazy. Like 11 hours is not what I would not what I would recommend for uh, building. Like it's it's too long, but hey, we're getting it done. If anything, this just shows motivation. That's all. Now we're actually gonna get all the pieces. This time we're actually gonna get all the pieces for this double page, so we can just blitz through it. My phone's about to die. Please forgive my unfair absence. Raspberry T-Man, see you later. Sorry for the uh, the dead phone. How many bags you got left? Jerry, my, my, my guy. Two bags left after this big section here. And we're on uh, step, we're, we're building up, we're on step number 673. We're building all the pieces for the next uh, nine sections. And well, then we're gonna just knock them all out. One after another, quick succession. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Michael Hote, you can leave right now <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> But yes, once uh, we're done with this section, everyone can leave. The stream's over. And yeah, we're about to, uh, we're about 40 minutes away from breaking our live stream record. Our live stream record is 11 hours, 55 minutes. Um, and we're about to break that. We're going to break it. We're gonna hit 12 hours, which it, 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 it's like actually staggering to me because when I started this live stream, in no way, shape or form did I actually expect to finish today. I was like, in the back of my mind, I was like, yeah, if, if, if it all just gets knocked out, then maybe. But I didn't, I, like, I thought I might finish today, but I didn't think I would finish after 12 hours. I thought I would finish after nine. Like, if I was gonna finish, it was gonna be after like nine hours. But this is almost 12 hours and we're still going i don't know where my energy is coming from maybe it's the fact that because of covid i've been locked up in my bedroom for like over a week and i've just been like ready to like get on with the next big project so maybe that's where my motivation is coming from maybe i'm just excited to live stream again it's been over a month and it's just really cool to have like the energy of everyone uh motivating me Many things, whatever it is, <laughs> I shouldn't still be live streaming, but I am, so. <laughs> like, um, PSA health guidance, don't live stream for this long. It's not healthy, but <laughs> I can do it once. I can do it like once in a, once in a blue moon. Mm. 
Okay, let's knock them all out now. That's step six, seven, three. Done. Step six, seven, four. Spoke too soon. Definitely not done. It's a weird step. Step six, seven, four. Done. Six, step six, seven, five. Done. Step six, seven, six. Done. Step six, seven, seven. Done. Step six, seven, eight. Done. Step six, seven, nine. It's done. Step six, eighty. Oh my goodness. Step six hundred and eighty. I've done six hundred and eighty of these right now. Are you serious, man? What is going on? What is going on? Step 690, done. That's too long. Step 681. Done. Wait, wait, wait. Done. Damn. Step 682. Done. Okay. So I assume that's going to go here. And I assume we're going to do an identical one on the other side. Okay, 683, let's get these steps sorted out. The domain is awesome, just in thrift, you are right about that, my guy. The honorable shall vouch for the rest <laughs> Guys, guys, you can take the device into the bathroom. It's not the cave man who invented the rock over here. <laughs> hey, it's Craig the Brute. Craig the Brute's in the chat. What's up, buddy? Good to see you. I can't remember what live stream you created that. Maybe it was the uh, the uh, the twelve hour live stream that you created that account. It's cool you're still using it. Maybe you just changed your name. Okay, step six, eight, three, and six, eight, four is complete okay and we need six more of these pegs wow i, can't, I cannot believe we're about to break our live stream record, 12 hours streaming. And like, I haven't even really taken breaks this time. Like before the, the previous one, I took a lot of big breaks. This one's like, just non-stop. Wow. <laughs> what is going on? Domain forever. Wakanda forever, domain forever. My, honestly, like my fingers are so sore from literally like snapping together 3,000 pieces. Whew. It's been a journey. It's been a journey. There have been some people that like have legitimately stayed 
for the 11 hours. Simon says number. I wonder what's going to happen next. Yes, dude. It's going to probably be the next number. It's going to happen after the, the previous number. Step 685 complete. I'm um, honestly, and like at this point, again, knock on wood, I'm just really happy that there have been no missing pieces still. Really cool. Okay. Okay, 686 complete. Here we go. We're putting it on, boys. Wow. These are gonna clip straight on, that's how. One, two, three. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Incredible. Incredible. All right, it's time to do the exact same again. Ha, Craig the Brute. Big fan of Tower of Ultimate Doom. Yeah, Tower of Ultimate Doom does uh, a whole different review style, man. Like, I, I absolutely love his, uh, his, he does a thing called the Canadian Reviewer. It's so funny, dude. It's, like, so funny. My, like, my, my videos are off script, right? And you can tell they're off script because I stumble sometimes and, like, I repeat my words. Um, and that's just the way I go, which is obviously less professional but um just just the style i've like um found myself fallen into or i found myself fall into um but tower of ultimate doom he scripts every one of his videos and he executes them flawlessly and they're so funny like they're honestly so funny so if anyone's not subscribed to tower of ultimate doom please subscribe for me it's my it's my dying wish of the of the 12 hour stream <laughs> apparently this is a 12 hour stream like i'm so i like honestly i'm i'm in i'm in a state of awestruck that this has turned into a 12 hour stream i did not expect that i did not expect that at all wow weird things are happening weird spooky things spooky things are happening do we have a shorter one there Oh yeah, okay. Need one more. Flat piece. I did scripted reviews as a way to not fumble on my words as I usually do, but it's worked out. Yeah, 100% dude, 100%. You should see the amount of takes I do on a video. It's kind of crazy. I, um, I fumble all the time. All right, six. Am I missing something here? I've done something a little wrong. Oh, no, that seems right. This, uh, this, this whole, like, layering these pieces, these, like, uh, angled pieces, reminds me of the short sword. Um, there's a lot of that involved in the short sword build. Cool, okay. Flip that over. Step number 692. Six, 692. Six, Step 
I was just reminded we should certainly try for another mystery bag rundown soon. Uh, most definitely, most definitely. There's a lot of projects that I'm putting off right now because I'm in uh, a, a bedroom with, with no studio setup. In, um, it, it was gonna be December, but it's probably gonna be January. I'm gonna move into, not move in, but like chill at one of my buddy's houses. And when I'm there, I'll have a really nice setup. And once I have like a studio setup, I'm also gonna be uh, reinvesting a lot of money back into equipment uh, in December. And once I have like a really nice studio microphone, I would love to get that uh, part three of the mystery bags done. Would love to. I just, uh, I'm, I'm holding out on some things right now because, like, I want them to be really, really cool. Okay. That's, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. So this is, oh, it's another piece for this side. So, put that in. Wow. Look at that. Damn. It's just so insanely well built. Like, it's so crazy how well designed this thing is. He says as breaking a piece off. Hold on. There we go. Okay. It's just outstanding how, how well designed this thing is. Like, I'm, 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 I'm so blown away by it. It's absolutely crazy. Okay, uh, step 695. We're going to take a quick two-minute break at step 700. As we do, we take the break on the hour marks. Oh gosh, there's so many of these flat pieces. I will stay till midnight if I must. Uh, it's currently 10.25 here. I don't know what time it is for other um, Americans. But yeah, we're other Americans. I just called myself an American. Oh, that's sweet. That's sweet. I would like to consider myself an American. I know I'm not, but I love America so much. Okay. We're doing just the exact same for the other side, I assume. That's a uh, good assumption. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. 1025 here in Arkansas. Ethan! Good to see you chilling here, buddy. Um, I would very much like to come and say hi uh, to you and your mother at some point in the next year. It would be really cool. I'm hoping to to get a, a road trip going across a lot of different places in America. Um, this will actually excite people a lot. Uh, I don't know. Uh, well, I'm actually sure most people will know this. Yesterday, I received a VIP ticket to New York Toy Fair next year. February next year. New York Toy Fair. So, I'll be heading to New York for February next year for the New York Toy Fair. I'm so excited. Because, like, it's uh, only um, press are allowed. And I got myself in. So, really excited about that. Stop motion maniac, USA, USA, yes. New York Toy Fair, baby. All right.
Now we're gonna flip this huge unit round. He weighs so much now. Oh. And we're gonna clip this on. I can't even see where the clips are, but they just slot in nicely. Yep, you heard that click. That means it's in. Woof. And that concludes step 702. We are on the home stretch. Home stretch, baby. The last step is step 775. So that means there are 70, roughly 70 more steps to go. We are on the home stretch, man. I'm so excited. I cannot believe it. So we're going to take a one minute break so I can just stretch out. And we're going to be back with it. 11 hours and 22 minutes. Let's go, guys. Eleven hours and twenty-four minutes in, we're gonna finish this cyber truck, whatever it takes. And also, after eleven hours twenty-four minutes, we're on our highest view count, thirty-three viewers. Which I know people don't like cyber trucks. All right, uh, Halo uh, sort of viewership would be way higher, but like whatever. We're doing cyber truck. We're doing we're doing a uh, Tesla. I know it's a strange stream, but like guys. You've been with me, over 1100 of you have been with me for the 11 and a half hours. It's been absolutely wild, like I cannot believe we've been going this long. So let's finish this off, fellas. We are on step 703. And there are 70 more steps to go, 72 more steps to go. All right, I'm gonna start as I do by gathering all the pieces together. It's hilarious, but uh, like I, I say I say that about like, um, uh, yeah, like Halo content. So there's, there's actually like a tier system for my channel. If you if you guys want to know the nitty gritty, cause like we're, we're on the 11 hour mark. Anything you ask me, I'll be 100% transparent on like, uh, let's have some real conversation go in for the last half hour. Um, honestly, uh, there is a tier system on this channel. It's like, uh, whatever I talk about, the less relevant to my normal user base, the less views it gets. So it's like, Halo Mega Constructs is the top one. If I make Halo videos, just like general Halo videos, it's way less views. And then if I make general Mega Constructs videos, it's even less. And it's interesting because that's like just the reality of it. But in the last month since I've gone full-time on YouTube, that's changed quite a lot. Like, if I made a general Halo video that was not related to Mega Constructs, usually it would get about 300 views on average, but now it gets about 1,200. So things have changed a lot in the last um, month since I went full-time on YouTube. So things are changing in a really exciting direction. Um, so yeah, we got half an hour left on the stream, guys until I finish the Mega Constructs Tesla Cyber Truck. So if you have any questions, please uh, drop them here. It's about 10.30 at night, so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm up for answering anything really. Let's go. Just gathering all the pieces together. 
<laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm in such disbelief that, uh, that we're, we're so far into the build. I thought I would do, so, um, Peggy's mother, Julie, she's away for two days flying. She's a flight attendant, an air hostess. So I thought I would get most of the build. I, I thought I would get like half the build done today and then another like third before she got back tomorrow. And then I would still have to finish it another day. I thought I would actually finish it off camera. Um, I thought I would definitely like stream some of it and then finish the rest off camera. So like I'm still completely blown away that I'm going to finish this on camera. It's very, very cool. Okay, say hi to, hi Red, uh, hi Hot Rod Studios. How you doing? Good to see you. Say hi to Smudging Studios. Good to see you. What content do you like making the most? That's a very good question, Luminos. Um, very good question. Oh, first of all, hey, uh, Ethan Toy Reviews. What's up, buddy? $2 donation. That's very, very generous of you. Thank you, my friend. It's uh, it's really nice of you. Uh, thank you. And it's it's a pleasure to see you on the stream. I've never seen you on a, a live stream before. So how are you doing? Thank you very much. Um, yeah, that's a really interesting question. What content do you like making the most? Um, so my, my biggest, uh, like joy in terms of uh the domain is uh editing interesting videos like i've i've said like no matter what happens with my halo content i want to be an editor in the in the future like if i if i have to get a full-time job i would love it to be in editing so i really love editing interesting videos and the most interesting videos to edit are usually things like the haul videos. The ones that are, are way uh, more monotonous to edit are reviews. Uh, definitely like blind bag openings because it's just one fixed camera. So blending all the audio gets very tedious. I don't know if you've noticed and um, I actually, to be honest, I think it sets my content aside from other YouTubers, I am very meticulous on blending all of my audio together. So I make sure that uh, there's never like even like half a second gaps between speaking. I make sure I remove those bits and I move the audio to the left. I then fade it out and fade the next one in. So it's very seamless and that takes a long time. Um, so that can get monotonous. My most, uh, the most enjoyable v video I've edited um, in the past month has been the, it's called the Mega Constructs Hall of Legends. It came out about four days ago. It's doing really well. And I just really, I enjoyed editing that video because there was a lot of ambiance in that, in that, uh, in that filming. There were a lot of like tropical birds. We filmed on a, it's, it's not easy to tell because the video is whited out quite heavily because the sunlight is so bright but we filmed it on a rooftop of our friend's house and there were tropical birds like parrots and parakeets flying everywhere there were insects in crazy numbers and um there was that like behind me you can't again can't really see it because it's whited out because the sunlight's so bright but behind me in that video is like ocean, like the South China Sea and massive like million dollar mega yachts. And like, it's it's pretty crazy. Um, so yeah, honestly, like one of my, one of the things I really hope to make in the future is uh, travel videos where I like, yeah, film like by these like mega yachts and like crazy crazy uh, film sets. Okay. Uh, Simon, what state are you in? The state of Minnesota, my friend. The state of Minnesota. 
Has anyone realized that in one scene, Bro Ham Bro has smooth hair, in the next he has a full beard? Yeah, that's because uh, he was stuck on that ship for like, uh, that pelican for at least like a month. Or at least like three or four months, he grew a beard. What's your favorite armor in Halo Infinite? I don't have a favorite armor in Halo Infinite yet because all I've got is Halo Reach armors. I'm enjoying using Carters, uh, but I refuse to pay any money. So I'm still just like at level like maybe... It, obviously the, the progression has, uh, has, has uh, increased quite rapidly. It's much better now, but uh, I'm still at a really like maybe level 30. And so I've still just got like... Just Halo Reach armor. And that's the, I, I know that's the point of the, the season, you know, Heroes of Reach. So, I don't really have a favorite Halo Infinite armor yet, because it's I'm just, I'm just rocking Halo Reach armor. But I'm really excited to get the Trailblazer. I'm gonna probably don that for a long time, once I have it. Oh, it is, a, it is a long one. So that was going to be a shorter rod. Alright, just finishing off step 711. Hey, that's an anagram of, of, of what's it, the reverse of 117. 771. 711. 111. That's weird. Ah. Aha! Okay. We got this together now, fellas. There we go. What was the first video you ever created? Um... Hmm. If we... Okay. If, um... So, interestingly, there is a YouTube channel that exists, and it's live on YouTube right now. It's my first ever YouTube channel. I have three YouTube... No, no, I mean, that's not true at all. I have... Six YouTube channels right now. Three, um... Hmm. Four of them, uh... No, okay. I have five YouTube channels right now. Three of them are consistent, like they're my current YouTube channels. And then two of them are old channels. There is one channel, which I'll share with you now. It's called the SS Minecraft. And that's my original Minecraft Let's Play YouTube channel. You guys go search it. It's called the SS Minecraft. The SS Minecraft, it's my original... Minecraft Let's Play YouTube channel. Go search it. You're welcome. But I have one more YouTube channel. So I've sh I've shared the SS Minecraft. I've shared that with people before. But there's one more YouTube channel which people have never found. And I always hint towards it and it's there. You can find it, but people have never found it. And uh, it's got some really old videos of me. So one of the first videos I ever made that released on YouTube, I um, sung a little. Uh, I sung the Halo theme tune while wrapped inside a curtain. Or my brother and his friend. I filmed it. My brother and his friend wrapped themselves in a, a curtain and sung the Halo theme. And that was the, one of the first videos I ever uploaded to an old old YouTube channel. But yes. The SS Minecraft is a YouTube channel and you can search it right now. And that is the YouTube channel before the SS Motion. And then I changed the name, the SS Motion, to the domain. That's my current one. But the SS Minecraft came before. When me and my friend Sam, SS means Sam and Simon. And we tried to make a Minecraft Let's Play YouTube channel. And you can check that out right now. Hot Rod Studio, Domain, make another travel. You mean a travel channel? Or a travel video? I have um, four YouTube channels right now. 
No, I do have six YouTube channels total. I have four YouTube channels right now. The domain is where I'm posting all my content to. Then Wandering Motion is where I post random stuff to, just like random travel stuff. Wandering Motion, you can sub to that right now. It's in the link of all my videos. Uh, Wandering Motion, then Daily Halo is my Halo clip channel. And then the last one is The Traveling Dukes. I used to have a lot of videos on there, and I, I plan to re-upload a lot of them at some point. The Traveling Dukes is a episodic time travel movie taking place in China, Vietnam, and Hong Kong. And me and two of my buddies, we filmed an entire time travel movie across China, Hong Kong, and Vietnam. And this, uh, this movie exists. I want to re-release it at some point. It is insane. If you want to see Simon time travel, that's, that's the place to be. All right, that is step number 716 complete. Oh, I missed a little bit there. You should come to New York. Braden, uh, I just said I'm going to be in New York in February. And there will be a meetup while I'm there. Stay tuned. Demain, what's your favorite car? Um, I love the Ford Galaxy. The people carrier. I love that. Uh, I love Fender Mustangs. I um, love... Uh, in Hong Kong, there are sports cars like everywhere. I do like Ferraris. Um, but obviously, I would never buy one, even if I had a million dollars. Never. Um... I love motorcycles in Hong Kong. Uh, well, not Hong Kong. In uh, in China, I had a motorcycle. I had a motorcycle and an electric bike in China. And then in uh, in Vietnam, I had a gas-powered bike, so kind of like a motorcycle. And uh, oh, I would I would rip it. Here we go. We got. The trims of both sides done. And that concludes step 717. Moving on to 718. Back in Nam. Yeah, man. I lived in Vietnam for six months. It was a very beautiful experience. Um, so I lived, before that, I lived in China for two and a half years. I was a teacher in China. And um, so I, you know, I had this YouTube channel. I had this YouTube channel, the, the domain. It used to be called the SS Motion. And I'm suddenly realizing I'm missing a piece, which I hope not. We've come to this point. We don't want to be missing a piece now. Kinda looks like we're missing a piece. Hey, there it is. It fell out the instruction manual. All right. Uh, so let me tell you, I lived in mainland China for two and a half years as a primary school teacher. Before that, I was, uh, you know, I just lived in England. I grew up near Manchester and I ran well, so, um, I grew up in Manchester, or close to Manchester, and I had my YouTube channel, the SS Motion. I ran the YouTube channel for about, ooh, about five years, and then I moved to China just after graduating university. And while I was... <laughs> Best part of the live stream is size life story. I got a lot to tell you man. Like I don't know. I, I Got a lot to tell you That's you know, I 
You guys don't know, man. Like, I, I, I lived in Asia for five years. I lived in China for two and a half years. I set up a business in Vietnam for six months. I moved to Chi I moved to Hong Kong and experienced the C the Chinese Communist Party uprising uh, in Hong Kong and went to all the protests and was like part of that in entire experience. Like, I got a lot to share. Uh, if you guys are... If you guys have open ears, like, I'm, I'm always wanting to share my stories. But, yeah, so I, I, uh, I graduated university and then I moved to China straight afterwards. Uh, like, I graduated and then I ran Bloxfest, my Mega Constructs gaming convention. And then about three days after running that gaming convention, I went traveling around China for a month. About half, about two thirds of the way through the trip, I found a job, and then I committed to my flight back to England, said goodbye to my friends for three days, then flew back to China, and then stayed there for two and a half years. And it was funny because, um, you know, I'd I'd had the SS Motion, my my Halo YouTube channel for something like five years and then i moved to china and china has the great firewall if you guys don't know in china google facebook youtube instagram twitter they're all blocked every like 95 percent of the internet is blocked there is no um the chinese internet is very small and every social media app that you know is replaced by a state-run, government-owned app that uh, controls uh, the population. It's very to YouTube, but uploading to YouTube using a VPN would take about seven or eight hours to upload one video. So I didn't really do it, and I was very busy. So I dropped my YouTube channel for... Um, about a year and a half and then when i picked my youtube channel back up it was me and two of my friends who while living in china had decided that we were gonna take on the world and we were going to move to vietnam to use my youtube channel to rebrand it and try and start a uh, exporting business selling Chinese tea to America and Europe. And that was our big plan. We were gonna use my YouTube channel as a social media branding for this tea business. And we were going to uh, travel across Asia sourcing uh, medicinal tea to sell to the US and Europe. And basically after six months, we ran out of money. So we stopped but it was a, a very beautiful time. I have, honestly, like my hard drives, I have like uh, two or three hard drives and they are full to the brim of like terabytes of footage that we took in China and Vietnam that uh, we've never released. So the, there's a lot out there. There's a lot of very interesting content out there. Uh, step 726, we're flipping this over. And we're removing all the temporary bricks. So basically, yeah, um, I yeah, I, I I lived in China for two and a half years. I I moved to Vietnam to start this tea business, to rebrand my YouTube channel for this like tea exporting business. But if you can imagine, uh, it didn't work out because nobody really knew what this rebrand was and most people like some people will still come to me and say hey did you rebrand as the traveling dukes at one point because that was the name of our our tea exports business the traveling dukes we were meant to be like dukes and lords of like britain and that was like the theme and um people don't even recognize that that was me because like i i changed the name of the youtube channel with like very little notice and then people just started unsubscribing left, right, and center. So 
Um, it didn't work out for six months, and then I left the channel. I let the channel stay dormant for another maybe, um, another maybe year, and then I was stuck in England. So me, me and Peggy were living in Hong Kong teaching for um, about a, a, a full year. And then uh, COVID happened and we were suddenly in lockdown in England. And that's when I started my YouTube channel back up again. And I released the Halo 3 ODST bridge diorama. And then the YouTube channel just started popping again. So then I went back to Hong Kong. I did part-time YouTube, part-time teaching. And now I've just arrived in America and now I'm doing full-time YouTube and it's going amazing. End of story. We are seven minutes away from breaking our world record, <laughs> world record, our channel record of the longest ever live stream. We are 11 hours and 48 minutes in. Uh, Raspberry T-Man, thank you very much for the support. We're so close to the end, but have a great day uh, or have a great evening. No problem at all, my friend. Good nighth. Goodeth nighth. Welcome back, Isaac White Co. Uh, thanks for sharing. Tommy Cosmo, that, to be honest with you, that felt really great to share. So thank you very much for listening. Um, Ethan, uh, Ethan Toy Review, uh, another really uh, cool question. Um, where did you and Peggy meet? That's, uh, that's another really cool question. Um, yeah, uh, it's well, so we met in China um, and we'd been friends for a while. And then we, uh, so, so I, uh, we met in January of 2018 and we'd been friends for about uh, seven or eight months. And then we started dating in uh, the November of 2018. And in December of 2018, I was moving to Vietnam to start this tea business. Full circle on the story. So we'd only been dating for about a week when I left to Vietnam. And I said to her, hey, um, this is really great. You should move to Vietnam. And obviously that was like a really crazy suggestion because we'd only been dating for a week, but she agreed and she moved to Vietnam with me. And then we experienced Hong Kong together, and now we're in America. But life is one of those things, you know, if, if, it, if it works, it works. Don't let anything slip you by. Okay, what are we doing here? Whoa, oh no, did I push too hard then? It sounded like I uh, broke something off. But really, there's nothing to push against. Gonna break the roof. Just layering this on. Step two, 728. Ah! Ah! No! Ah! Can I get an F in the chat? <laughs> the back of the, uh, the back of the, ah, the back of the Tesla just died. It's okay. It's okay. We can we can fix it. Start over. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll break it apart. We'll start again. We'll make it a twenty four hour stream. what this Tesla is gonna look like on a display <laughs> it's okay guys uh, domain what's your favorite drink says hot rod studio you want to know my favorite drink oh man it's called Dong Nai Cha and it's a 
Cantonese drinks. So it's like a Hong Kong local drink called Dong Nai Cha. And it's made with, uh, they, so first of all, they boil uh, green and black tea leaves. Um, then they let that ferment for a long time. Then they, they pour it out into a cup. Then they add uh, loads of ice and then a little tin of a thing called sweet condensed milk. I don't know if you know it's like used for baking, but in Hong Kong it's used as like a milk substitute. A lot of the Hong Kong diet and a lot of the Hong Kong food is sort of like reminiscent of like wartime food because when Hong Kong was going through World War II, uh, they, they made everything count. So like a lot of the, uh, like if you go to a Hong Kong diner, it's classy, but a lot of the food is like from tins. Like they'll open like tinned vegetables and put that in your noodles because that's kind of like just what they're accustomed to when they were uh, siphoning food in World War II or like uh, rationing food in World War II, that's the correct word. So um, yeah, so it's, it's, uh, it's black and green tea leaves and then it's ice and then the sweet condensed milk and um, some sugar and some sweeteners and it makes this like, this unbelievably tasty ice drink called Dong Nai Cha. And it's just so incredible, man. Like we would have it every day, every day in Hong Kong. We would drink this. Okay, that's step 730. Okay, uh, we'll finish this before we repair this section that completely just died on us. It just yeeted off the side. Um, Domain, would you like me to send you pictures of my Halo drawings? Uh, yeah, absolutely. On our Discord, we have a Domain Art Submissions thread. If you go to our Discord, there's a thread on the Discord called Domain Art Submissions. And anything you put in there, I will add to the end of each of my videos. So each video has a different end card, which is one of the, uh, one of the submissions to our domain art submissions form. So add on to there. Yeah, definitely. This is definitely the last, uh, yeah. Okay. We're, we're, oh, yo, after this step, we're on the last two bags. That's actually incredible. Okay. Why would you put that in the middle? Where's that meant to go? Oh, wow. Meant to uh, pre-construct that thing. What if Master Chief came to your house? What would you do? Master Chief is about to come to my house, dude. I bought on the uh, the Xbox gear shop. I bought a life-size cardboard cutout, seven and a half feet, life-size cardboard cutout of Master Chief. So that's on the way to my house right now. Chief is about to arrive at my house. Where in China did you teach? Uh, it's a gorgeous place called Guilin, G-U-I-L-I-N. If you search this place, it looks unreal. Literally everybody that's watching this stream, just go on Google and search G-U-I-L-I-N, Guilin. That's where I was for two and a half years. Fantastic Fam 5. I can't believe this thing is 3,000 pieces. Yeah, it's 3,200 pieces, man. It's unbelievable. All right. What are your beliefs in life, Domain? Stop motion maniac. Wow. 
That's, that's like, that's an intense question, but it's kind of the appropriate question when we are three minutes away from the 12 hour mark. Damn. In three minutes, we have been live streaming for 12 hours. I let that time even slip away. I didn't even realize. We have beaten our live stream record and we are three minutes away from 12 hours. <coughs> wow. What are my beliefs in life? Um, wow. Interesting. Um, I, I have one belief. Um, first and foremost, I have one belief, which is when I get to the end of my life, I want nobody on this earth to think negatively of me. I want nobody to think, oh, the domain, Oof. which like, obviously this has been like a, a, a thing of mine for, for, for all my life. And now that I'm a YouTuber, it's way more difficult because of course, you know, some YouTubers will have beef with me and that's, that's how life goes. But I really just want to get to the end of this life knowing that I didn't really anger anyone, you know? I, I, like, I've, in my, in my adult life, I've tracked down people that I upset in the past and made sure to reconcile with them. Because, like, you know, people, people go on and on about all the issues in America and, and, and why everything's, like, messed up. But at the end of the day, the only, the only problem is just, you just got to be kind to everybody. Just... Be kind to your neighbor and like, be the bigger man in some situations. Say, hey, you know what? This really annoyed me, but I'm just gonna let it go. Because I just, I don't want to put that negative energy out into the universe. If we, if you really, if you really talk about like what my, what my beliefs are, um, I believe that everybody has, um, <laughs> okay, okay. This is, this is what this is like. 100% what I believe. I believe that uh, everybody has an aura surrounding them, like an energy that they give off. And um, it's just about having a, a good and positive energy that you put back out into the universe. Bet you weren't expecting that. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's good. Just be kind to your fellow man. We're all on this earth together. We all want the same things. Now, where does this go? It's like a... Oh yeah, okay, this is, this is like popped right out. There we go, we fixed it. Almost. Ah, <laughs> that's a, that's a persistent error. Yay. There we go. We fixed it. Now, look at the... Observe the most incredible part of this entire build. Three, two, one. Wah! <laughs> no! No! Did I break it? What? Come on. Get back in there. Oh my god, the panels are falling off. Oh no. It's all falling apart. It's all falling apart. What happened? thought we were in control of this. <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Falls away. Falls away. Seamless. Yo, we passed it by two minutes. Oh. Welcome everybody to the 12 hour live stream. Apparently we've been building this for over 12 hours. Oh. It's hard to get my head around, but that's where we are. Get that roof on. <laughs> Best part of China I visited was 
Yo, Hainan Island? That's beautiful. Just in Thrift, my dog died. Oh my goodness, man. What are your... Uh, don't make my... Just in Thrift. I hope you're... I hope you're doing okay. Message me if you need to talk. That dog is like a member of the family. What's 12 hours? Yeah, Smudgling Studio. What's 12 hours? Okay. I've got to catch up on all these messages. Do you ever have a horrible teacher in school? Every school has a horrible teacher. But they're all trying their best. Just keep that in mind. What's your favorite Halo Mega Bloks uh, set? It's always going to be the Red Hornet. The Red Hornet and Covenant Tower. So good. Wow, so many messages I'm catching up with. <laughs> Chonky Chief! Yes, man! <laughs> it's still going. It's still going, bro. We're on step... Uh, I, I've honestly lost track. I think we're on step... Um, we got to go way back. I went back to just fix a piece. I think we're on like step. <laughs> I've, actually, I've actually lost track. We were fixing that uh, section of the build for ages. There we go. Okay, everybody. Gather around for the final main event. Bags number 59 and 60. The very last part of the build. And then we are done. We are officially done. Bags 59 and 60. Whoa, that's a lot of pipes. Bags 59 and 60. And then we are D-O-N-E done. Wow. They are some they are some crazy last pieces. Literally like the last the last sections of this build are literally just uh, these pipes, like these, uh, these like long uh, pieces with holes in, and uh, and connecting rods. That's all that's left. Hey, Ethan, <laughs> ninety nine cents. Well, my my guy, thank you so much, Ethan. I I really uh, I saw you were appreciating the story time. I hope I can shed a few uh, tears of wisdom. Hot Rod Studios, yes. Uh, this Tesla. Tesla or Test of Manhood. <laughs> 3,283 pieces. Yeah. It's, uh, it's honestly been a journey. I have to pinch myself to remind myself that, like, we've actually been going this long. It's absolutely nuts. We're on step 732. And the home stretch is imminent. We are on the home stretch. We're gonna flip this over, and hopefully we're not gonna break anything this time. Jeez, no, oh God. Already th things are breaking, like, already things are falling off. You, c you can't just ask, Jesus! It's all, <laughs> no, actually, it's all actually just breaking off, because why would you ask me to flip the build after 730 steps, man? Come on. Okay, anyway, moving on. Honestly, like, the, it, it's... After 730 build, after 730 steps, it's like, oh, go flip it over now. Just rest it on its... Ugh. Chunky Chief, what does my sanity even mean anymore? Chunky Chief, honestly, not sure. Chunky Chief, don't worry about it, bro. 